We're, I'm really hoping that Cryos is playing Omen on this map and not yeah. Astra. Because also when he's wanting to go for aggro plays on B, he was just getting caught out and needlessly dying a lot. And so was Bang. Whereas on Omen, you you know, we, you will have spots where he can have the opportunity to fight and actually TP away and not yeah, get yeah. caught if he's trying to get one kill and leave when he's anchoring. Yeah. So that is really one... It's a small change that I think would have a lot of importance on the result there. Well, let's actually see what the coach of G2 has to say as we get ready for map number two. Josh RT is joining me, coach of G2. Now, how are you doing, sir? I'm good, how are you? Uh, I'm doing phenomenal. Uh, I gotta ask you, so I, it, I think G2 had a, a great performance in that last map, but wh where do you think things kind of went a little bit off kilter? I would say on defense, we forgot a lot of our defensive protocols that we practice. Uh, we made some errors in rotations in um, position wise, like we were not in the right spots to deal with their um, executes. And on attack, um, we, we, since we fell in a hole like 4 8 first half, we didn't have enough of a round buffer to deal with what they did. Um, at the end, they just stacked the balls and just closed the round out. So, yeah. Well, best of luck on map two. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. And map two is where we're headed. It's going to be split. The battleground to decide whether or not 100 Thieves can walk away with a 2-0 win or would G2 force that map three on Icebox. But you heard Coach Josh RT there uh, say, Wyatt, how, you know, a lot of those defensive protocols, the things that they had prepped that they were ready for kind of just fell apart. That's something that simply just cannot happen because it feels like 100 Thieves, they've always been that drilled team. So even without Busio on the roster. So they got to fix that going into map two. Yeah, they'll be starting on attack. Last time we saw G2 playing on this map, they're running the like breach, cypher, raise, kind of like trap setup comp on defense. So that's also a comp that Hunter used to play a ton and one they really favored. So I was surprised last week when we saw them switch to a non sentinel comp because they've always loved cypher so much. And if we're looking right here, 100 Thieves are sticking with the same thing. Cryo is going to be on Astra and G2. Yeah, they're playing the comp I was just talking about, which is obnoxious to play against on defense because you're going to get pinged with a Cypher Cam or break a trip, and then you're getting stunned, and then all of a sudden you're getting naded and you're dead, and it sucks. Because <laughs> utility kills people in Project A. They lie. So. <laughs> yeah, that, that breach comp, I know you have to be extremely proactive, whether it's on defense or offense. Um, they're kind of the ones that want to set the pace. And uh, from what I know, they're very rehearsed on this map, so I hope we see some good things. Yeah, I think they're undefeated on it in America's for G2. They're very comfortable in the role. I think I see there were a lot of questions about how he'd do, given that we had only seen him for one weekend last weekend. He looked comfortable on the Yoru. He was taking entries, he was winning gunfights, and I think it'll be interesting to see. Again, there's a lot being put on his shoulders as a solo duelist. All right, folks, well, this is it. Let's get ready for map number two, shall we? We're gonna send it back over to Mimi and Ender for the call. Thanks very much, GV. Yes, G2, 3 for 0 on the map thus far this year. For them, this is a comfortable territory. But the guy I'm watching in the server has got to be icy. He was great on the Yoru last map, a slower debut in their first game. He's on the raise here, and he has a comp that really enables that raise player to do a lot. Yeah, we've got full support here. This isn't any of your sky, you know, flash for info. No, this is go, go, go with that breach to support icy. And as we dive into this game, it'll be a big one for G2 to get back into the swing of things. I can already tell you, Icy's got the support of his team on this pissed round. He bought the light armor. He got a ghost chucked over to him. It is all on his back from the get-go. Little raid boss action to start. And him and Jonah B holding hands. See that most of the Here. Instantly, the camera just being broken in main. I don't even think we've got to see really anything off of that one. But G2 aren't going to be playing their hand too early in this one. They've got the Viper all over towards Bs that he can try to lurk in front of. Not going to be allowed this time around, though, with Asuna playing up in front of it. And instead, just looking for an eventual 2-3 split over into this A site. Getting quickly up into mail to force a player back and maybe pull a rotation off of that A site while these three players start to creep up. Oh, boy! Wow, Leaf gets through there somehow! I had no idea how he's lived through that endeavor. That is wild. There's no smoke on heaven right now either because G2 went really quickly on that timing. Still get the plant off, no problem. Breach is still sitting down in sewers. So it'll be a very late reflank. We'll keep tabs on that as 100 Thieves are going to set up for this set retake. Okay. Haunt, dizzy, smoke. Go. They have the whole nine yards to invest into this one. 
Or can they go quick enough? What's up, gamers? Molly, that'll be the first stage of Star with Asana is past it to Cade and taking a lot of damage. His refight is excellent. I missed map one. Anybody want to fill me in? Up the ropes, waiting for his timing. Saw was it back. was it close? Of a player walking through, and we're in astral form. Cryo falls. Jonah gets his and dips away. Now it's a fight on the site. And G2 is winning them all. One and <laughs> Wait, Wingman's shut down and dodging those bullets. G2 cleanly deal with that post plant. There we go. VLR I can see it's 13 9 right Just here, man. Four out of four on those. But that doesn't tell the whole story, you know? Lost two players at the end. Makes it a little bit less pretty, but pretty good all around. Yeah, I love the protocols on that one. Jonah and Icy initially setting up towards mid, and then some great layers to that one. The second the Util's coming in, they're refighting towards elbow. Isolate this first skill, and that sets G2 up to really close this one out. I will say they, they found a bit of a gap over here on this A site. Notice the 100 Thieves is not running a Sentinel in their comp. They usually put their info over on the A side of the map. So Bro, I'm still, try I'm still trying to early, wake up. They really found ways we were to out all day. Space. 100 Thieves looking for a bit of a trap. The outdoor activities drain me. On the eco. Very similar stuff to what we saw from 100 Thieves playing this map back during kickoff. That's a cute little trap play there. The Dizzy and the Haunt coming up on the rope for two players, but no one was there to receive. Gonna be going for the safe plant back here. Good wrap for main as an option on this one. Leaf two, you'll see, just holding on the extremities. He's not looking for the flank this time around. Instead, waiting as 100 Thieves get a flank their own going on, trying to flush out. We need to clip this instead of the dope eye. Bustio bought a sheriff the, on uh, defense the eco. The last game. You never expect the breach flank. No. I really like Leaf on the Sentinel roll thus far. Feels like it was really made for him. He just has such incredible mechanics when he's anchoring alone. And when you put him on those lurks, he's a player who has such a good idea of the timings of this game that he's really taking the perfect opportunities. Also, I imagine adding a second voice to help Balan out as well. Very vocal player when he's given the chance. Yeah, he, and he was always, even that when he was the starter, he was on GC. C9, he, he would always flex over, play the odd sky, hear the odd has Viper Has been attacker sided with really single duelist comps recently? As a matter of fact, but it certainly suits his play style. Oh. Can rely on him a ton. That's good for Jonah to actually sneak that kill onto EU instead of letting him die. How do we One see that? Orb. Is, is that it going to be on a um, run it back? So now this is really where I, I want to see if G2, their read is just to continue abusing this A site. Uh, again, what I was sort of hinting at is that because 100 Thieves don't have a Sentinel, their setup is almost always to put both their Fade and their Gecko over on A side. And they can do things like use the, the Prowlers to scout out down uh, down ramp. Whenever okay, it has been favoring up, attackers. Whenever any you know lurking like cages are thrown. Them. That's usually how they deal with it. And then you'll see a lot more pairing up of both Trent and Icy to play util combos in mid or in mail. It's always Cryo on, on his own over towards that, that B site. I meant Asuna and Bang. Nade for Asuna, ready to go in mid. Got a lot of bodies walking up here from G2. Makes a good timing on that one. Spam gets a little shaky, but he finds oh, his mark good. in the nade as well. Helping out in that one. So positive trade for 100 Thieves. A lot of pressure on Cryo. Players coming out of heaven through main. He finds the first and covers it over into a second somehow. Trent left all on his own. The spike stuck in hell. Lovely to see those kind of rounds out of Cryo cells. This guy was struggling a little bit. The last time we saw him play Astra in 100 Thieves debut series for stage one talk about people that are left Bro, on i've their been own. exclusively Karayo watching the races on the mini map all the time on this beast <laughs> i have no idea how crowd got like we just saw trent has managed to recover the spike though also needs to play more chaos so i can steal more tech just to try and get something done actually dodging all the utility he wants to go for a kill peeks on out of the smoke gets his i mean shouldn't we just be playing a gecko or breach on this map I don't understand who Asuna's technique ever works, bro, so right? There for 100 thieves, dealing with the mid -aggression. What raise the Radiant does to a fruit? No, real, dude. Own. Very characteristic, yeah. Again, Cryo likes to get in front of the Viper setup over on this side. And they can sort of play with that information that he has to set up more aggressive clears on other areas of the map. Yeah, and this kind of like new wave of Viper on the map with this lurk wall over towards B that you're, you're always seeing teams throw, it forces you to be I've a lot I've been heckin' thinking about raise. 
on 100%. So how all did night come and back all day, here? man. I still think uh, <laughs> threatening lurks up a short, very effective, taking the fight into mid. Also, clearly getting the job done for Isaac. Yeah, I mean, Asuna just swinging ahead of that. I don't think he was relaxing. Dude, Asuna's aim style is actually the crazy. Fight off the rip. And again, that, that happens a lot with how 100 Thieves play. All their it's like one of one. I, I don't understand how he yeah, can do it. Yeah, they've got the, the Astra that can assist globally as they just walk into the line once again. Yeah, no util use for the second time here. Ooh. Ha have we seen any pros off. use custom ADS like crosshairs? Completely open a site. The there EU when he ADS is switches in. to the, the dot. Only thing to really keep a mind on, but I mean, raised dreams are incoming, bro. They're already here. That's going to be sold I'm deep out in just it. as soon as he runs into that one. Honestly, 100 Thieves might be well served to go for a save here. Like, bang, just play on this on this trip. Look for maybe an exit kill or two. Asuna changes to dot as well. This round is not mm. looking winnable. And that's just what happens when you have two players maybe walk out, take a forward line, technology and jump down easily. I need to round dissipates. Playing no sentinel on this map can, can be quite a challenge on your defense. Yeah. And, and basically the way 100 Thieves would usually get around this, let's let's pretend they have sure. five players alive, is they're not just walking out into the open and taking their ones. Question what they're so really they dreams with or is mid-range utility. Everyone's got a piece of utility. To so to I was talking with. to Penflash so about this last night. There's two sides to it. We clear down into ramp the mid, personal into side? The These sorts of areas and I heckin' just love Q and ranked. And I'm like happy to Q ranked for 100 days, 200 days, whatever. And I'm just going to have a blast. But the other side of it is I feel bad because I have to like, I pay people less because I'm losing subs every day because I'm not coaching. So, you know, on one end, like I'm just enjoying the rank climb. On the other end, I feel almost obligated to complete it faster to deal with that ramp area after getting beaten there a couple of times now because really revenue share goes both ways like when you lose revenue that means you share less it's great when you gain revenue it's not good when you lose it so i feel a bit of time pressure in that sense but out of obligation to like others the question around this comp, I think a lot of the times it's going to fall on us because when you lack that sentinel, like you're talking about with the necessity for proactivity. Austin I think I need to get over it. I think it makes me play a bit of a scared in game. Winning out on the duels, finding them that space, then I, I got to say, fuck pen flash. Yeah, they've got to they've got to find ways to lock down both mid and ramp. That's where it's getting beaten up. That's where Austin lost that fight just in the previous round to Icy and everything sort of spiraled out of control after that one. These others in the room with us right now. <laughs> I think at the start here, maybe. I mean, yeah, like all the mods. The, the stun, the fault line to get up ramp as an uh, artist team. Because you can see, Asuna wants to fight into a lobby when they've got these. The, like the entire underpeel budget. That's usually some kind of a push play, and it's with two of their only rifles in this round. Screw pen flash. That's what I'm saying, MP. I think I just need to accept that I'm going to have to enter a limit testing arc where I like basically grief. So instead they creep back over, they take some space into B, but Cryo still hanging out backside, playing a really nasty off angle on the walkout. There's one of the hero rifles in this round. How much can he get done? Nade at his feet, Molly, but he's found the gap in it. Still healthy enough to get something done. Here comes the clearance, Cryo wins the first, but the trade is instant from G2, and now Bang is gonna have that same task ahead of him, and he falls as well, G2. Colleen House, only Austin. Austin's aim is crazy. A flash in his face, a pit in front of him, only 45 HP. Tried to go Does anybody know what EDPI this guy's on? This clears back into mail. Jonah's and plus can teach another year. No, that's what I'm thinking. Are fully dialed in here. Making Asuna waste away time Our art team hit their budget though, like this one. He might honestly want to fight here. Over Two ten days online, before the uh the month sure. end. The for the next so they're just like frozen on, on everything right now. Too bad. They've also got the money because it was just the few rifles they carried over from the previous round. I like the read on that one, Mimi, and he's going to have his opportunity. A free 64? Swinging around the line, he gets his two. And escapes with the rifle to boot. Lovely stuff there at the end, but... Bro, that's crazy. Yo, Akubi, thank you for the five months. 
and find the perfect timing for you added every single right icon to the budget at the same time of <laughs> ruined timing yeah I, mean, I also just need to talk to Duda Buddha about lowering the budget unfortunately well also g2 flooded out onto the site they used uh, uh, sorry 100 thieves flooded onto the site because they used g2's own white wall against them to get them jumping out of heaven that's how they had so many bodies on the ground so quickly it looks like coming out of the, the timeout too, yet another look. We've got a bit of aggression point. towards B main. The Rays and the Fade teamed up there with an early smoke to lay claim to that space. And again, G2 tested with this opening of rounds, those slight pivots in the play of 100 Thieves. What is their decision? It looks like it's going to be to re-clear and re-fight. I can't play over 220. Space. This man's running 360. Dude, really 360 is so high. I think like, I used to play higher sense. I think everyone plays higher sense when they're like a beginner. Because uh, it feels Again, more right. But like it have to have a player it feels so wrong one. now to play a sense even remotely that high. Oh shit! Has committed it and Cryo is the only man standing. The crowd's like good for a million here, no? Hunting for him, the flash is straight from Busio towards heaven. This is all fallen to pieces. Leaf still left. His spike on the floor. Jonah far away, but he's ahead of the eagle. Finds one. I remember for the longest time I played on one. And hundred thieves have this one on. Like you play on eight hundred in DPR. Yeah, I mean, it was a cool idea from G2. Again, no sense Forgot to Gamba. I went live, like, really right well, as map 2 was starting. Ultimates, they get that opening kill. I mean, I can't control when the map like start or when, like, the Seattle monorail picks me up. All it, takes is, is one guy in it went to the space. Cherry Blossom Rocket Festival Man, today, Cryo, and there were no Cherry Blossom. <laughs> 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 Alright, there were, like, four. So he's able to, to cause, and cause havoc. You got Busio throwing dizzies through that smoke in heaven. With Cryo calling the First time I started Valorant, I was 1600 EGI, I played with speakers. The magic just didn't work out for G2. <laughs> Molly haunted to him, eh? There. Austin can't fight any deeper off of that. My first PC shooter. Yeah, but like Valorant was my first PC shooter. Like I had headphones. <laughs> Although, I mean, I don't know. Lily Peach would play with speakers. What do I know? Really showing more forward utility on this A side. Oh, it was kind of intuitive to me that like directional audio would matter not scouting anything out they're actually rotating back maybe for a bit of a beely i play league with no sound all the time dude empty so i had to unlearn this habit when i play league of legends i would listen to music like loud all the time they could and it was one of my mental triggers to like get into flow state for league so if he sees anyone step into you can't do that while playing valorant like sound is a part of the game and you can listen to music but it cannot be loud Leaf has kept two players on this site. That's going to be main with the thrash to set up Crashy. I'm <laughs> sorry, Cryo. Down. And it does detain onto one, but that thrash is going to be lost. Still 35 seconds for G2 to work with. G2. This lurk. G2 have no time here to get back in. I mean, this yeah. round is just going to be they which Viper's better. They don't have a lot of utility. It's, it's bang. Trent loses it. Leaf picks one up on the other side, but B is our focus, and Cryo has fallen. He needed to do more. Like. I think yeah, G2 are up a number, but because Bang won that pick, it's like, yeah, they're too pressured. He's won the round. The rest of G2, too far away. Sound matters just a little bit more in Valorant. Dude, empty. In, in really high-rated Valorant, it actually doesn't matter as much because people don't make as much noise. Um... But yeah, if, when I play like Swift plays with my my buds who are lower MMR, I swear it's like I have wall hacks. I just hear everyone. Nobody's aware of when they should and shouldn't make noise. It's great. Throws a lot of fake rounds into the mix. I have no clue where anyone plays Val music at the same time. Yeah, I like almost need music sometimes to get into flow. It's a bad habit I developed from League of Legends. Twice in a row that Hunter Thieves kept a player A and win because of it. Yep. 100 Thieves. Very clear their ideas of how to play the map. Not over rotating. And that's an important thing with the comp they're running. They've got to trust their sides of the map. Which is training for high low. I mean, sort of, yeah. Any sort of late lurks or late pivots. And again, you talk about old 100 Thieves. You feel like sometimes they lost that trust. Right? Over rotating, over committing to help out their teammates. 
losing themselves in those mid rounds. This team, not so much. Two players in mid, maybe considering a fight off that orb drop, but they elect against it and said just another Molly to stall. Thieves just wanted to you know what? That they should just so remove sound from Valorant, if they give up this and then we can all listen to music. All of a there's a cross that can get over into heaven, and that would put a lot of pressure back on. Is this angle Cryo. broken? Cryo was playing this angle, um, the round where he got the 2K in the guy's heaven as well. What's the geometry look like from attacker's POV there? Because I see people daddy peek the angle when um, it's like the jump up. Use deafened 30 seconds. At least left. one of those. Extra showed it in a vid once. Is it a low ping thing? And Bushes just sprinting. He knows that Jonah can't hear. So like extra plays really low ping. Him. So astute from right the leader there. Valen though. This is one piece. Has to shoot the second. He'll teleport towards main. Shadows traveling. One v two. He hears both players drop into backside. Wingman available for the defuse. He's gonna stick this Valen has to fight. Find if it gets super wide to clear it, like uncomfortably wide. Uh, I'm gonna have to try it out. Hundred thieves, tie the game. Cryo is just a How big is the difference between playing on thieves. four and thirteen ping? Uh, I actually can speak to that because I played on like I played on like three ping when I was uh playtesting clothes. <laughs> it's actually pretty big. Um, it's kind of frustrating because I would say anything below 30 is great. Um, like I'm happy with anything below 30. You can also play right up close and personal with that smoke. Shut it down completely. Timeout but the the rate of feedback, back on I don't know. It's like the fluidity at which you can. Back on bind, it was about looking for that deep dive is, on is the this, site. Now, it's like the multi-fragging potential. Well, really the the speed of the feedback, while it doesn't answer, seem like it'd make a difference, it, it's huge. But do they want to fight into that? Do they want to overload utility into the common places he's going to be playing? Or just it, it's not going to be like something that affects you. Yeah, pre pre trumble. But I think if you're specifically playing like entry duelist, uh, and you're getting into these scenarios where you have to quickly chance to maybe do something switch targets after you kill a guy. See players posturing towards mid. Yeah, they don't That's where I think um, you can really feel it, even when it's just small amounts to, like that. Go into a bit of a default here. One, two, two. Play racing jet. I mean, what elo are you? Scout out what it is, hundred thieves, and what their difference is going to be. Because usually, if you see any piece of fade a or two, not in a main, you it's hard to say. Then I'm, I'm, I'd be surprised if you really don't. Like it, it won't change how you play because holding round. angles is still really strong on thirteen or fifteen. I'd be surprised if you couldn't tell. into the round though we're already down a breach flash paranoia and fault line not used just yet so if they want to accelerate or try working back into a that could be their best I, I had lisa double blind me where she selected a server for me between uh oregon cali uh texas illy and i got it right every single time and my difference between texas and illy is like six ping it's like 43 to 49 and I could, I could even feel that difference. It wouldn't change how I play, but I, I can tell the difference. He took fall damage. I knew it. I knew I'm not the only one who takes fall damage on Raze, dude. It is just a disaster round for G2 coming out of that timeout. <laughs> Boostio Boostio. is just giving him the business from across the stage. He's just laughing at him. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Icy. Uh, I mean, oh my god. Wait, are you kidding me? They're not going to show the team kill? So Boostio gets the kill. Then it's a team kill. EU uses all the my infrastructure is garbage. I was closer to Texas. I'm like plus 15 on you. Who's, are you using... Um, that might not be infrastructure. Are you using coaxial connection? Because that inherently adds about 20 milliseconds to your, to your connection to the internet. It's like the lowest possible ping you can have on coax, even if you live right next to the servers, is 20. Like that's the lowest ping you can have. 
Oh, that connection is cable versus fiber. Uh, e Logan, if you have a direct fiber connection, um, then it you lose that processing delay. But there's essentially so fiber basically talks in the language of the internet. Oh my god, I wrote fighter. So like the whole internet is essentially fiber, like state to state, uh, server to server is all fiber. And then in that last mile for a lot of people, oh, oh my God, we're, we're going to have to watch the replay. Okay. He lost. It doesn't matter. <laughs> in that last mile, it has to like translate from this language. We'll just call it whatever language you want into this language to your home. And, and then here it has to translate back to your PC. Because coax is like an analog, like... They're two different, like, analog formats. And so you need this, like, box, which transforms one analog format into another. And these things take, like, 10 MS. And there's two of them. Because your PC also wants to just read a in this language so if you're connected to the internet with coax you essentially experience minimum 20 ms of ping could be signing their own death warrant in this series um at my home in seattle which i moved from i had coax and i had like 39 ping to cali servers and now i live two miles away but i have fiber and i have 21 ping the cali servers it is crazy They can refight into this one. A nasty off angle for you. JG lives Spend in Oregon no and he has 40 ping to, to Oregon surfers. And he lives closer than me to Cali and he has like 50 ping. Oh, Crazy. The star comes in to haunt the thrash to go on down. JG was abusing players in underpeel. Dude, I had him up while I was in line for my lunch reservation and I saw him ace those kids on Breeze. He's a beast. You know, one bullet drop? I know, I saw. That's my fucking student, dude. I taught him that. See this on second? No, I only saw a couple rounds of the breeze game. Absolutely. I mean, the only kill they got was after shot. That one I ping dropped when I swapped ISPs? Yes, almost certainly. A ridiculous angle for that, but I mean, bang. Low on bullets, switching over the shorty inside the pit is just perfection. I had a, I have a friend who lives in this building, and before I moved into it, I had them ping, ping the AWS servers that host uh, Valorant. <laughs> I had them ping them on like twelve different occasions at twelve different times of day, because <laughs> I, I didn't want to move somewhere where I had bad ping. Yet Asuna remains ready for it. 100 Thieves doing a good job of policing this again. Asuna and EU. There. And they want to refight into main here. Off Bustio's contact, they can pop an Dedication. Off I mean, but that'll activate the mid lark. It's just way more pleasurable. Like, like, on EU and on I they would do so side. much to have like Asuna five ping on a central server. Now here comes event players. Up the vent. EU ready for it. Here's those players gunning around the corner. Asuna gets his three. Flawless. And Valid in main. Oh my god. Was it? It was 4 2, right? For G2? Yo, Fluff Dude, thank you for the Prime. And other person whose name I'm obviously not going to read. Thank you for the Prime. In their entirety. I mean, Austin just playing on that corner there, sees the gun, and doesn't even hesitate to snap that showstopper. I feel like it's a dissertation. I know, right? You don't even have to ping from PowerShell. There's, um. Da, da, da. There's a website that pings the servers. <laughs> yeah, it's gameserverping.com. You just leave that thing running for like an hour. Amazing performance by It just directly pings them. Right now we have former 100 Thieves player Will. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. I'm having raised withdrawals. This game's not helping, dude. What has your experience been like? I I am about to limit test raise tonight, chat. I'm going straight back to in Ascendant. Or I'm going to rank up. Who knows? I'm mostly happy for Sean because everyone But either way, so I need to shit, rid the world so of scared huge on raise. It's unacceptable. Ooh, okay. 
All right, well, I mean, they, what, what do you think they need to do to kind of push this and just like end this right here on the second map? Well, I think they're just, they're having a lot of fun on the stage, and I love that because I think vibes is really important in this game. Right, there and we go. I got the sub seat up. French that, Fork, I mean, thank you for the seven month tier one, and Zenith, thank you <laughs> for the four month prime. Yes! Will, everybody! We're not, we're not done yet. I'm, I'm like, honestly, what, what I want to know what has been like one of the highlights, though, that you've seen on map two. Just don't be scared. <laughs> yeah, one of the highlights that you've Bro, seen. Bro, I'm telling you, that advice is not even bad if I was playing off stream. Because it's like not a big deal for me to lose 100 RR in a day off stream i don't even care but when you're doing it on stream dude it's so much harder it's so much harder because you feel so judged you feel so judged it well, you have a bad down. day the and the now. flamers come out man they're up eight four at the half from 100 thieves will to will 100 thieves the great turnaround. 100 Thieves looked so good at the end of that half. Mimi's booing me. Okay, understood. Bloody duty, thank you for the prime. <sighs> G2, though, I mean, that was just brutal what happened to them. I mean, they had they had a couple of nice rounds, right, with the Sheriff coming in hot. Seven rounds in a row. Off of Trent, but, yep. It is not a great... I'm on the Sheriff's Inspire. We don't play a main until the alt passes it. It's a fast hit towards A from 100 Thieves. Dizzy yeah, that works until, like, Immortal, space. I'd say. But it just takes too Ooh, many games to get to Radiant. Over to Asuna. Get that showstopper online. Delayed slightly, but still enough time to get this down before the smoke fades. And hundred thieves are when four to five games changes are worth according to the haters. Yeah. To heaven late in the round. I, it's not just that. Through. It's like that is everything. I feel this sense of time pressure, which I wouldn't feel if I were just climbing to radiant on my own, like off stream for fun. But the sense of time pressure is very real. Uh, you can't deny it that it doesn't exist. And so it's like a mental battle. Oh my. But it's just not happening. G2. If they've got one thing, it's pistol rounds. That is very true. Trent's position there coming up really nicely for them. I assume all they've the one gifted. That's a whole idea, right? They're going so heavy through screens. They know that ramp was going to be a weakness. So leaving Trent to be the ultimate rat, right? Like, think of all his teammates. How much of any fights happened up in heaven before he went to that swing? That's exactly what they needed. That late control. The split ramps retake for post plant chat. Not expecting. Oh, don't forget it. Viper would be stuck down in vent, and that keeps G2 very well in this. I feel like we've seen a lot of teams take great learnings from how good Sentinels has gotten at this map, with setting more protocols to punish that ramp re clear that is so prevalent in those A posts. Yeah, especially when Hunter Thieves are going to be running with the the gecko. Still so got like four months, CG boy, ready in no time. For screen space. <laughs> I mean, if your time window for me is four months, uh, I'm also confident in myself it's gonna be a look towards b here for <laughs> and they're walking into a judge i see finds one and it's only Spike one great movement by Austin. four months until rank reset no i'm chilling for a four month time window is no biggie no satchels so but uh yeah i'm more like trying to make it less than a month but I think I need to stop worrying about the timeline and I need to go limit test some games at the cost of my ELO. What are 100 Thieves thinking? Because they've got a couple of options. They could try to play this round out and split into that B site. The other option is, and they're going for it, rotate back into A and try to sell a hit so well that you maybe get a plant in. They do not I'm surprised that, that G2's with. biting this hard on the fake. The spike actually looks like I guess the Cypher setup is sort of unpushable. Here comes the commitment. Come on, take him out. New Sentinel player leave. He's got all the util to stall this. Wow, breach stun reaches that? In for at least one player leave just he threw that from like cages. here, bro. And he picks the right angle. Good fight on to bang, and the trip has caught off. Wow, we get two. Only two kills picked up, but the rest of the team has arrived just in time to likely win this retake. Still, E could be dangerous here, but the Molly is there. Ouch. From G2. That's a judge, though. The paranoia, he's too close the to TP's so That's good. Great teleport yeah. out of Valon, the second angle, the difference maker. TP might have saved G2 there. Got a little close at the end. But still, using the mollies, doing everything by the books on that retake to keep it as clean Balan as, just as knows. possible. That TP is the type of insecure controller brain-minded thing that's holding me back on raise. 
Because if we had three guys screens and my smoker didn't like TP across, I would be hesitant to peek. When I should just peek. That's like the exact type of play that's my mental block right now. Because on Omen, yeah, I, I TP cross after the flash. And it's so hard not to see that threat when I'm just playing raise. Yeah, another big strength is Falk. You were mentioning this in the pregame. The trap plays. You can set up with a camera have a stun have a nade yeah. there's a lot of different options there which means that hundred thieves has, have to be really careful about how they scale yeah even just an idea like they've got right now there's a fault line ready to go thrown into b main icy gets up into that space hundred thieves though are seizing mid control chugs around the smoke but it's not gonna get holy done okay, Zosima awesome. finds a quick two he's awesome. got two yeah, entries out of that man in my struggle I duelist mindset is hard to pick up yeah, dude. Because it's specifically you know, duelist without flashes down. and without um, to do vision and denial. Because on jet, from. it's like you have a smoke. You just smoke off elbow and fucking spam it and cross. Viper utility. Trip wires. There's still a chance so you don't as much control as you would on smokes, maybe? It's just the things that I pay attention to in game are wrong to pay attention to if I'm playing an agent like Raze. And so I'm not paying attention to the things I should be, and I'm over-focusing on controller-related things. It's very fascinating when I'm talking with Dopai about it, because Dopai and I are like, act. the more I talk to him about the game, the more we like perfectly complement each other as players. I mean, you you saw it during our duo queue. Both of our win rates increased to king, like 74% duo queue. And that's what we were playing agents we're not comfortable on. Like, I can't wait for my duo series with him in the future. Hooch, how long do you think before the hype dies down, people have never played Smoke, Stop, Insta Lock, and Clove? Never. Clove is super fun. What the fuck? Really? Kills there? He's got a beard now. He's been on the squad so long. Clove will get insta locked until Clove gets nerfed. Yeah, they're gonna chef. No, for real though. It's actually crazy that we're. It feels like we're perfect Tekken duo. And G2 are trying to get ahead of that this time. It'll be an aftershock. I imagine just comboed. With the paranoia here to fight back in. So that's only a hundred thieves. Activate that trap play. Omen seems way more fun. I don't get it. Aggression. I mean, are you a yeah, you smokes really man? Just like play style more too. If you have to play smokes so much. No, I started as a jet one trick. I started learning smokes because I met JG and JG was my duo and JG was a jet one trick. You're not scouting anything in vents. Hold on. But we the jet style just that I learned from like Charlatan this. was heavily focused on the smokes. Which made sense. They were 100 so credits each. Right you had here. three of them. Leaf, just a frenzy to work with. Good clearance. Uh, and now they've got to go like, I even have smoke lineups for you jet. Know, uh, I've shown one of them in my... On my YouTube, uh, the Ascent smoke lineup for uh, Catwalk, where you smoke and you updraft and you peek with op towards tiles. Um, I basically crushed uh, Jet's cloud burst. I completely defined my playstyle, which is why I can't just drop rays into it. But they've recovered two weapons here: a guardian and a rifle. E on the off angle, lines up a double. I, I think just a little a high, high low there. That is. Lovely stuff for 100 Thieves. Yeah, Valen got a kill over on the flank. You'll the be supercharged for getting raised to Radiant. I'm actually concerned that by getting raised to Radiant, I'm going to lose my controller right mind habits a bit. The little things this series for 100 Thieves Cover have been really up. good. Setting up these high lows when they have time. Yeah. Going for these kind of individual reclears in the late round. Doing a great job of comboing their utility. This is a team that has grown so much from the failure that was their last season. He's running it down as Viper. <laughs> I mean, on Icebox, sometimes I do run it down as Viper. Damn, he kills there? What is that timing? Now doing very well up against a G2 that just dismantled EG last week. Like, there's no two ways to put that. I was just staring at him for a second there. 
Uh, Asuna, what are you looking at? Time out for G2 now. Last chance to recover in this series. Did you guys see that dude in my solo queue game the other day who thought that Riot had demanded I add the exclamation mark clove command? <laughs> like, they're so deep in their echo chamber of, like, like, hate where they're like, nobody at all would support gender identity, and therefore it must be a corporate king plant. That guy is... But you delusional you missed this empty i was literally telling them i'm like no right didn't make me do that i literally have a friend i played league with for a decade who <laughs> goes by they them competed in league game changers like, like it's actually crazy it was crazy this guy thought like the entire fucking internet agreed with their take but it, that riot the corporation was forcing streamers to put the command do they snap it off the rip there they do ult goes in but does he clear the close box they're all around the wall and he can't get it that's another ult this game that's a crazy read from 100 thieves dude even if icy gets one there it's just one like he's for sure dead Four v four now. That was a big trade to pick up for Valen. Oh, look, hundred thieves have been stalled out for now. Not using voice changer anymore. It doesn't feel matter. Everyone's using these overlays that reveal who I am. Just freezing. They've still got their showstopper. They've still got thrash. This B side is gonna be hard to hold on to. I'm honestly a little surprised G two are still. It's not honestly. Into this area. It's not the voice changer that's the problem. It's the fact that people recognize my name, because I use a. I, I'll, admittedly, it's a different voice changer and a different mic on another account, but I've never been recognized. And so people were saying like, oh yeah, you've got a recognizable speech pattern. Yeah, you gotta... Bro, you're using tracker overlay and you saw that it's Wuhu Jin. Uh, like, I'm sorry, but that's exactly what happened. How's that program bypass hidden names? I don't know. I'm not a... I'm not developing those programs. Joined by his teammate now. Both through spawn. EU up top to hold this one. Great first kill. Leaf trades onto one. He's low on HP. They're both one shot. Oh my. And Leaf gets it done. Leaf just, he, he stole, stole that stole. round. That is heroic from Leaf. I mean, 2v2. How did G2 get in there? They've got no utility whatsoever, but Leaf takes this time. You know, is this exposed in the Riot API? Stays cool Pirate the software collab? No, Hosers, I'm... Leaves. You are completely misinterpreting the scenario. This is not like a cheat. It's not a hack. It's not, um, it, it's in the Riot API. There's just a user ID, bro. Like, it, it's, you can, you can display a username for a given user ID if you can look it up and all immortal players are public. Well, not, it's everyone in the top 10,000 is public, I believe, which happens to be all immortal players this is not like some cyber security data breach or something it's just it's misuse of the api it's just trent underneath those ropes holding on to it for now 100 thieves have been very measured in their approaches right they're not instantly blitzing in works for everyone no matter the rank really it can de-anonymize like a silver player who has anonymous mode enabled you can look up the username oh fuck you're right because it match history okay the reason why it works Asimoto, because this is actually neat it won't work the first time you play if you make a new account and you name it bob and you don't publicize your data and you turn on anonymous mode those applications will fail just that one game but after you play one game, there's now a match history with like Bob, Frank, and whatever. And after the game, all the names get revealed. And now these applications can associate a name to a user ID in their own internal database. And so, yeah, that makes sense. So you, it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly, JG. You can query the IGM with the ID. But you can't do that if the ID is private, JG. Unless you maintain your own database of like matches and then 
after the game has occurred, you can associate the user ID to the player. I know that that's what Tracker does. How much easier would Raise the Radiant be without Breeze in the pool? It'd be harder for me. <laughs> Breeze is one of my better maps. I need Icebox to move. G2 also used both their paranoia and their fault line into elbow, but right as the pit was cast, they didn't scale off of that. They walked in dry to every Right, just doesn't enforce this heavily. Yeah. And hundred thieves, all those little offlines playing around the pit. It was just too much to deal with. The aggressive use of their internal database. No, no, no. They're not querying Riot's internal database. They're querying theirs, which they constructed from data that they got from Riot. Three stingers for G2. There's a nightfall. There's Again, it, I believe it is against Riot um, TOS, but like, but if they wanted to get back in, they could. What more you want them to do? G2 going for this one. They hold the util for now. Just walk up off the smoke. They, they just need to make it so, like, if you opt out, the match history doesn't even share your username, essentially. And they chose to say to not play out this round and give 100 Thieves 12, even with ults available, even with a couple of guns. This time, though, it's way more equalized. 5v5 still clock is saying why are, why are they getting away with it okay hosers look you'll say this right now but then you'll do something against tos and you'll be like oh but it's fine like maybe you'll account share with your brother and you don't get banned for that but you should or, or maybe you'll go jaywalk on the streets and you don't get arrested for that but you should you can't just enforce everything in the tos because you can't just detect every TOS violation everywhere. It, it's not that simple. That business profiting off of it? Where, where'd this profit insinuation come from? Like, are you hypothetically speaking now, or do you have data backing up, like, your statement? And it was the perfect setup, playing for the ult at the start of the round. Leaf playing off into perfection. They needed to win that round, and they do. A full force have all their money invested. Yep. Two alts put into that one. Talking about Tracker's use of the API. Do you think Tracker is explicitly profiting off of the feature that shows you the username of people on your team, is what I'm saying? Used to perfection there. And the answer is probably no. They probably didn't even think about it. Like, do you read all the terms? and services when you re when you like agree to an end user license agreement no you don't and like you're gonna be like oh but they're a corporation i have to hold them to a higher standard and while that should be true the random developer who built this feature at tracker is just a guy man it's just a guy it's not some fucking evil corporate enter entity it's a guy and he was like oh wait it's cool i can show the name here so ultimately if you want to like enforce a rule on your api then the api should enforce that rule explicitly um it just shouldn't allow you to query that data that's how you should handle it um telling people like please don't is it's honestly an error on riot's part and i fault riot for that not uh tracker because if you look at like most enterprise apis work this way like if they have a rate limit then the api will kick you off their um they'll kick you off of access if you go past that rate limit they won't just trust you to stay within the rate limit does that make sense they've got enough to keep going so api misuse should just be not possible ideally this series the guy's always been such a rock for this team critical in those clutches flexible when he's playing the viper when he's playing the initiator he's world class on both roles and he's been stepping up big time, particularly as an anchor in this second half oh, yeah. for G2. What is it with G2? Please stop with rate limits. Go check out my. Uh, I've created some services myself. Let's see. They've certainly been stepping up. Lucio's in the flow state. We have addition as as a service. Never seen the the head warmer. Before. That's, I that's, forgot that's we made this we rate limited this to one request per day does this still work is that true? It's all the there's no way this is still deployed no okay good <laughs> I'm glad I took this down I would have gotten fing DDoS <laughs> but you used to be able to go to add.wuhujin.dev and give it two numbers and it would add them together 
but it would only let you do it once a day. And I think it only supported numbers like 1 through 10. Or is it 0 through 9? Once again, taking space over into mid. Trying to blow that up after the last few rounds were so, so much about forward space being taken. Yeah, 10 is out of bounds, 0 is out of bounds. And again, are just waiting for a strategy pushing up AA main. To run into the crosshair of Icy before ripping I think we hard coded it. I don't even think we added. I'm gonna look at the code after this round. Oh, look at it. It's a slow play round, chat. We can look at the code right now. Get that second cycle and go for next I don't know. I think this setup is gonna cook hundred <laughs> I forgot we have supported strings. Yeah, they could get up into vents, but there's two players. From G2 playing oh no, we just add him. We just add him. Got a bit of a crossfire, and Jonah P from <laughs> Cypher supports so well. A fall line on that line would be deadly. Here comes Icy, walking down. Man whips his shot. That is a huge opportunity squandered, and now the whole Some APIs, rate limits like three per minute, something on awesome to work around. On that side of the map, and yeah, like those things suck. But generally, when rate limits that aggressive exist, you're not paying. And so you can't really complain. Because they're essentially giving you free in compute. And the only opportunity left really is heroics. Look in the wrong No one has been looking at the player they died from. It's so brutal. Because again, like G2 setup. If given a little bit more time to cook, Boy. would be deadly. But then, as soon as they rotated out of their positions, like as we'll soon as SAP could give you anything about money involved, all right, what's SAP? That was when all of a sudden Valen is abandoning Icy. Uh, the timings that round were so unfortunate. And you also have to criticize Like, what is it? I'm not even sure what you're talking about. This seems to be also an acronym. It all fell apart. They're heavy over towards A. Busio's got his map down. One more, as a matter of fact. And again, it's just working into it again. A, a Business applications. From G2. Slightly different. Oh. Fighting on a Assuming it's like some enterprise grade right. thing, then a main fight. usually those Bang services require game. like crazy reliability. And so that would be why they're like enforcing a ridiculous rate limit. G2, a little bit cautious that mid could be a gap for them now. Again, that vent space taken. So they rotate back through heaven over towards B. Good stall here from G2. And they're ready to fight off it. Trent is playing on the ground. Leaf out on Raptors. And that blind doesn't hit anything. Leaf's good there for the kill. A paranoid to assist. Wingman falls. Uh, it's hard to explain this like perspective, Dunkel. But try to think of it this way. Have you met a developer who's out there to get you? Like you met a person in, in real life, you worked with them and they were like, let's make something that's hard to use or annoying for the end user. People don't talk like that. Um, however, people do make compromises in the name of some like necessary function of an application. Damn! Confusing Tyr and I right now. Okay, it's the same thing though, both ways. People almost never do anything in this world maliciously. The type of people capable of doing things maliciously, unfortunately, usually become like leaders of government. They don't become king software developers. <laughs> so like, because malicious people want power, they don't want to fucking build an a, a REST API. finish there a phenomenal round from him almost slipped away but he kept it together for 100 thieves to get their first win and it just for 100 thieves fans it has got to feel so good it has been a long time since they have had a team who is a true contender i acknowledge my potential for evil she was not going to act on it either yeah exactly like they're just getting started when i don't know when something's like annoying to use i don't go like why the fuck did these guys make my life miserable? They're the worst. Yeah. 
series they've won since lifting the trophy. This really inconvenient to build around? Oh, I'm sure it was. If I had to guess your specific use case of their product, it was just not something they thought about. Like it's either ignorance or like something they intentionally didn't want the product to be capable of doing or some technical limitation or another. We'll move right to send Lev. Even in that first map, so many clutches from that guy. Cryo as well. I mean, finding his mark. Played two maps on smokes, performed on both of them. Yeah, my prediction now. This round from EU, where there's an ult into the back oh, of his sight, and he gets two kills somehow solo anchoring. Prediction, there it is. The amount of rounds 100 Thieves won because of, you know, beating G2 on the clock, or one player anchoring a sight getting two or three completely unfathomable kills was just simply enough for, for this split to look very good. Yeah. Bro, I was thinking... Let, let me know if I'm cooking or not. A game show where you have to be a software developer to participate, which kind of sucks. But the the challenges in the game show are impossible to complete without cheating. And then it's just like, who can cheat better? What is that clip? Oh, let me see. Let me see. Oh no. Surprise. <laughs> Nobody turned, bro. What kind of challenges? Oh, that's an implementation detail, Dr. Turner. It doesn't matter. But like, I don't know, ma random fucking math questions flash on the screen. And you have to fucking type a solution in chat within 50 milliseconds. I don't know. Like, don't worry about what the actual challenges would be. That sounds like creativity. <laughs> How don't they turn? Surprise. <laughs> you guys are crazy. You don't turn. <laughs> Now they have two new players yep. in Rooney and Moose. Yeah, we scrimmed them a little bit so far, to be honest. And I always like the C9 guys. I'm good friends with Vanity, so we scrimmed them a little bit. We're looking to practice really hard against every opponent. We're preparing really hard. I didn't so hear her. Play, we're looking to win, whether it's yeah, but that's C9, the part I'm laughing at. Like, how don't you hear that? <laughs> They're shooting a fucking gun behind you. Like, it's about winning, and I think y'all are doing a phenomenal, amazing. Now wait, you're making. I'm gonna go dig up a clip. Thank you so much. Of course, man. Give it up for you one more time, everybody. For 100 Thieves. I'm digging up a clip. All right, we're going to toss things over to a quick break, but we'll be back at the desk. Let me find it. Let me find it. Actually, wait. I think I can dig it up on stream. I forgot. I made a fucking web page for myself to browse my clips. Where is it? Red Bull gives you wings. Feature coming soon. Yeah, no searching is not not implemented. Where is it? I know what the title would look like.
Well, now I'm morbidly curious. What's low FOV Valorant? Oh yeah, I'm playing ADS only in freaking Swift play. <laughs> oh, unrated, unrated. <laughs> Swift play didn't exist yet. <laughs> this is true stretch, bro. Right, this is not the clip. This is not the clip I'm looking for. Oh my god. Not the clip I'm looking for. My god, I've got a lot of clips. Normal play for normal boys. What's this? Yo, you guys want to do a normal play for normal boys or what? <laughs> what is a normal play? We just go art to connector to blink to B. Do it. You heard me. Keep going. <laughs> to connector. Connector. Oh, I'm sucked. I'm sucked. All right. <laughs> blink to B. Blink to B. Blink to B. <laughs> yeah, they all ran A. They all ran A. These fucking idiots. They thought we were going A from art. What are they thinking? Heaven, 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 heaven. <laughs> Bro, I can't do this anymore in ranked. I, I can't call shit like this. People treat me too seriously because I'm like woohoo Jin. It actually pisses me off. Why not? I try, bro. I tried. I was watching my old clips. I'm like, oh, I vibe so hard in the past. So I started vibing with people in my games. Uh, I was trying two days ago. It just everyone just goes like, oh, are you woohoo Jin? And then it just becomes a fucking interview. It's the worst. That, that was Sano on my team, by the way. I popped him on Lotus yesterday. Okay, where is... Where is my thing? Oh, you, wait. Does Zendikar find the clip? Walking out me. No, this is not the clip. It's not the clip, but that one's really funny. Okay, we're not in game yet. Not in game yet. Now the the clip I'm looking stopping with Hujin, <laughs> I mean I try that. Problem is people can de anonymize me. No, this clip is uh the guy like is going for a knife kill, but they make a footstep the last second before they knife me. And I dead ass fucking 180 the guy like instantly. Yo, <laughs> I think it's this clip. I'm sure. I'm sure you'd mess it up more than half the time if you didn't like giga sweat. <laughs> Holy fuck. One enemy remaining. Holy f <laughs> I'm sure Listen, I'm sure listen. you'd mess it up more than half the time if you didn't like giga sweat. <laughs> Holy fuck. One enemy remaining. <laughs> Holy f <laughs> <laughs> this is not my only clip doing it. I have another one. I, I did us have another one. It happened twice. It happened twice within like, uh, oh my God. My website is starting to lag as I pull up even more clips. <laughs> oh no.
Oh, this guy's raise was different. Wait, I remember this. Unlucky Wait, I want inspiration. They're out, they're out. Planning. Hold. Why can't I play like that, bro? Look at me at the bottom. Fucking bot frag already now. B Phoenix. Is it this round? No. When does it happen again? Yeah, they definitely I don't want to miss the game felt like they hadn't dropped a beat right. from Madrid now the question on everyone's mind is whether or not Sentinels can maintain this momentum and last week our very own esports Douglas sat down with coach Kaplan and Zelsis to talk about the road ahead our you're gonna watch the game who the game's not going that. on right now you want me to watch this you get out of here Original Fracture Pro, right? <laughs> Where is it, dude? I could have sworn I had two clips, but I thought they were close together. You said you don't want to miss the game. I'm not going to miss the game. Oh, do I not have the second one? I'm mad. I don't think I do. I think it was it was way closer to the other clip so i don't think i have it bro damn you know, using the same composition there's so many clips i know bro taking, taking your tactics it doesn't end. bro i clipped yeah, everything I, I was having fun playing valorant well, i also think their run at masters was like a, a on a smaller scale but like a perfect example of mm -hmm. that their first matchup against gen g they were very vocal about how they were trying to counter stride and they were on really youtube no it's on my um focused on beating it's on my amazon s3 bucket it doesn't go their way they rematch against them and it, we're just going to focus on us we're going to do our own thing yeah. and i think there's a there are a couple of more nuggets in that conversation that i really love. how far you've fallen no legitimately dude roster, this uh sentinels roster continues i i actually develop. don't know how to fix this problem what's happening in game i think where the way that people just treat me different in ranked built by, because uh, i'm me and drew is is fascinating to watch and i think there's there's really no reason to think that this this run of success can't continue yeah good point very good point uh and and if anything it just goes to reinforce how i'm trying to think the last time somebody like the off season coming into right like now, when they recognize me like was telling me what to Let's do all game see if uh Zekin's doing what he always does decides to stay humble for us send it over to geek heavy there they are as I live and breathe. Here they come. Zekin, please come on over. Come on over. I got to ask you a question. Please be very honest with me. Are you the best player in the world? No. Uh, I think I've got a long way to go, but uh, it's nice to be in that conversation. Yeah. Kind of crypto for every game? Dude, is, it's the worst. It's just begun, and it seems like you are, you're there already. Just admit it. It no. might not even be like, no, it's not, not necessarily admit. crypto throwing. Like, there's I'm also just people it. with too much free time. Just admit it once. It's pretty easy for an immortal level player to get an account to immortal. I'm the best. Like an immortal three player can get an account to immortal one very easily. And like, I'm just going to show you an example. Breeze lost yesterday. This guy's username is literally alt account and it has 200 hours. What's up with that? It doesn't even play over here. And he just whips out Yoru and Breeze against me. Like, it's very easy to get accounts to this MMR. And people just do it for fun. And then they just snipe streamers. 
did it it's dead and he's done it since he's been home yeah. they just they just have fun doing right. it but you know what's interesting uh statistically speaking yeah yeah go on. not the best player on the server last week which is kind of wild when fun. you think about it who it was What's like the something? first thing that guy's typing in the brother, server is like hi to me for us <laughs> like okay all right uh real talk though i mean we we harp up a big up rather zek in here shazam but you know he's got so many tools to work with as a primary duelist what's and up with Sassi, these odds on gamba i mean, this guy, if he pops I mean up, sentinels are the that, champs right yeah, now i think sauce is a really good player i think that when a team's winning a lot they get a lot of attention um, but I could see Lev taking uh, map one. I agree with you. But I definitely don't think it should be 96 4. <laughs> Those are criminal odds. The last round there on Icebox, they were in a 4v2. That little like jiggle peek. He sniped you with the delay you got? Yep. You want to know how? The same way, bro. So my queue times are about eight minutes long, right? All you do is sit on tracker. Pull up my deathmatch. Live update on. When you see another game show up here, queue up for ranked. Wait five minutes. If you haven't popped, exit queue. If you popped, well, now just see if it's me. If it's not me, like you load into the game, remake. Repeat. And you can remake this game generally within time to catch me after my next DM. And then you just queue again. It, there's nothing I can do about it because I can't private my tracker. So no amount of delay can help because you can just tell. You play your DMs on a different account. People just figure out that account's username. I guess I could use an account that's privated to play DMs on. It's really annoying to have to log in the two accounts, dude. Also been in a bit of a topsy turvy mood as of late as we move over to Leviathan. Now they lost the C9 in, and I do. Can love you not have two running? No, you can't be logging the Valorant, Valorant twice. Game where you had no idea what was going to happen. It just felt like it was carnage on the server through and through. But C9, they managed to climb out of this one. And and Doug, I mean, I I just feel like it's a bit of a like. Then you just have to keep queuing DM to pop my DM lobbies on West though. And you'll be like, oh, they can't do that. Literally happened yesterday. Was it maybe not yesterday, the day before? I thought it was my first year. Oh, there they are. So here's this guy. And then they show up at my ranked game. I believe like right here. Yep. We'll come together. And I, I think the truth is, it's they just really annoying. That series against Sentinels. That feels like one that they kind of let. Like you can do things to avoid them, but nothing will work every time. Hard. It it's almost worse in a lot of ways, and I'd love to get your thoughts on this too. It's almost worse when you lose a series that you know. It's hard to explain how annoying it is. <laughs> it's really hard to explain. Yeah, definitely. It's way worse because you feel like you beat yourselves. At least yeah, you know yeah, they are stream sniping. It's, except, like, okay. it's it's worse than that, Dasamoto though. Like. So it's two dudes. They'll queue up solo, both of them. If they're on the same team against me, of course, they just try. If they're on opposite teams, then the one on my team will soft int, which is essentially you throw, but you don't make it obvious. And then you get to stream snipe for free because you're in Discord call with the other guy. So it doesn't matter. Glitchlock, thank you for the two, three. Like this bind game, um, I can point to you rounds like as a fact that I was getting thrown this game. Um, essentially, the way I was getting soft thrown, I can break down rounds later, but I would take an angle and my jet would like cover my back. And the moment this jet realized I entered crosshair mode, they would always leave my back every time and they'd never comment. And I would just die to angles like that. And so my deaths would look really stupid. Like I looked like a noob and it's just this guy leaving my angle every single time. And it's like, what do you do? And creating massive gaps to do that. Because it's so like really is easy to and cost so your team a game in high elo without and then also dependent on mistakes throwing yeah. like you don't have to obviously throw your bread to um for, as long as it has lose your team a game in immortal elo not only off of doing that but primarily off of doing that teams have keyed in on it 
you i i, I think it would be this happen often that's Sorry, the thing i don't even know like in cases like that bind game it, it was pretty obvious so i could tell but i can't tell like if you throw in a way that's weak enough like i can't tell like this breeze game we started 10 to 2 and then we lost i don't know was that unlucky probably probably not a thrower but like i don't know that's and that eats at you overdone and it's just getting because you do know the throwers are out there and they are in some of your games talk about it yeah well you want to talk about something it else? It's really about, annoying. Uh, Ospos guess, dropping yeah. plus 32, and then they still... Well, that upsets me, too. That, that's that also, here you go. Upset. I go mean, it's <laughs> just even more annoying that he dropped 32 and King dropped, like, 30 as well or something. Like, they had at least yeah. combined yeah. 62 frags on a scent. Lost an OT, they're losing... Happens one time you're paranoid one about? Basically, yeah. At the end. But it doesn't just happen one time. It happens a quite a bit. to what you said of, you know, the... Uh, Less than some of its parts, the other. It's like yeah, you, you already need like a 60% win rate to hit Radiant. Yeah, that's the way that you are. And so now it's like I need a 70% because I've got to account for all the free losses. And close out the game like that. It doesn't make the actual clears with his team. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't make the actual issues. Uh, I almost certain that programs like these break TOS. breakdowns happen in Leviathan from your experience? Yeah, like you can tell they all the certainly rounds, they go into executes, and it's when the round breaks down, it's the post plants retakes, and they just look. I, I don't want to run damage. shit like this on my PC. Um, it's a you, communication thing, it yeah. feels like, right? Because I mean, Com's biggest thing when he was playing uh, alongside Boosio and the boys in DG was like just because something's open source like, doesn't mean it's secure. Contributing a little bit. Uh, it's a common um here misconception. At all. People no, just like trust software because it's open source. It's like um, and I don't want to go read all that code. That's huge. That's a huge really project. Evident. Yeah, in a lot of these rounds too, especially Why do they want to throw? I don't get their mindset. Running, like, these have too much free time. And, and on the scent. They'll have so many big rehearsed retakes with all their utility, but then when it actually comes like, I know, to into the cycle, I know a guy from when I was in college. Lineup, paranoia, flash, I know people who threw in League for fun. Like, it just devolves. They can't trade for each other. I well, have met people like that. Saw, really just You've probably met people like that. that you just may not know it. It's like, uh, what do you do? Just how, how good he has been. These and people exist. It, it, this team right now is just not, it is lesser than the sum of its parts. That's a right? good one. And thank you. He I came up with that myself. I've also did. done wow. some suspiciously troll smart. things in the past uh, and, to and people I think it, it feels on the internet, like especially when I was younger, like in middle Valorant school. Is Holy. More about chemistry and more about synergy, as we've talked about. It's just funny. The games, and there's just something that's not clicking. Yeah. And I don't know if it's uh, King struggling IGLing in English. I don't know if it's... I, so, somewhere, don't worry, FBI. I, I won't tell the internet what well, what type of shit we've done. <laughs> this is last year. But it's more like I don't, I don't think that people like sniping me and throwing are really malicious. I don't so think that be, they're uh, evil because I know people like that. For Leviathan, but, uh, for Sentinels, well, and I think more that they just lack good right now. Let's go social ahead, awareness. They lack maturity. As we jump into the map, they probably lack a good role model. Like welcome to the VCT Americas. It sucks. The situation just sucks. There's nothing you can do about it. Coin flip determined that Sentinels is team A and Leviathan is team B. So Sentinels, Phantom Map. Fan Breeze. I knew a Rengar main IRL who was Diamond had a bronze okay. account where he'd throw Leviathan. purposely for fun after winning his lane. Leviathan band yep. splits. Exactly. Sentinels map pick. Pick Lotus. Pick Lotus. Okay. Odie Leviathan lurking looking for his daily Lotus. tweet. <laughs> Already Attack made it. Lotus. All right, Odie, link your daily tweet. Uh, map pick for Leviathan. Ooh, Lotus Ice map switch. one. Icebox. Okay, Sentinels side on Icebox. Pick defense. Defense on Icebox. Cool. Sentinels bans a map. Bans it wasn't about you. Bans I need set. one for tomorrow. Leviathan ban a map. Sunset. You should talk about how Sunset. it sucks that I can't can hide my username. Bind. People are saying Sentinels hi, Wuhujin, on it's round on one. Cool. And they, they wait bind. till the game starts so they know I can't fucking dodge. I'm on full anonymous mode, right. bro. So we start things off with Lotus, Icebox, and then Bind. If I'm Bind yesterday. These guys said hi to me immediately, I and then they started throwing the bomb at me. Right now. Their Lotus is world class. Their and we just lost. Is world class. Their Sunset is world class. You're, it's not like you're playing against a team that you get rid of. Well, what, of what do I do about okay, that? 50 50 the other ones. You're banning two of their best maps, and you still have to play them on another map. That's just yesterday, good, someone said Wuhujin would have calmed than, that. You're you know, the, the worst and, coach and like to me. Like, it's just tough to play. Crazy. Bro, the internet is the worst, Odie. On God. Yeah, so getting those out of the way, this might be their best chance. Yeah. We should just both stream ourselves playing like Animal Crossing. <laughs> Fuck. 
coordinated tactical shooters, bro. For now, though, we're just gonna waffle. Okay, we're just gonna yap. Stardew Valley, dude. Thoughts and emotions. Perfect person for it. Why? I think I already gave my emotions. Just like a general, real mild frustration. Mild frustration. Thoughts. Uh, I mean, I do. I totally agree with what you were saying with the split and sunset being out, and it's just so, like, so many teams are just playing those maps that when they go up against Sen, it's the we feel good on this, so we should give it a shot, kind of leaving it in. And so those being out, yeah, I mean, I, I agree with that. I just hope Riot adds something, something that lets me Q5 that stack Valorant ranked outside of Premier yeah. without waiting map, seven years for a game. Like, that would be peak for me. Yeah, I, I do not know. So. It's fair. It's fair. Uh, it, so, uh, Who do you think is possible course, to go from Immortal 1 to Radiant in three months? That is sure, hope so. Out, I'm about to try to do that really in hopefully less than that. perform today. It's King. And I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty well, much like unarguably really an immortal one, immortal two player on raise right now, for sure. He's gonna be I need to get way better. Majority of the coming. he was the leader on Leviathan. This is a much uh, on the old Leviathan, much different look this time around. Doug, he's still got to step up to be that leader, and there's just more work that has to be done on his end because he's gonna be calming in English. He's gonna be, uh, you know, communicating with the rest of his team, trying to like create some synergy with four people that you know, or three people that he didn't play with last year. Yeah, you would think that when this roster was put together, King's job would be easier, right? We talked so much about King last year and how he was really the bright At Immortal 3, finally? Kind of Dude, I was one game off Immortal 3 two days ago, OD, and now I'm 56 RR. Beginning of the year, but you're right, GB, I'm jealous. Like it's harder Good for you. This year, and I think he's consistently doing his thing, yeah. too, which is why I'm so high on King. Like, the kid is insane. Right? He's been able to put together a lot of really impressive stuff when you think about his career on Leviathan up until this point. And it's it's tough, but he has to. Minus 150 RR. Dude, I had some crazy unlucky games recently. Like, I definitely lost some games that I should have won. Um, and I can easily highlight those for you. I should have won this game. I should have won this game. Um, additionally, boom, I should have won this game. But the rest, I'm honestly like, this one, I had intentional throwers. This one, I genuinely don't think I could do more. This one, bro. Chat, do you guys remember this game yesterday? It's the last game of the day. We're in a 2v1 clutch OD, and I come to my chamber. Don't fight, we win. They swing, they fight, they die, we lose. <laughs> <laughs> they had no time to defuse. <laughs> and then we go to OT really and they draw. It was literally a 13-11 yeah, really win. win. Yeah. If the chamber well, just the didn't swing. Like, the bro. Just, the problems probably aren't just in the server. Right? Like there's something about. And, and to be fair, I whiffed my nade in the 1v1 after the chamber fought. In my defense, I was so mentally fucking tilted from the fact that my chamber put me in that position that I couldn't think straight at all. But Zekin would have not missed that nade and would have won anyways. So, like, skill issue. Well, we're getting real close to the walkouts here, but I think we all know where everyone's leaning for this one. Two, the 2-0, two assuming here. Where where can Leviathan find... I started fighting everything, so I can't get tilted like that. Bro, layout. this is what I need to do. I was talking with Dopai about this, and I have this controller-minded brain, which is, like, really effective for playing in, like, Radiant Elo as a smokes player with, like, people who are overly aggressive on Duelist. But it sucks when I'm playing the Duelist, I need to just limit test games where I fight shit way more than I'm comfortable. It's just so hard. That's fair. Because I, mean, I, but it's like easy to do it off stream when my name is Franklin. Is father it's so hard to do it on stream <laughs> when I know that if I have a fucking right two and twenty six game, I, yeah, it's going on the front page of Reddit, yeah, and I, people I, are gonna I be like, "Who really just threw my elo?" It, it's folks, so hard. You, you feel? On the road, we got Leviathan. We have Sentinels now. It's like a mental block. Could pull off this win. It'd be a massive opportunity for them, but the Madrid winners are looking to shut them down. Let's send it back over to the stage. It was like, I can just play conservatively and never be the reason we lose, but also rarely be the reason we win. But it's like, dude. So I felt all the time about Twitter, fear of getting posted. <laughs> I mean, yeah, dude, you literally posted straight facts about counter strafing and you got clowned on. <laughs> like, dude. Is the, the internet makes up their mind and then you're you better hope they agree with you
you go 226 every game, they can't expose you anymore. True, because I'll just genuinely be bad. <laughs> You think you're not on Twitter? Past few days was crazy on there. Was it related to me? Coming to Radiant Austrian, probably top 100. I'll come back in a training arc. Dude, I want to do that so bad, but. There's just too many things you can point at. Like if I climb off stream, people would be like, oh, somebody played on his account. And also just like, you just lose all that money and I pay so many people. But dude, I'm jealous. No, it wasn't about me. Oh, bet. Then I don't even mind. I'm just insecure. I've recorded every game and it's unlisted. Bro, so if... All I'm saying in OD is I've got VODs of my entire initial climb to Immortal and people called this fake. Like, <laughs> what? It's me. There I am. Yeah, if we're opping A, I think the only, There's me. only one peeking should be the op holding here. No? And I'm being a piece of shit, apparently. Look at me. I'm getting passive aggressive. I'm probably close to immortal right now. Fuck. Yeah, I, I, I gotta fix this shit. I still do that a bit now. It's a personality trait I do not like about myself. Don Shazam. So I, I want to feel a tinge of hope. And I feel like the hope is going to come in the form of Osboss popping off in this server. Would you agree? Uh, Actually, say you just voiced over all those games. Well, I mean, do you see the person above you? So it sounds like a different person. But also, it's just like, bro, you'll link them that shit. They won't even watch, okay? They don't care. People don't care to actually see the facts. They just... Or whatever. <laughs> that's a good, yeah, that's a good start. That's the bare minimum that you can ask for. Let's <laughs> not get ahead of ourselves here. It feels like a big ask. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, this is going to be a tough one, without a doubt, for the Leviathan lineup. But again, they have those weapons, Doug. So they have the tools that can bring them to the promised land here. It's whether or not during the week when they have that downtime. Anyways, I might start duo queuing a bit in Raise the Radiant chat, and you're going to have to deal with that. That's the one copium I think I'm going to allow myself. I'm not going to allow myself to pick a different agent. I really want to master raise as a challenge for myself, and I'm really committed to it. I'm not going to like pre-record games or anything. I want to play them live, but I might start inviting a initiator player to my lobbies. Subtle win condition, if you will, that you you feel like you kind of look at that and go, oh, that has to be where they deliver. Even even that formula, even that equation is not the same one, and it becomes infinitely more. And I'll just dead ass admit that I'm probably can't solo. Like if I invite a duo, I'll just say it outright. I can't hit re on raise solo queue in a reasonable time frame. Like I'll just say that if I invite a duo. Even if I don't like believe it, I'll just like I'll take that hit. So that way I'm not like saying anything I'm not like it's fine. Side, everyone duos to hit radiant of, like almost right? everyone like when you're eating and you're eating good they're you're feasting and that's what sentinels has been doing all right here's the agent select now and sentinels is gonna keep it nice and breezy here not do anything uh you know obviously too out of the ordinary a squad that's certainly just going to continue to just improve upon what they have already built and what has already led them to a championship but on the other side for this one, well, you did get a Sentinel, so look at that. I mean, time, what, what a time to be alive. Shazam. Let's go, Mirror Combat. Does this combat, I mean, Mirror Combat, does it make you excited uh, at the very I have least? to solo, I have the mental block of unintentionally Sam, throwing people's yeah, ELO. <laughs> so mm. I'm glad they're trying to figure out at least get comfortable. No, I feel that. All right, folks. Well, let's see what we're going to get with this one. We're ready for the first pistol round. We're going to send it over to your casters. There are a couple. Line up Larry's. You got Van Silly and Rivington. Thank you so much, boys. Yes, indeed, we have a full house today in the Riot Games Arena. And you know what? I don't want to beat down on Leviathan either with okay. like GB because now we're not coming out with novelty comps for Leviathan. And as Shaz is saying, we got a Sentinel coming out now for Leviathan. And we're hoping to see them be able to fight back against Sentinels. And, you know, know who you're playing to duo with? I know who I'd like to duo with, but it's I play so much 
Like, for example, I'd love to just climb with JG up to Radiant. Because he's, like, also washed right now. So it'd be fun. And we have duoed to Radiant in the past. So, like, it would be fun. But I don't think he has the time. Because, like, I play a lot. Second? <laughs> like, well, okay, no. I'm not going to duo with, like, a fucking pro. Because, like, that's obviously... That, that that would be unfair okay at the same time as your opponent just cannot stop the flood rubble control is just going to be fought over for now as this is actually going to be a pretty slow pistol round expect it to go off the rails quick though it's quick when the wall immediately comes down and that's leviathan to score first so tex gets the opener and that's second down there was a stalemate a little bit in terms of utility but now you have leviathan creep another immortal yes yeah, so what i'm gonna do most likely is i'm gonna do what i used to do and I don't think anyone can argue with this. I'm going to queue up solo. And then when I get a good initiator on my team, I'm just going to send them a friend request and we're going to duo. Rinse, repeat. It's that simple. I'm not going to like invite a pro. I'm not going to invite like Ken Zetal. Because, you know, that's kind of... That's not realistic. I want it to be something that you could do. Does that make sense? I don't want some duelist main to watch the series and go, okay, well, I'm going to be stuck in Immortal 3, though, because I can't invite Giza to my party, you know? So I'm I'm probably just going to invite people that I run into that are solid initiators. And I'll just can keep inviting different guys. Because that's what I used to do. You can see it in my um, spreadsheet. I'm almost always duo queue in those games on that spreadsheet. Uh, the random game I dug up earlier, I was duo queue with Sano. You saw. Throw back to when you duo with Giza. Yeah, I was playing my main role there. I wasn't concerned with it. <laughs> yeah, Giza's a freak. Those games were unlosable. I think my duo queue win rate with Giza was like 85%. Got a bulldog coming out as well from Zeno. We'll see where Osphos takes this guardian. Looks like he will get the support of both flashes. A little bit of cover here towards that C area. And they look for mountain control to start off here. Just so Sentinels can't get a decent early read on the map. You plan to duo comps abuse with Dope Iosia Radiant? Yes. I, I'm going to do a duo smokes with Charlatan on East Coast servers. And a super try hard like push to high Radiant duo with Dope Eye. Calm doesn't bring out the Sova. They have the fade. They refresh on that. Keep some prowlers and haunts going. And then one that I'm working on collecting names for. I want to try and win a hundred Swift plays in a row. <laughs> sort of like Wuhujin flavored smurfing content where it's not ranked, so who cares? And I'm going to five stack Swift play with like four other Radiants. And we're going to giga try. But also, you're playing some easy roles, some some roles that are some players are comfortable with. Khan playing as the initiator. Mazino back to smokes. King playing the It's like my, it's like ethical smurfing content. Like, it just, it sounds so fun to me. And we'll queue like Oregon servers. So that way, if you want, you could queue up into us. Like, go ahead, form a five stack. Try to beat us. Good luck. And then you just get being railed. Like, <laughs> it sounds so fun. If you can't, oh, just gonna say you can't get a kill. Just be the merchant, merchant of death and skins, just for one there. Com so you run into five other radiants sniping you? Nice. I'm down. That's what I'm saying. Like, either way, it's content. Like, if you fail because, like, I don't know, the entirety of Sentinels queues up into you to ruin your streak for fun, that's still content. To be like, the Odin, but it's not headed towards tree right away. That's gonna be over towards the sea site. See if they try to get any type of and we're not going to lose to five diamonds like here. ever. Maybe paranoia or smoke through and then a nade as Zekin tries to front a little bit of control. You see the pings coming out already. The left one to clear that rubble and the left pocket. That's a series I'm pretty passionate about. You might run into a collegiate team. Yeah, and that'd just be fun. Like, even if we lose, it's still a fun, like, video to make. And it's more... I want to demonstrate that you can do smurfing content, get views, and not ruin ranked games. I truly believe that. So it's sort of be like a demonstration. Like... 
easily have it's, it's the same it's the same as watching smurfing content at that point but it's swift play so who cares trying to just take everything out of sentinels and so far in these rounds it's been the members of sentinels not just utility and the reason why you see Zelsis here playing with the Odin. So the alarm is going to get first info. Yeah. We're going to try to slow things out with Nanoswarms off the turret. And the Odin is going to be good for the spray. We already have a Discord group chat. And instead of playing the retake or slowing things down, he gets the There's swift play us. tactics, chat. Uh, I'll leak one because, like, who cares? Uh, you're going to see him, like, immediately. This is. That's the way the economy works in swift play is on round two the winners have credits that look like this and the losers have credits that look like this and so like you're probably seeing it already you just always go outlaw like no matter what because if these guys buy vandal light the fools we have outlaws and so you have to go heavy armor in case they go outlaws so you have to go like outlaw heavy <laughs> and then like the weakest part of the outlaw is you have to keep it for the next round against like heavy armor but in swift play you can just throw it off the map and buy rifle heavy <laughs> They took him down right away, so they'll keep that in the back. Lev is up three. They're up more than three, bro. Sentinels only have three kills. Doing a lot of rotate so far in these first three maps. In big five rounds, rather, yeah. Six K credits. They still have four thousand at least going into these next rounds, and this is going to be the low armor buy here for Sentinels. See if they stay back, go forward. They've switched over where Zelsis is. Tried to condition that we've left the Killjoy at C. Now at A. And that may even play into the favor of Lev here. A push on the mound again from Sentinels. Shots are not hitting though. And Zekin's low on bullets hit by the paranoia too. Still manages to get the kill onto Mazito before he falls from Damn. two in the round. And already now understand for Leviathan that they cleared out the space. Already initiating inside the site. Double satchel. Prowler inside waterfall, spotting yeah. Sasi and gotta fall back again. I think Lev was recognized too. Low buy. They pushed, they went into this. We have armor advantage getting the site. I think she would say Ospos going in so quickly to know that that play was pretty readable off is this a spectator bug or has it always been like this i've never noticed i can't see where the bombs planted on the mini map right into their laps. They made i the thought right you were play, supposed to be yeah. able to see it sentinels was not ready for another c hit that hard comms just ready to throw their nightfall as well so just trying to guarantee to round our leviathan and his post plant looks like a bug okay thank god i'm not going crazy the side as a group there's that first contact jiggle peak and forces out this round is insane from leviathan sentinels choose to fall back and save because we're spectating defense so no far, oh maybe you're right yes i think you are or even really a four. no no here we're on attackers we don't see the bomb but we did see the bomb when we were watching nobody and yeah the Vietan have such no we we should right now. we're watching it's attackers right now we didn't see it either for sentinels to make a move they're going to sentinels in a lot of these plays here, Zekin was able to clean but up when they were in like the pure observer feed watching nobody we did see the bomb I think it's a bug, really chat. Teamwork coming up. Aspas, two away from the ultimate, and not even close. Had it blown up? It did blow up, but not when we first we watched the attackers, and then it blew up. So we, we had a timing window where we saw the attackers and we saw no bomb on the mini map. What's this highlight? Next round, this has to be one of their first. Leaf in the center. Did they jump? Holy fuck! Seconds out, bro. Close range, but instant trades coming in from both sides, even the push outside from B. Chat, does anybody know, is Clove bug fixed? Is Clove legal to pick right now? Trying to say that the silver lining at least for seven or no four still still bug what's the bug i don't know i just know that they weren't allowed to pick clove uh last week due to a bug it's not fixed okay they were mentioning at the desk we were a little bit i have a theory that clove is like giga 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 busted um sort of like chamber was the calls right now the feels that where even though chamber has like no supportive utility they were just like a must pick on every map i think clove is similar clove has to be nerfed almost surely in my opinion if anybody wins this it's saucy but there's no way because like leviathan has to screw it up 
They're looking to play a little bit aggressive on Rubble, but also are stopping us when we push C. And, and you don't want to let Leviathan get to the front door. 100 credits for the overheals broken. Uh, I don't care about any of that. The broken thing is they can smoke while they're dead. It's too broken. I don't know how you balance it, but smoking while dead is too good in a professional match. As the killjoy turret finding information. It turns every clutch into a, a winning clutch. So yeah, there is. If the enemy team doesn't have clove and you do, and winning every clutch is the same as winning like every game. Like if you convert every clutch, it is crazy. And I feel like Leviathan, that pressure on their shoulders may just kind of be lifted, right? Knowing that this make Reyes even smaller. No refresh. I don't know. Not a game designer. But it needs to be nerfed. I don't know if we've really seen them down this many rounds. Start stage one here. Oh, we gotta pause. I have to use the bathroom over here, back We've seen Sentinels come back on the international stage. They can definitely come back here, but do they have the answer for what Leviathan has been throwing down? Ospos one away from alt. This could be a focus to the orb on that right side. Lev has left a kind of just no man's land after yeah. the first round where they put King up forward and then they kind of play towards C, play towards mid a little bit for the lurks. So this now they may start to show that A presser again. Zelsis will reinitiate the utility of Killjoy over towards CB. And Sentinels is just trying to find out what'll work right now. Like First like Sentinels do new. Yeah. You have a Zekin that's also one way from the alt. Potentially trying to throw some sort of paint shells to show, okay, maybe there's a stack from Sentinels on the A site, Tossin's and then they could push Leviathan over to a rotate yeah. of a C site stack. And with that haunt that was being thrown, Prowler to find information. Right now, Sentinels are still playing with no information taken, right? I'm back. Nothing was spotted there on either extremities. They're waiting it out. They see the Prowler B, fade B, and we'll start to work towards A. Again, this is the alt door for Ospos. If they can grab it, you see King ready for the plant. Here. Now they source out what this is going to be. I feel like Sent needs to back up in sight a little bit more unless they're going to take this fight straight on with this alt coming in. Axe Molly. Second Prowler finding information this time. If they have to know Zekin can beat, Hold yeah. Holy shit. There's King scoring first. Showstopper being pulled Did out. you guys see that? that? Right now as Sentinels is on an eco. So they, they right Viper the Molly backsight. Yeah. And then they raise nade here. Clean entry and they the seize Plank here. Down for and it's all and clear. Stream, to get something done like with you, that. you are Hold either... You're either dead there. Dead the there. Dead there. Or you're like offsite. Should they close out this round and take the lead by six in to send scoreless? Just c taking that site, the util usage coming from the Vietan, the seas is catching, the haunts displacing where the defensive spots are. And it's like Sen is safe nowhere. Trying to get that push on, just a distraction. Player standing. Celsius is just counting the bullets and able to catch one off the exits. Yeah. And for Olivia time, they're hunting down those kills for sure. Damn. All right. Those alts are going to be coming up for Sentinels. Can, can they formulate a plan, though? So those Hold just don't Sentinels have out. seven kills. Leviathan's been playing it's so been six back. rounds. They, there's the C right there. <laughs> that's was that's barely a kill with. around John Cutie that they're the averaging. Oh, they also rocketed drop. Holy kills. shit. But it, they're not even letting them get away with that, really. You got to be sneaky. And yeah, I didn't notice there. that ball. That's crazy. Oh, like, yes. Yeah, so, See if you break the eye, they just rock at you. C play for the Odin. <laughs> Utility split between <laughs> DC and a bit of this mound and rubble control. Not again. No, they leave it to Leviathan for now. If they throw that one way a bit, if they wow. throw the one way earlier they, they or the eye later, they don't know if then you can't shoot that eye from um, just ready to inside the one way and push back. They're not taking any chances versus Sentinels here in our first B rush. Let's see how they coordinate around the kill. I guess unless you pre aim it. Sentinel seems to be okay for this as well. Why can't we get this sort of stuff for Razian? Bro, because I am done. trash. Well, he is still gonna be I still should gonna be holding be myself to this standard. Celsus is getting to the Odin's spam. No. Celsus, you don't know either? Does nobody know that you can spam that? Showstopper for the retake. That might be it. That might be it right here for Sentinels. Another lurk. <laughs> yeah. Sentinels, look. Okay, I'm Hardstock Immortal 1. Fact. 
Hire me as an analyst, please. I know too much about the game. Zelsis can Odin spam this corner to that bomb plant, clip it, send it to Sentinels, fucking go fact check me. It's a thing. Please, bro. There's no way. I couldn't tell what he was throwing at first, but it's just Leviathan everything going their way and it's because of the movements the mid-round calls and the way they've been playing Ethan made a video about it the other day how does this know bro they need a they need a, they need a paid knower on their salary you give me a salary I will just I'll make sure you're up to date absolutely disgusting they really have not been able to put this Odin to use either that they keep buying towards C that's a crazy part too as a duelist being able to get behind enemy lines to backstab too yeah so when you're really seeing Leviathan on these executions, Aspa is getting so much space right now. And not really met with too much opposition too, because Sentinels are trying to fight a little bit towards the fort lines at the beginning. They'll try to do it again. We're starting this intentional tournament legal. There's the nothing side. that should make it tournament well, illegal. It's just a wall bang. It's no different from, um, as far as I'm aware, it's no different from like a wall bang on Haven. Work to a short Molly's from uh a lobby to go down now have a pretty good sight of this b site now yeah. it's not a bug install right now with both wow john cutie and zels is here yet leviathan they deny all of that util not afraid and just brute forcing in this one of the first times sen has their team to get the retake in and this is what we expected from zelsis before i surprised nobody uses it at this level that's what i'm saying for that retake protocol they have everything for this swing round wall bangs banned Locked only in the case they cannot be done in both directions so really this one should be safe then they also have a showstopper to just fight towards that corner if leviathan wants to fight inside the site and stay there yet the you can do this one both ways as far as i so that am aware will go through nobody's gonna get detained showstopper now try to clear information there's nobody around the site so they know right now for leviathan they're playing post by outside of mount oh, there's a showstopper for oh i think he saw his head a four on four satchel up in the air there's still a smoke in the front stick it on to the spike here's john judy puts it a half point now stick wait he's on bro Apparently he can defuse that. That's their first round. Not a good look for Sentinels. Getting Leviathan out in a, something they must have missed because they plan it to hold in sight, and that's not very easy when that lock. Yeah, I know of some tournament illegal wall bangs. Astrovic, KT, thank you for the tier three. That turn at the last second, the turn at the last second to save him puts the spike lower, allowing spam the makes it really easy to spam back. It's heavy John pen only, Zelsus Jeremy. It's heavy pen only. Who the hell on attack is buying an Odin? Wow. Well, I guess people do buy Odin on this map attack. I, I take it back, of course. Um, but th they're not. But yeah, people do buy Odin attack on this map to spam here a lobby. So I did get a bit ahead of myself. In fact, I bought an Odin on Lotus attack yesterday. Okay, okay, okay. But they're not. They're not buying one. And no, the counter spam's not a problem. You're denying the plan. It's so good. Now delaying with nanostorm is trying to walk in and find a time send just email me okay uh, just be like look we get it that spam was good we took it but we are not sure you're worthy of a salary region could you show us 10 more things and yes i can i'll go through your vods and i'll show you 10 more things that you could fucking slightly adjust with uh the nerd brain hit me up sentinels let's go unacceptable dude not fucking spamming that they stay inside the pit. They kept it up. Walking it close. All the Sentinels are low on HP. So hard to walk inside that pit. And as it goes wow. down, all the Leviathans still there fighting inside the site. They snap back right away. Ultimate protects two lockdowns here if they have any trouble coming from the future rounds. And they do not let another post plant go to Sentinels. Let's see this again. Just stick in the site after plant. And they lose three. Okay. Wow, that post plant smoke is actually sick for the hold. You can't say. Bro, write that down. Smokes mains? Okay, this is kind of hard to integrate. But here's the scenario. If you have a duelist who's playing on this box, which will happen if you're higher elo, then smoke right here and play right here. And now you hold this smoke and your duelist is still holding water and everything is fully locked. It's free. That is sick. Push here from Sentinel. You can only use They're it if your teammate's playing on the new boxes defense, holding water. In kind of their one and then it's, it looks unstoppable. So for lower rated smokes mains, I'm sorry, you're probably not going to get a teammate playing on those boxes. But if you're like Ascendant Immortal, Radiant, 
That is actually gas. They're not XCT swing water side of pillar. Then your guy on the boxes. You, you mean over here, and you probably just king. You're right. You probably hold that from the boxes instead. There was a viper's pit. You're not wrong. Little delay, left and right. Stall him at the door. And we'll see what Sentinels has here. Sheriff retake hasn't stopped him before, though. You yeah. run. Went high. I'm sure there's an answer to that. The you probably just put another guy right in front of the box and you fucking hold high low. Yeah. And now it's less of a solo key strap, but it's doable in Premier. Trying to keep it expensive is not really the name of the game right now. This, again, Leviathan are rolling in the bank. Ooh. Still trying to chase down these kills. Ooh. John Q intends to get some work in. Aspa's holding it down inside the site. And I, that might finally be the hope gone of some sort of an eco save here for a second. No time. And Leviathan now really making it a one sided affair so far yeah. in this first half in this series on Lotus. Well, like you said, Sends happy, especially yeah, so I think the full setup for the, the underpeel teams, to take the low you don't look at the smoke. Them, My bad. Will the guns even matter here? You Lev have a guy in the box. You have a guy in front of the box right looking now. here. They, they, a guy they on the box also looking like there. The macro. Now and this is the setup. Together, and then the if they come out of the, the smoke, so you guys just fucking adjust onto them. Because you have huge off angle anyways. We think them most strongest. Haunt out. Quick one up top. But they still can't fight for this rubble control. It's just a little bit of early knowledge. Or if you have the Viper Pit, of course, you just do it the way that King Lev did it. Try to have Zelsis hold this area with all the Killjoy utility. A good push onto Mound. Baron and wouldn't see the guy coming out of smoke, though, no? That shouldn't matter. The guy coming out of smoke should just be dead. they leave King again, this is much like their the bonus round that they ran. Actually, they're leaving way more. This is going to be a B pinch for the first time from Lev. Like oranges, I need you to under put yourself in the shoes of a Valorant player on this retake. Okay, you're here. You're just gonna peek this way, bro. Or you're gonna come from water. What are the odds that two guys are gonna come through this smoke? Like zero. Her baby door being broken here on the defensive side. That's Aspas trying to scale in. Texas running inside the smoke, catching Zekin off guard. And the teleport into like yeah, if you've seen the setup before, then maybe you're gonna adjust, but. Oh, that's not gonna happen. He's the underpro. They're also keeping Sentinels at bay. Now they can reset. Ten's just waiting for a timing to paranoia in the front of the B site, but nobody from Leviathan will be there except for Mazino. There's that flash now being thrown. The door not connect on the kill. Waiting for it and finally. Okay, that's a miracle Mazzino. kill. That allows your Sentinels to move in. That's a miracle kill, bro. Kill. Now a smoke here. Eyes were sticking onto the fuse. Snake bike to keep it away. Carve is alone. Ten's just <laughs> pulled off a robbery. That seems like the timing that we are used to from Sentinels. The ability usage when they're hitting, disrupting so many of the angles being Last watched by Leviathan. The we saw their mouses flicking back and forth at all. <laughs> oh my times. god, the top frag for Sentinels is five and ten. The reason Sentinels retakes usually look so clean, it's they're at the back side of their opponents, still double swinging something that's never available to trade. Wow, instant crouch spray? Goes over so smooth. They keep some weapons. A 9 3 is almost a must here with the power Lev's been bringing into the match. Let's see if they can keep it going. Do I just need the this instant crouch run, spray, kids? Allowing a little bit of info to come out of B here, but also still keep fade on B. Keeping Lev thinking that rubble control is trying to be pushed. This mountain, though, this is important to Sentinels. Super aggressive for Sentinels. The dodge, the dodge, the first blood scored by Sentinels. Wow! The attack in the hands of Ospa, they still falls. fight it. How's he get that, bro? Now that allows here Leviathan to get control of both the mountain. He's and peeking a one way with an ah. Pathing depending on the picks. The off angle being held by Sasi. And now the jig is up on that end to try to at least give Sentinels an opportunity Hi. to take. Hello, Udon. The dogs are home. Yes, how was daycare? As the orb just got tapped and picked up by Osmos, one away from a showstopper. Really cool pick. Hey, Udon. Here, Ooh. it's gonna push him right back over towards Zelsis on A. What the fuck, and Udon? That's Zelsus my. Can back up, I believe, baby. I just my took something off my desk. Try to lace him with the Odin here as they pass by. This is gonna be a sketchy one. I don't know if they make noise before they get to Zelsis. That would immensely help the rotation. My dog is, is going crazy. Right a wall. Oh, wait. Leviathan's walking through. 
The wall's about to drop, and there's three left. just behind. There's that one. There's that second one. Wow, he almost got traded before he could get two. And now King once again is left alone. One versus three, 18 seconds left on the clock. A flat, but no more U2 left behind. Now also on top of that hit by the Nightfall, giving a chance now for Sentinels to just book it. He gets oh, the first wow. pick there onto Tens as he drops down. The last two have to group together. John Cudi and Saucy sneak by the He's the wrong read. King trying to find yeah. information. There's the third. But because he was spuffled by the Nightfall, needed to find that info. The hero play and from Zelsus. Let's go. 3-9 is winnable. Wisp Weeb, thank you for the prime. Game without a seven to one score line or a nine to three score line, right? What quick thinking there by John Cutie and squad. <laughs> that shot you know is what? crazy. Has been a lot of these late Look right here. Bam, he starts getting wall bang. And basically direct Leviathan back towards a back to the waiting arms of Zelsus and Sassi. King just needed to hit That's double the dink on the wall bang trade there and Zelsus gets one. Opponent walk right into the it trap. would be crazy. Took a bit, they got three. Sometimes that's enough, but they're really going to have to put this down on attack. All right, well, at least now let's throw it back to the desk here, GB. Leviathan looks good, right? Man, I'll tell you one thing, baby. We got egg on our face right now because that whole segment, we were like, ah, left, left, left. And then they came out of the gate and said, you know, just hold my Red Bull. Uh, <laughs> hold my really Red Bull. From Leviathan here, Doug. And it feels like uh, a rejuvenated is two team. Is the third exactly Oh, really? That box exactly is that what what thick? Expect from those five players that are playing e on Kaj, yeah, for the prime. I think this is a lot of what crazy. would come together when this roster was built. And I think Aspas is still doing his thing. I think King is popping off. I think Mazino's had a couple of really big moments as well. And I think they showed that they had a really good plan at the beginning of Lotus. It also felt like Sentinels were trying to force it a, a little bit at times. Maybe, you know, a couple of plays that kind of were left. <laughs> oh, this but guy is different. Other, other than that, Levitan, at least for the first quarter of that half, if you will, uh, looked very comfortable. Yeah, honestly, it's very rare you see Aspas not having a dominant performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, And then on your point, too, like, it felt like Sen um, were down a couple rounds and they started making peaks that it's like only when you're down a couple rounds, you feel like you need to make a play to, like, yeah. save the round. And that was Maybe just, instead like, of trying to play like Zekin, I should be yeah, trying to play like Aspas. Uh, now we are in a position, though, where Sentinels were able to squeak out three, nine, three going into this. This could Zekin's rank one, but Lotus, right? so there's gonna be Aspas a can hit him. Does Aspas play ranked much? Can hold off they only need four out of this. I hate, I hate the idea of a nine-three curse. I'm, I'm over it. But I will say, at least, at that least there's a nine-three curse. No, stop. <laughs> okay, never mind. I will say, at least so far in stage one, attacks out on Lotus wins like almost seventy percent of the time. So there is a very good reason to think, okay, they got three on defense, whatever. There's still a shot at this thing. Yeah, there certainly is. We'll see how this all pans out. He does then play every duelist. The half, send it back over to your casters. Zekin does swear he isn't the number one duelist. Haha. Well, we'll yeah, but he's just being humble, bro. He's rank one. To the fight here on the attack. And yeah, the scoreline definitely shows there are at least a stat. Faker yeah, says he's not so the best mid laner. And ain't oh, nobody this, believe that. Arguably in our second best map, right? When you looked at the vetoes that came out from both of these teams, you're like, okay, what well, don't I have a split? Hey. They have a chance here, but that buffer? let's talk about that in a bit. There's three players crossfiring towards the front beam. First blood for Sentinel. Saucy falling back. A C's being thrown to. to Bro, they were three B from Leviathan. They were and ready. Even gonna notice them very close here at their front B. So Sentinel's falling back with the player advantage. Lazy Wolf, they have the five month prime. Big quick jump there, and they back up for safety. Saucy down quite low. The take on the site's gonna be a little yeah. tough, or a retake is gonna be a little tougher without Aspas's nades, but they should be able to hold off for now with this info. Little bit of control on A being grabbed back. John Keaton goes down. That might have been a quick switch on the map. Now they have to go see on this one. Yeah, it looks like John Keaton wasn't expecting that. And the C hit's good here. Denying the lurk. There's that C execution for yeah. Sentinels, and it's open. Nobody's really moving in here for Leviathan yet. Trying to make sure there's no other lurkers around the site. Cleared out towards B, put an alarm bot on flank as well. And all of them grouped up towards the spawn because they lost that Ooh, space. Ooh, so they're going to go for CT, I think. Oh, they're going to haunt. Are they going to? The prowler this. Yeah, especially when there's a one-way. This one-way is so good. Under the attack. There's a paranoia, that but Zekin avoids it. There's that dink in the kill. You asked for him to lock in. We got two. As King answers back. Tens at the that is a great push, CT. As running at what do the dogs want? They want food. The Sarah's right. It's is definitely now. dinner time for them. The turret, but not 
Celsus Sentinels win the pistol round. And a much needed pistol round there. Also having to call the audible and be forced towards C. I'm sure they were happy to not get any uh, defense from Lev when that happened. This is going to be where they pull it back. Lev started off on the attack side here. This is Sentinel's pick. So Lev said, we want to bring you that attack, those attack rounds. And this is where Sentinels have I don't know, man. Like, well macro-wise, Leviathan kind of had the read on Sentinels that whole round. And then Sentinels just... All right. we hop in. Got a little fortunate Walls with the CT engagement there. In from the to gain on the they map. also got fortunate it's with the B main engagement. Coming in from Sen. Orbs to Zekin. Over and over with those first two kills. One already as well before that. Almost to ultimate coming into round three here on the second half. Toxin screen down. Is very is that patient to real this. damage? John Q is there. Trying to do some damage. They'll contact Tex. Wow! Well, okay. You starting to see these players playing solo plays, and it's working out for Sentinels. Trying to break the time. Oh my. Game, jumping forward. Denied by the Stinger. Last player Becomes a clean entry now for Sentinels. I love Sen. I've been a long time fanboy of comms, so now I'm conflicted. Go for that kill. Go for that hunt. It's up against calm. All right, let's say this. If calm clutches well, this, you can never doubt calm ever again. But if Sen clutches this, Not you can lucky. never doubt Sen ever again. I love this. Oh, sorry. It looks like you are a Sen fan now. Going in on these rounds to get alt. It's like, yeah, I might die. You got my trade, but that's another alt orb. I just picked one up, two in a round almost every time. We're at round three now, second half, and he is going to have that showstopper for Leviathan fighting back with full guns here on this bonus. Really neat way to so start. Sarah, how are you even awake? Kills. Isn't it like really helping out 2 a.m. in Spain? It's a pillars. There's a ping going down there. They're choosing the soft site here. Out of all three, and this could work out very well. The wall's gonna be different here. It seems to be for Baby Door in heaven, so Sentinels potentially just wants to fight inside this B site for a plant, but so far, a little bit of a util is keeping them at bay. E pop. Up, Classic eco round strat. Now, all the way towards the back, Boombot misses, but at least the C's, and then the show. Uh, Where do we go? A link, right? Identifying. Surely we go A link. Thank you. It'll work one after the other. Really giving Levi Leviathan a taste of their own medicine from how we saw it first half. Retake from Link and Heaven. But Ooh, Baby Zekin's Dor just going to play on the bomb and timing peak side. upper off of Ten's contact, I think. Lower guns here for a Ooh. You want to stay inside that site. That's the Stinger and also Ten's working oh, in tandem. Both bro, drop Aspas by Aspas cleared that. Six cents coming in from the duelist. Even a third in the round. 22 HP remaining. Pain shells across. Line up Larry. Wait. John Cutie. They're Zach nerding it. Is one HP. Was going inside the decay of the wharf. That slows the clock down for a bit. John Q and Zelsis having to work together. Oh, they didn't break it! Never realized it there. Nerd dip. For Sentinels to convert the bonus. Maybe GB should toss to those guys as lineup Larry's, not us. Yeah, yeah, those two. Oh my gosh, not a very. That's a hard situation to be in because you can't like pre-aim the killer Molly. Because you have Sentinels to be looking to be main because you get peaked. And, just give Leviathan a hell of a time trying to get back onto the spike. And Such Sentinels are making a lot of noise there, take. B main, to, to play on that. They're sort of forcing Aspas to look B main to, to so hold for his diffuser. Yeah. Looks like it was a haunt, actually, that got the ping towards the back and not a seize, but you'll take whatever to yeah. get that entry with that showstop. That's sick. Clean. One watches the push, one's getting the mollies. They had it timed out really well, too, so you know that's been practiced until they got it down. Prowlers towards pillars. Leviathan's trying to get info here. They open the door and see if they're going to get another B push again, but they got to be ready at A. Sentinels is moving so fast here. I see, Dopai. Ask past state mound there. I get it. It's a professional game. And it's nothing like solo queue, but why can't solo queue just be exactly like pro? Because now I'd be playing just like ass pass. Door not being open. King pinned inside tree, so they'll look for a safer plan. But pain shells are also coming down. Aspas gets to pick. 
as Sentinels are trying to push toward, toward the back of the site. Finally, King falls down towards the tree. Now, Khan trying to push forward, but it's a one for one. Five Showstopper down, okay. at the ready. Saucy is alone. Second satchel closing up. He's just gonna oh, shoot no. it. Swings yeah, out down. and it connects. That is big. Three for I missed the orb chat. Where right was, was it like a weird orb? Knowing what the state of it was. A few nades in, they all felt comfortable to control with each other. It looked like the standard A cross orb. He couldn't pick it up. By tens, but nobody went into clear and nobody saw what was indoors, so nobody peeked around because they thought it was clear. Yeah, it was a normal one. Oh, it's a bug. Right, usually with these setups that you see from a killjoy to kill uh, we don't see a tech like, pause right, right. oh wait no he's shrugging yeah they uh, yeah, that was a what happened so one of the protocols was very missed there 10 to 6 now the Vietan actually stopped the pressure here from Central maybe he fucked up. maybe he fucked it up Molly has to come out the Vietan gets a bit of read on who's where on the map and the prowler does see it close Man, Lev is just delay, delay. It doesn't look like they can make plays off this, but they're they just didn't like, call no, tech we pause. Need to back up Sentinels, rethink the next hit as Lev take rubble control. Oh, thing is, there's oh a lot of util towards this B site and C. There's not too much to hold back except bodies on the C site. Now John Cutie sees at least one leaning out towards rubble that engages Sentinels to pressure out towards the C site, but paint shells once again. Down. More util being used by Leviathan slows them back, but we've mentioned the amount of util that's now missing. It's the call from John Cutie. This game bug, what can they even do? Rotate over now, group oh, if it's just a one-time thing, yeah. Orb, I thought it could be something that like when affects his uh, pickups in the future as well. With the KJ, they know there's no KJ util on this side as well. Becomes an easy entry for a plank. Lev with some low members here, gonna make the retake difficult, but Aspa starts them off right. Yeah, no choice to fight towards spawn now, because he lost control in the front, and Celsius drops two. Last Bro, they love time, swinging CT. A death ball towards the back of the spawn. They First the contact reader. will be Zelsis. To, to actually find the information, but I mean, the call from the Prowlers are going to be there. High, low stack. Just at the top of the box, there's at the ramp. Keep Does that can get wide in fight? Nice satchel first. Calm gets the first. Wow! He popped it! Right as he swung. So second was fucking midair. The timing on that's ridiculous. To break that crosshair placement. Van Silly, we are witnessing it from Leviathan right now. He's him. He's him. I'm sorry, but that is him behavior, dude. Two huge kills coming in from Sentinels, and Lev has no choice but to re-clear that same spot. Every eye is on that spot, and they still get all the kills they need. That is going to put some momentum in the squad right now. Calm, overhyped, and it is deserved. 11 to 6 here. Two in favor of Leviathan. Is actually, I thought Sen was going to snap back again. It's usually we see some. That, that's the craziest King 2K. But not the case. Like of all time. Because he's ready for it. He's like, oh my god. Same position where Zekin was playing towards the mound before, but it's Mazino that falls on that right side of the mound. Why is playing insane on your peak and consistency a trade off? It's not a trade off if you're the fucking pro. But that's just how it is. Like, the better you get, the gap between your best and worst shrinks. So you don't call your gameplay insane as much because it's just always like that. Whether they try to take a little bit more space, so that requires now comms utility. Because the, the, the variation between your best and your worst is much smaller, so your best doesn't feel as better. Because you just always just like, oh my god, what a shot. Allowing Sentinels to move inside the site and get the plant down and off the plant. Or John Cutie has the pit. But this is why I'm always feeling good. You're always feeling good, probably because of Dunning Krieger. <laughs> if you're always feeling good in Platinum. Oh, I mean, you. Can you expect upper? No. Great play from you, John Cutie, dude. <laughs> that required some dancing from the side of sentinels being tagged by the ultimate nightfall gives you the trail and uh, they were just trying to follow all the sentinels members inside that pit another c mound control 
I think at this point, both teams know they can get a first kill over there because there's going to be a fight. And as fast as to consistently crack the list, actually crazy. Yeah, Cooley. I would say to frag out this consistently, no, though, you have to Sit give back. crazy props to his team. All right. Like, it's a super team of support, so you can't deny it. There. King's got the to maybe like, yeah, Aspas is, like, an incredible duelist. But no amount of incredible can frag out every game. Unless you just have, like, a really good team. Of course, this performance, this game from Aspas is just otherworldly. It's actually different. With a hero guardian, Mazina with a stinger, the rest with pistols. As fast as a rifle. And everyone else has like nothing. In their favor to try to close out this round. They're playing Exit? No, they're going for it. Nobody rotates in and across because they know the pinch from Leviathan was coming from Baby Door and from Seaside. More delays, paranoia being thrown. Not allowing really Leviathan to set up for the retake. There's one the first contact. Now going left and right, speaking one by one. Show me as fast POV of these kills, one. please. Delays on the nano swarms. Trade. Oh, I wanted to see his. Team. I wanted to see how as fast peaks that angle, dude. On my own morbid curiosity. Zelsis with lockdown coming out of this one. A clean A hit there by Sentinels. Were not put off their game by being pushed around the map. Also knew Let's see how upwards Tenz's really fucking hand was. Great opening shots to hit this one. So Sentinels, uh, obviously power in numbers for them right now. The last round or so, Mazina was taken out, so they have had an easier chance. But the rounds that Sentinels isn't finding the opening kill, they are suffering in sight with the way the Leviathan is having Left these reads. So we've seen the long sea fight over and over from Sentinels saying, okay, Center a neat heart haunt start of that round. I'm curious where it landed. Looks high up in the middle of slant. It's the little things they're hitting. I mean, in the beginning, Zekin was basically slant? farming for alts, looking to get shot too. If that would have been a way he got an orb. So Sen have had an idea of what to do since the beginning. Guessing right he's, now it's was he standing here at the start of the round? Both teams get a little chat in this timeout. Because I know where this one lands. Fight out towards the seaside. Yeah. When the pressure's coming in towards A and most of Sentinels are on that Seaside well John Cutie is doing a great job getting Ooh. that info and also slowing things down in the push. He started here. He started here with quite a bit of utility on the BC side too. And that's so. the thing. There's like two eyes. So much util to fight back on that mountain side and having less on those retakes. There's like this eye, and then there's one over here. A little bit more, have a little bit more protocols here and save a bit of that util for the retakes. Yeah. And when you're starting this round and we're back in the server here, you're not really seeing Leviathan really set up to go for that three player push on A, three player push towards C. No, it's, it's more reactive right now. I'm pretty sure he's throwing the A1. Right, he's throwing happening. it right now. Right moves so they can have that utility for the retake, which it, it does make sense. Sentinels is now hitting their shots, coming online a bit. This it lands right where I showed you, right there. Let's see How close was I? Left in the yeah, I is here. <laughs> just a bit on the off angle here for the peak. Ooh. Showstopper ready. Stay comes out. Connects oh. on to Celsius. Meanwhile, though, Com has fallen, so they did have some sort of a trade here towards the B side. I'm gonna be like him. Comes out for Leviathan. Also, a pit came out on that C side. Imagine you get into the round with a showstopper and a lockdown, and those are the things that go down first. That did. <laughs> Sentinels did not need that start, and Lev is very happy with the condition of this round. Able to stay in default positions. Killjoy utility still smattered about A. Yeah, this should be a lev round. Almost no deaths if they can help it. Oh, and you're able to dodge the prowler too. Are they gonna? Just getting ready to TP somewhere. It's a seize right in. Yeah. Tried to guess it. I mean, it makes sense. They're down a number. They're trying to hit Viper with the seize and then just omen TP. His Viper won't hear the TP. And then they were probably going to use another omen TP to go like over here, and then omen would just push through and kill somebody. Should have done it with a classic, why not? But yeah, Sassy's gonna meet up with them. They'll get a plant and a nightfall out of this, so there's still some sort of hope here. Not the one you showed? I'll look right after the round, then. I'm interested. We're at the ready. Three of them grouped up here at the staircase. Pushing. Trying to focus a high low that might be a swing. Sassy could actually go in today here. Three now. <laughs> the timing! The timing! They were looking for a timing to push in that area, and it's a backstab instead. Leviathan with this defuse huh. or at map point against Sentinel's map pick. That's just one of those moments. They threw it immediately? Like, I'm gonna at round five, start? And then, <laughs> then I'll turn. I'm going to give this time. They're not going to. Okay, they're not pushing. 136. A little delayed. 
Oh, no, that's attackers. Okay, is it attacker eye? I thought you were talking about defender eye. Of course, the one I showed is not the one. Is this a, this a defender eye that I showed on my Valor plant? In these situations where they have the side of sentinels in, in a rotation, they're pushing spawn and catching sentinels off guard. It just seems like those little moments. And yeah, I was showing this one the comments thrower. Who's yeah. to blame except for timing? 12 to 8 here. Lev looking to put the last and finishing touches here on sentinels. Matt Pick, Lotus. The C mount control again. It's going to be a big fight. Showstopper. Oh, oh they tried to the hit him mid-air, bro. No contact. I honestly think they that was about a hit. I think it with, clipped with the, the edge of the arch. As for Leviathan, they have their lockdown currently anchored up. I think it was good. Nightfall as well. If they do lose a bit of control of the site, so many things to layer on here to keep it secure and keep C a winning round for Sentinels. All the members of Lev make it out, but Sentinels have made a the top of route. now in C site. Yeah, you throw the one that they're throwing there if you like don't anticipate front A aggression. Instead, you anticipate like a dry walk or slow play near the boxes. I'm pretty sure that one's a run throw. Wow. I think that's just the round. Those two picks are everything. Like, what do you do? It's not even playing it for mound. There's some free space They're just going to wait back. nine seconds and win. The the oh, it is Planet for Mountain. The Both of them pinned towards the back of the site. There's that first lane. <gasps> Second shot coming through. Oh, my God. John Cutie. What the fuck did he just do? Are you kidding me? Just click their heads. He has a bulldog. No, that's not even a vandal. The clutching B for a pivot. Wow. So many alts used here. That first kill is absolutely ridiculous, bro. You want it? I want it. I want it. I want it. Damn. He's so cool. He's so fucking cool, bro. Let's see if they got it. I'll never be that it's cool, and I, I'm okay with that. If they can source some orbs, I'm okay with just admiring how cool he is, right honestly. Vietons, That's insane. With this rubble control, sends taking it slow. They do want to take it slow. They know the economy's. I'm taking that. Broken Chat, write that down. Vietons. When you win a clutch, you come. You guys want it? I want it. Sign, so That's a fucking sick post clutch com. I, I need to take that. You can see that it, it, Lev, you, you light a fire in your teammates out. You guys so want it? I want it. Rounds, but already you have I love. I actually love that. The site. Now they're rotating Mazzino back out. Back He's so one, cool, two, bro. Two. How is he so Trying cool? To play reactive against Sentinels right now because they know Sentinels could bring this to twelve. Prowler out. Great information on pillars seeing at least a few there yeah. you basically just Come tell in. you call your team out in like sort of a positive way you're like look i'm not giving up if you guys want it i want it we'll win you guys have a cracked teammate right now they cleared him oh. got caught there couldn't reload fast enough and calm gets the pick Hard to get information. It's not cleared once again. Such a tight space, but he finds so much room. Now Celsus trying to what save the round for Sentinels. What are you Tom, bro? A two versus three. Celsus swinging out here, wins it against Tom. I'm buzz with the backstab. King gets that pick. Tens, you want it? Tens. One smoke. Shrouded step, jump spot from Osmos. There's that first headshot. The he fucking wants it, baby. Let's go. He just wants it more, bro. What are you supposed to do? The pressure is just making them better. Oh, come on, dude. Sentinels are you kidding me? Two clutches back to back. Tens isn't even clutch. Like, his clutch rate is terrible. Wow. Godlike. <laughs> Show the comms. Show me tens just being like, yeah, I want it. You guys want it? Yeah, no, Kaplan's not happy that. And, and I, this is also like, this is my biggest issue with tens.
he is kind of bad at clutching. Um, he, like he's immediately pre-aiming the bomb there after killing Aspass when he really should just be fucking bunny hopping over here to then jump spot because the wall's coming down and like you have all the cards. And so giving that duel there is really bad. It's really bad. This up. This should be but he won, so who the fuck cares? But that's why he has... I'm pretty sure Tenz has the lowest clutch rate of all the controller players in this America's VCT. But he won that one, so who cares? Sheriff, they have nothing to work with in this round. Ashiko. This will give a chance here, some breathing room before Sentinel. He just fights to us at heart. I think he's not comfortable playing. Um, he's not fully comfortable yet. I'm pretty sure on Duelist, Tens would actually slow it down after that first kill using like a jet dash or something. Sentinels, it's a one gear move forward. Clear the site and plan. I think they're realizing Lev on smoke these plays a little bit fast these, in the clutch I'm pretty sure it, it should fix itself this angle is really good <laughs> oh, the shots are off Info on two players they should be chilling wasn't expecting a third there's a paranoia that's gonna hit at least one of them Delta stays alive and that's gonna slow things down at least on that side give me a chance here for Levia to creep in from waterfall and also from the spawn that's King and Tex John Cutie has a pit available if needed, but he's playing it for the middle. Texas Holland. Sword applied it for them, and as they're trying to pick up the Vandal, Zelsis does not allow Tex to upgrade. King now alone. Running a forward, running across, jump spotting, <laughs> and spotting King. Yeah, he'll get That's that great shot. play from Zelsis. There's no time. An expensive round for <laughs> Sentinels, though, as they move into round I don't 20. think the money... Can Sentinels buy? I think they can. The money I think they can. I think Sassy can get two and light. Ooh, he can't actually. You can see the credits they have, Sassy at 55, and the first shots here to drop some of the weapons. Uh, the Molly follow-up here from Sentinels was beautiful for delay. Three Molly. VLR has them at 17% for VCT 24, one of the highest, surprisingly. What? Is that just this split, like right now? Like it just counts the one game that they had last week. Because that doesn't sound right at all. It just don't sound right. So here's the most clutch players in kickoff Americas. John QT, yep, two E's, FRZ, Zelsis, yep, Trent. Tens is way down here. Three out of 38. And notice that 38 number is fucking huge because he's playing smokes. He's in so many clutches. I'm pretty sure you're looking at data that's not complete. Smokes players should not be that low on that list. The pit that they are, we're gonna finish towards the B seven and said Leviathan are gonna play a little bit thing, uh, things a little bit more cautiously. Calm, getting ready to throw here this haunt to get information outside yeah. the A side. But for Sentinels off this timeout, will they try? And to three and thirty eight is way below seventeen percent. That's under ten percent. Both the orb and the wall thrown. So if they want to, so maybe he started cleaning up his act, easier, but. but the, sure the, the pattern I was seeing was he rushes it. They don't want it to be. Well, that's a move up. 11 out of 71 all time. Forward. Remember, it's the ultimate for Zelsis during VCC well. 2024. So I'm guessing that at Madrid, he had a fucking run. King's there. Hit hit. by the paranoia. Manages to fall back on time. Seas could not catch him. John Judy watching the staircase. Lockdown available as the orb got picked up. Nightfall being thrown on the defense. Second oh, trying to clear three. it up against information on three. A lot of them are hit by the nightfall. Tens made it <laughs> Dude kills out with the vandal. Lockdown in the front. Text. We're going OT, bro. It's up to Osmos and Mazzino. Two versus four. Pick comes out. And a plant also comes in. 8 out of 30 at Madrid. Yeah, 8 out of 30 is fabulous. Let's go, baby. 
Osboss now has to come huge. Watch Cindy King down. I love rounds like this because Aspass just has to go for it. This is 11 12. I want to look at the Madrid stats. Yeah, he's actually Not way up there, but like, holy shit. Rounds to make it happen, but Sentinels find a way through each time now, and everybody's starting to come online. He's only in 30. <laughs> John QT was in 80. <laughs> like Zekin was in as many clutches as tens. So that's actually kind of a to start a map funny math it looks rough but they still have some of those solutions to make it work and bring us to oh tens was we dueling at Madrid, bro the fight continues. Zekin trying to get there, across. two of them are in the that smoke bro what the fuck is that they <laughs> just they smoked back. here and tp what is that hit They'll see nothing yet. Who takes mound like, like that? That doesn't even look good. Cooking utility on the A site and the Odin. We're gonna stay together. Looking for Prowler sees here. Do you know? Did I learn that as an omen main? Who's? I mean, honestly, fucking random smoke TP into it. I'm probably not gonna complain. Baby door could be broken, but it looks like John Cutie is not going to make that sound. They'll be rotating somewhere it's else. It's generally a fresh, um, so they can all fresh feeling when I see an Omen main who's actually overly aggressive. They're going to push. They're going to push. Yeah. Behind the prowler inside the site, though. Great trade. It's huge. Free plant now for calm. Sentinel split across and looking to regroup. Kind of works though. Yeah. Saucy. In my opinion, Com had to hit a pretty crazy minimap refrag from inside of a smoke. Which he did hit, so it did work. It looked kind of iffy. Can they find if they find the other guy door? It's, it's Joker. Can they expect both off though? No, they cannot. It works out, catching John Cutie off guard. Not a night ball comes out and Tex gets the pick. Le Leviathan, they finally find something or are back in the lead at that point. Really clean movement from Calm there at the end. That kind of straight back and forth. Give him a hard Zero main, try to pick up Omen again once I'm consistent in Immortal. Think I'll be aggressive enough. Yeah, the, the hard part for Duelist mains playing Omen is not the aggressive part. It's the passive part. A really good omen, in my opinion, has to be capable of being ridiculously aggressive and ridiculously passive. And you have to sort of gamble on when you should be doing which. Because sometimes you want to spend the entire round just fucking holding an angle and one laying the other side of the map. Yeah. Discussing how this one might go. They have. It's been an A pressure to start. Sometimes they're. Well, other times, yeah, you want right to do a crazy fucking TP play. Or uh, a bonus round, and then a few rounds later, doing a very nice job of burying up the way they're trying to play this. Osmos, Dude, thirty and four. When I was in LA, I played against um Doctor Freeze. Hey, you probably know this guy. He's pretty famous for his omen. Uh, I was playing against him, and he leans on the side of just being aggressive all the time. He just goes for clips. And by, like, um, instead, by round, like, fucking 12 of my first game against him, I'd already developed the habit of 180-ing every time I heard an Omen TP. And it worked, like, <laughs> most of the time. <laughs> That's an example where he probably could have giga shit on me if, um... Pillars for Santa. He was willing to get a little more passive. Strong take, but just a, strong a little site. bit. It's a jump spot. There's that paranoia on both ends. Calm is able to drop Saucy and also the spike just to slow down that push out from Sentinels. I generally love the aggression though. No on the map moves. You just see him backing up in sight a little bit more to play it like, safe. Nine times out of ten, it was a good play by him. Mancino honestly. Headed. Overside by Mazzino as Sentinels look to restructure. They could get a lot of info. Oh, the top of the dome. Huge. Wait, King looks fucking dangerous, chat. Yeah. 
And as mentioned, both of these teams not afraid to fight. Oh my gosh. 2v2, second one away from an ult. It's crazy he didn't kill Zek in there. They, they lined up. Sentinels will still take their time so Zek is going to plan to get Rocket door. for the post plant? Or is John QT... No, John QT doesn't have ult. I thought he was too off. He takes orb and plants. Should give your position away. Do they take it? Do they plant for it? Got to move they for plant a plant for instead. It. You have to play the contact. Clearing out towards the tree. So luckily for Sentinels, there's no danger here. They don't know that, but it doesn't matter because there's no danger. And there's that showstopper now ready on the So now do you play drop and tree? Or do you just play tree and tree? You can get your blast packs out. Yeah. So Sentinels is going to let them walk in the site, tree. even to get that first touch on Spike. And Zekin may just ult and hold it yeah. with, with John Cutie watching the angle. Out. Then they'll, they'll burst out. You got an orb. You got snake bites on top of that. Showstopper is going to be the is. first one. Just ult the and first hold thing it. to delay just to actually even take out the smoke yep. away here from Azina, who does have a second one, though. Door is about to open. <laughs> Satchel towards the air. And just sure that nobody's there. Sleep bite coming in as the door opens. So that's one of them wasted towards the back doorway. A pinch attempted to be moved forward. Mazina runs through the door. Charge shooting trades it right back, though. That was a gorgeous that fucking play. See? 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 Plays in time, plays the Remember that previous clutch? This is why John QT has the highest fucking clutch rate in the fucking everything. You remember that 1v1 and I was like, 10 should have fucking killed and jump spot? But he hit the flick anyways? John QT is the fucking goat of clutching, bro. Let's switch it up one more time. The opening That's kills. all it takes. That, like, the fight at sea again. that calmness to be like, you know what? I've got time on my side. I'm going to jump spot. This play. It sounds so simple. wanted to kind of fire and draw attention, but also knew he couldn't give coverage to John. But for some reason, even the best players John in the world can't the find it within themselves play. to do that. It, the pressure is just that great. C C Mount control is like, I'm not calling pros bad. I'm saying it's really One hard to jump spot there. And John QT is just insanely uh, good at the game for being able to yeah, do it. Just to see if there's going to be more pressure from Leviathan out that area. Stalemate players rotating back, leaning up and scaling towards the A side. There will be utility that's going to stuff them out. Learn bot spot it and I'll play just outside yeah. of it here for Libya. I know for a fact I don't jump spot there when I really should. Waiting for somebody to peek. They're ready for Sen even to do a jump. I get lost in the sauce. As they are that far up. I don't know if Celsus has heard anything in A just yet. He's still kind of moving back and forth. Like he wants to get some knowledge or even pop the door to be a little scary. But Pac Pro 13, thank you so much for the prime. The map and Sentinels only have the two. And the call from Sentinels after that info is to, to rotate towards C. C. So all of Larry Town looking to group up, and they're just storming as a group with the alarm bot. Zelsa is forced to fall back. Satchel comes across. I thought Assess was out for a second. He's not. He stares. By the pain shells. Oh. Wow. Now John Cutie has to hold alone. He sees. Gets hit by the seas. And also gets dispatched here by Oxbox. So much util coming in. Tends to see the whole time. Just like me Oxbox for real. Too much Can't blame him. Your face. Wow. Was his crosshair really on the edge when he shot that? Really nothing that Sentinels could really do outside of this paranoia. And a flawless round for Se uh, for Leviathan, rather. And both of these teams, Sentinels and Leviathan, continue to have... Yo, who voted draw? It's all about being back we got this team. Right now. And so we questioned, uh, why not more than 33? The well, shot that was on edge? That's what it looked like to me, too, dude. Right now. And this, again, every time... That Led's coming through tree. They're taking a yeah, show me Aspas POV right stairs. here. That, whoever's show, in it, show, 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 show. Shit, shit, show me. So it just seems like I want to see Aspas POV. I'll clip it. No, 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 but that's protocol. spectator POV. Abundant, I hate to break it to you, but spectator POV doesn't always accurately reflect, reflect where the player's crosshair is um, because the players are playing at a higher refresh rate than the server Defense tick rate. Side. Um, additionally, there's also just a little bit of desync sometimes through the spectator and the player position. Like sometimes we'll see a player holding like literally a wall, but it's really a pixel on their screen. And then they hit like a headshot and it makes no sense. It happens. The spectators try to avoid showing us those moments. So I was hoping right there in the replay, they'd show us the Aspass SDI feed because the SDI feed from Aspass's PC shows us what Aspass saw when he fired the rocket. Rebuttaled immediately. Every time someone tries to get there, unless you're entering with an ultimate, so it is. Must be one of the reasons why replay what system is hard. Uh, yeah. Work? That's not this C push replay that, systems uh, particularly hard for a game like Valorant, 
They'll have an answer because right they don't come out of the timeout. Round like it's fine for a replay to have that um incorrect information to be clear it's totally fine the replay to be a little bit off on where the player was aiming like yeah people will cope about it but that's not a problem um the real thing that makes it hard is riot doesn't want you to have any access to their server code for anti-cheat purposes yeah. And without access to their server code, how do they send you a replay? Like, it's a file. What data is in that file? Does it leak information about how the game works? How do, If they don't send you a file, how do they play it back? Like, on the cloud? That could be expensive, compute-wise. It, it, it's technologically complicated because of the anti-cheat implications of the way that Riot designed their system. Very similar in League of Legends. Sentinels are pulling back. Big the way replays work in League of Legends right now, that, that is going to be very difficult is they want to use their next util for far site, as I'm aware to clear a position outside of a site so we're is they just contain here. like location and ability data for like the whole game and you like download it it just plays it back they have the perfect read, right? Because of our rubble push. And it's generated yeah. by the server really when you request it. So we're gonna have close range battles now. Oh, which costs like the which costs Riot a lot of money. Someone in chat the other day was like adding a replay system so easy, why don't they just do it? <laughs> yeah, because they opened Unreal Engine and they fucking added a fucking camera or whatever because it like natively supports adding like replays for your naive single player game use case like yeah it's easy for baby's first thing project and it can be easy if you design your game with that as your priority like if riot's priority was replays and not anti-cheat then i assure you it would be very simple for riot to do that but um riot's number one priority when it comes to valorant is anti-cheat and being casual player base because it's not putting the pressure on them and guess what the casual player base actually doesn't care about at all replays they don't care. And, the coaches are ready to see two, two and guess what here. makes all the money? This is, this. And little techie paws. Little techie paws this is why League of Legends everybody. prints Reaver money compared to Dota. Because all the casuals play League. Skinny, right? it's very and yeah, this is why Valorant has the weird cringe uwu fucking players. And not CSGO. Because Riot targets them. They're seen as more casuals. And Riot wants them to play their game because the casual gaming audience is way, way, way bigger than the Sweat Lord Super Try Hard audience. And being able to come out on top with the mid round calls. And as you saw here, we had a little bit of Damn, that's a low sense. Is his hand even is, moving on that screen? That's like one E D P I, bro. How does he play like that? True. But yes, uh, to, to still go, a lot of riz. <laughs> yes, indeed. But at least to go <laughs> back to that storyline, right? Talking about how Sentinels, yes, we're seeing them turn it around here on that second half. It's yeah. the Sentinels that we know that number one team that we currently have here in Valorant Worldwide. But Leviathan, when we started now, the kickoff going into the split of the I VCD think his mouse is quite literally not working. On paper. No shit, bro. He was moving his mouse across his entire mouse pad and the crosser didn't move. You really thought that I'm like, damn. He uses 700 swipes to do a single 180. Bro, at what point is the satire, like, obvious? Synergy, something that was missing from last week. And Calm being the vibe merchant, stealing that pull away. Here There's no Celsius shot you thought I was serious. He's, he moved his mouse across the half sure of the mouse pad. Like, as as exactly. of course right it wasn't the working. The C's actually caught three players as well, so <laughs> Util is good, the trade is good, but... I didn't get it for a couple of seconds. And the desk mentioned it, and Calm did not feel like he was starting the season like he wanted to. It felt a little bit like the start of the no, EG, you guys are crazy. Seemed like he was able to focus on that and shake they, it bro. off here for the first game of the week. Whoa! Look at the pressure this smoke from them is creating mound. They, they faked the TP there, of course, but Still. they pulled... um. They pulled fucking the Boombot? Has to guard. <laughs> and now the B push. Not too many here in overtime, if any, that we've seen. But this was a round where John Cutie was able to clutch. They have come away with wins here.
Looks like they have metal detectors. Put a Valorant accent every time you want to be sarcastic. Sometimes using a sarcasm tone in speech is less funny. Sometimes. And that was an example where the joke was so blatantly obvious that saying it more deadpan is funnier. You cannot change my mind. And if one of you typed in chat with no tone indicator, holy shit, what's that guy's sense? His crosshair isn't even moving. I would have laughed and known you were joking. It's a very, very, very rare scenario where the statement you make is so obviously untrue. You, you feel but it has to be like inarguable sentinels rinse and repeat this is why they run these protocols switching size same thing there it works this time again sentinels get that way i always take what people say at face value to be safe able to retake it bro now they're on to attack we see one of the wins come from the but if i say that i just did a quadruple backflip and it's sentinels to grab it Where did while it sitting because i grabbed my chair and i backflipped with the chair you're not gonna take that at face value and so when i say always in that scenario there's an implicit linguistic most of the time is how your brain should interpret that when i say never push mound on lotus you should hear you should almost never push mound on lotus on people pretty much never speak in absolutes and you see there i just did it just to be clear and when they do speak in absolutes they almost never mean them in the sense of genuine absolution almost never slowly moving through a little bit of a lurk on stairs right now by john cutie could separate this entire squad of lev whether it's one or two still gonna Johnson stall them out oh, Everybody quiet. oh my god what the fuck spike planted no delays as Zelsus has fallen. Paranoia being thrown out on the defense. Osbos trying to fight he against second. Superstar against superstar. Now the sign to push back and defend his team. He's so wide, bro. The spike. There's that lead on the first to look back on the other. Sections with the sprays. You have to be kidding me! Sentinel should have won this round, but King hit the craziest trade. How did wow. King kill him there, bro? Really? Look at this 180. Oh my gosh. This play Watch right this from here. King. We thought it was going to be the Kingpin. Everything gets torn apart here, but that's not the He expected case. it. Did you see that? He actually pre-turned it. Oh my God. That's the controller. I'm telling you, chat. That's the controller main insecurity that I have that's going to make Dopey and I fucking own. It and it's why I raise is like my king anti-element that I'm struggling to learn so bad. King literally just said, okay, but what if this one crazy scenario? And he covered it. Which is like wrong. Until you get to high elo, and then it's like right if you're playing smokes. And it's wrong if you're every other role still. Just to willingly ignore too much on duelist? Yeah, I, I see. Most duelist mains, they live in bliss, ignorance. They don't even think about those things. Why is it controllers huge? Because controllers get rewarded the most for isolated passive play. Look at tens. Look at uh, King. Because controller utility can just be thrown around. And now look who's alive. Controller, 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 controller. I mean, the, the fucking game is... It couldn't be more perfect to prove my point. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Yeah, in my experience, like the best duelist players aren't even aware of those threats. They, they don't even think about them. So, like Topai in that scenario would be like, "Hey, my fate dog stairs. That's their job," and he would he'd think no more of it, and then he'd just start walking B. And then my insecure, overthinking, analytical fucking ass is like, "Bro, our fade dog didn't clear close right." And on Duelist, that's like the worst thought you can have. And on Controller, it's like the Can't best thought you can have. Last one as his team brought it around. And they cycled these rounds together. Now Lev's on defense. And Sentinels wants to move quick. We're already here. Right towards Tree. Alarm bot now still up around that smoke. <laughs> my ability, there's... Wait, how did Zeki get the snake bites towards the A side, but Zeki, he made it through. He has a chance now to play towards the staircase, but look oh, at someone picks Clove this series. Clove is bugged. And they are not allowed to pick Clove while they're bugged. Oh, <laughs> 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 Not once in this OT have we really had a push like that. And it's called the one time they turn for the flanks. What bug? Um, someone in chat said that it's when Clove it ults, like they sometimes round. drop this their gun. Easy plan. It's all up to I don't know. I, I, I don't actually know. But I do know that Clove is bugged and is not allowed to be picked right now. And I can't yep. elaborate further. I gave you All eyes on the information I have is from a random chatter's message, so take that with a grain of salt. My God. We might be in for a long series, but I'm here for it. Switching side. John Cutie getting close to that. I, I just want Q ranked, man. I can't keep till after the series. Insane right now. These trades. Again, Dude, it could happen a hundred of them. That's when you're finding it. I mean, we just saw the knife come out in that situation when Saucy took down two, so you can see what kind of advantage they have on calling this timing, calling the rotation. Sends macro is on point to collect some of these rounds, but so is Let's. We go again. You mentioned there 39 kills for Osbots. We mentioned the record that he was holding. Or now he now holds the yeah, record was 35. Yeah, they're defaulting this boom bot now to clear out that TP. Now he has 39 in one single map here at the beginning. Wow, they don't trust it. Crazy. The more rounds we go, the more it's going to be difficult <laughs> to actually beat this record. Jovi97, thank you for the tier one. Happened to me today. So, yeah, that's a bug. Got you. Almost like a broken yeah, I'm guessing Riot doesn't want to deal with the press of a pro player yeah. ulting and losing a fucking clutch the because they have a classic pistol. Be a bug. <laughs> it would not be good PR for Riot. It's okay, next map will be kick one-sided. That's usually what happens. Yeah, because these teams are putting their all into this right now. You guys remember that this was a one, this was a 2v4 Killjoy ult retake, 4v2, sorry. 9 to 12, Leviathan retaking. And John QT hit the grossest 4K with a Bulldog of all time to put it to 10 to 12. And then 10's got a 1v2 clutch to put it to 11 to 12. Two back to back miracles just to get to OT for Sentinels. Playing that baby door, playing text to push. If they have plot armor, a shot towards tens, they know they've done a bunch of damage. It's oh, a perfect man. line here to flash towards the B side. Yeah, they're waiting for the timing on it. King, though, continues to push and lurk, drops a Zelsus on a rotation. There's that ping, there's that paranoia. It's gonna hit two of them. Texto playing the off angle up towards heaven. And with these kills, oh Leviathan again. Answer. Darn right. TT clutch the 1v1. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> forgot about that. And King getting that fucking 180 flick kill to save so many saves this game. Saucy with the sauce there through the smoke and the push up. That's the second time we've seen Lev do that no, in this OT. Last time they were actually in the defender's spawn. That's past at 40 this kills, which isn't even that crazy. The game is king 33 rounds. But it's now Sentinels to try and push Lev off defensive positioning. And that's a great call. Like whenever people Sentinels say he dropped a 40 bomb or something, retakes, you're not giving them a chance. It, it, beco it instantly becomes like unimpressive to me, to <laughs> even though this game is crazy impressive for mass pass. It's just, I just know it's like a million rounds at that point. Because nobody drops 40 in a standard match. 
this overtime round number three, record's 42 oh old, shit his, really the is that all-time record he's only three two off back towards the seaside Tens looking to paranoia off the contact and that if Seb wins this round fast pass has a real thing chance of beating that since we've been at sea the head back the fight wasn't as grand as before so a bit more util here for both teams to be able to make a it's unlikely he gets a 3k this round though and they win checking all the corners i for i need to remember that fucking nade out? standing water and bouncing off the pillar so that you can peek here just and why do i forget that at a, so they may have a bit back as john cutie presents with i the lost a round on this map, map yesterday because i didn't do that a bit of a lurker here and yeah they're gonna bitch. full retake on this and walk it back up thing is they can't really read why well, they're not really retaking for levy they have a perfect left. green now keeping two players inside yeah. the a site Text with full util king again. That's the worst yeah, feeling, chat. When you learn something and you don't do it, and you remember it later, and you're like, why didn't I just do it? It's the worst feeling. Have it all the time. I think everyone has it all the time. It's just like a part of learning. You can't just instantly internalize everything you learn, but it's so annoying. Really nice job with the second lurk there, controlling the audio in the middle of the map. Lockdown comes in. They have Nate. And this is can Nate solo to break? Oh, not back there. It can't. The it is not going to work. Well, That's good for back. Sentinels. And which is kind of good for Aspas getting more than 42. Once they reopen the door, a TP inside the site tens is trying to find information. Hit here. At least oh sees God. the season up front. There's that first swing out. Tens trying to get one. We'll be able to do so, but Aspas fights towards the back lines. Players are falling down. John Cunin sells this once again. Wait. Two versus three. Tap on they have Molly? Point. Where's the lineup? He gets picked. And now it's halfway, though, with the defuse. Will he stick it again? <laughs> no, shot! <laughs> <laughs> right How many is Aspas at? He, he just needs one. If Aspas gets one kill, he breaks the record right here. And he has minimum two rounds to get one kill. Too many mollies we saw it before from John Cutie and Zelsis. They have a, pay, a plan for the B post Bro, plan. They just play or not, they can get far up. outside. Dude, they were so close to breaking that molly. Keep us going. If they broke that molly, it's game. Look at that. The duality of man. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh so funny. The Lev and the Sen fan Instant next to each other. Alarm button now spotted in front of C. On our side here inside the game, not ready to slow down the pace. Are both Sentinels at These guys are getting their money's worth. Holy shit. Pressure continuing for both of these teams. For both, all the fans currently watching so far as Leviathan. This is 10 rounds of OT right, right now. We're going to 12 rounds of OT. One late lurk <gasps> on the A side, which is Tex. We saw him. And that's the game plan. They know he's Ben. Yep. So Tens has to play. Oh, but he knows they know he's Ben, so he's insecure about it. And so they're gonna go A. Hey. Nah, Zelsus got out. Zelsus is confident. He's not insecure about shit. Here, and they, they're gonna want to come back after so we just walk up A. a. They're gonna try to get a good fake in. A Timing is so bad. Tens is giving. Right now, this is just gonna be no, a he's playing sight. To double pump. They are backing up though. I think he heard. Yeah, he hears everything, and he's tree now. Yeah, they're gonna take it. Thirty seconds left. You can work the map. So we just one way the door, and we fucking chill. And if you're looking at it here, tens just look at the clock. On the site, so look at the clock, bro. We just rewind by the door. That area. Door gets broken. Second stays that's back. Paranoid to try to slow down as much as he could. Twenty seconds left. The satchel's moving inside. Tens trying to do as much as he can towards the back of the site. Now the first call. Yes. There's that first kill. Boom button. Fuck. Instantly traded out. Twelve seconds left in Osbos. A nuisance at this spot. It's here so hard to get to there. Like you cannot fall tens. Where the hell's our team at? But Sentinels are doing a little bit of Leviathan here. Three players grouped up. <laughs> he just broke, he just broke the record. He just broke the record. Like it's nothing. Oh, he already, he already he got both kills so far this round. This is 45 right there. Bro's on 44 right now. Going to be difficult for John Cutie to get inside the site and to try to get the defuse wall after wall. I mean, fuck it. Let's, smoke. let's break 50. He got three. One for his troubles, <laughs> and we continue on. Tech pause for restart because servers giving in should be soon, too. Oh my god. Wow. Is that a restriction? I'm pretty again. sure that that it might be a restriction imposed by yeah, AWS. A, a um, on the, the way that they spit up their. Their server instances. 
both teams are playing to win, but also to I think they might be spun up on Lambda. But I could also be Giga Yapping. But I don't think I've ever heard of it happening at a LAN. It's possible a game has just never gone that long. Sentinels, I'm going to need you to win this round because I want Aspass to break 50. <laughs> and he'd need to get an ace here to break 50 if they win the round. Driving orb here on the seaside. Zelsus is the one that's passing for 60. Let's go 10 at a time, yeah? Let's aim for 50 first. Leviathan back. Pain shell, snake bite. He avoids all of it. Wow. And that will now engage Sentinels towards the seaside. 46. 46. Now, Sentinels, you have to somehow win this round. That is so uncharacteristic. He fucked up the satchel. Did it get broken? Chat, I don't think he whiffed the satchel. I'm dead ass with you. I think somebody on Leviathan accidentally shot the satchel. Wow. You can shoot the satchel midair? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. I've had my satchel broken midair. Wow. Zendikar, do you have predictions? You want me to do them? Zendikar's got him. 47? That was just map one. It, that was over an hour long. Given the time to do so. Uh, 40% fucking headshot. Well, the record was 42. So yeah, maybe not 33 to win. He needs 47. And Leviathan finally okay. get it. We still have Icebox next, man. Both of these teams tore it up last time they played. Let's can we can skip a commercial here? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's do it. Let's throw the break. And when we come back, Icebox is next. Fucking high sense, bro. Is this up to date? There's no way he's high sense. I think he did mess up that satchel. I couldn't hear a shot from either side players when I clicked it. I think they were spraying. Can I see the clip? It's Jimmy Lin. In this series, Jimmy! Watch out for the stairs. Clear this angle. Clear this angle. You'll be able to fight this. Jimmy Lin. I want to get Jimmy Lin for um. Look what I've a new ad made. for my Discord subs pearl. for my YouTube channel. Not too bad, but check this hey out. guys, it's Jimmy Lin. Here's how to get VOD reviewed by Wuhuja. We're going to click this button Venus and move plan. our mouse over here. Gives you We're going to choose the tier 3 option. Don't forget to sign up for the underpeel. How much do I have to pay Jimmy Lin for that? <laughs> How do you even... Chat, this is a problem I run into all the time. I don't use Twitter. How do I message people <laughs> that I'm not friends with? <laughs> OD26, are you are you lurking? OD, are you lurking? Can you, can you Twitter DM someone for me? OD, OD. I want to I wanna get in contact with Jimmy Lin. Use the yellow pages. <laughs> you know what happened? I, OD! OD! Yo, I need to... Can I want to get in touch with Jimmy Lin. But I don't know how to do that other than Twitter. You think you can message him for me? 
I want to pay him to record like a few fucking lines for a meme advertisement in the style of the Aim Labs advertisement. Like it's free money for Jimmy Lin. I guess it's not free money. Be advertising. It's totally fine if he's not down, but I would just like to ask, you know? Yo, chat just rolled up. Pen flash, you just missed ass pass. Break the all time kill record. I'm sorry, Penflash, but you probably missed the craziest game of Valorant of all time. Sentinels hit three back-to-back -back ridiculous clutches, bro. I'm trolling. I watched. Yeah, okay, Penflash. Lie more, buddy. Cope. I bet you can't even name a Sentinels player. This isn't the kill record. I've gotten like 300 in customs. <laughs> nah, I got way more than 300 one time. I turned on auto respawn. I was dueling JG. And then I bought an Odin and I just started shooting him in the head. And I just held down left click. I got way past 300 real fast. Jupiter Kishimoto, thank you for the prime. I'm here with Coach Goat. Now, it seemed like you all were going to wrap this up early on, but Sentinels managed to push it, push it to OT. So I'm kind of curious, how did you all regain that focus to ultimately win? Well, I think it has been kind of our story that we're being very dominant, but then we're kind of losing our, our, our game plan. So I think it's been our focus to, to try to just like focus on what we're doing, don't get carried away by the game, and just like focus on what's making us win and just like execute it perfectly. So that's kind of like what we have been uh, doing. The John uh, QT uh, clutch on C uh, after the kill drill was like insane. Game, Bro, that was just not like Obviously, real. To see the execution and focus like he had a luck. bulldog. Welcome back, everyone. Hopefully, uh, you know, you feel, you feel good about that one. That was a... Whew. And you remember the tens clutch right after that? I called him out for not like falling back to jump spot. And you even saw it in Kaplan's reaction. Then later that game, crazy, I'm saying later that game when that was round 23. Later that game, it's like, I don't know, round 31 or some shit. No, 32. I don't know. It's a Sentinel's clutch. And John QT gets put in like the same scenario and he does the jump spot I was talking about. This kid is so fucking good. He's so good at Valorant, bro. Dude. Talk about diffed. Like, you actually... Zekin just got fucking gapped. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Uh, Sin that just looked really cold. They were losing all of the first engagements, having to save so many of the early rounds. Yeah. Allow them to get out to this huge lead. And then once the sides swapped, and Sin were kind of coming back into the game, like, like come on, please. please. One sec, guys. Please don't do this again. And I mean,. <laughs> They didn't, so, you, know, you got to dress right. for the job I'm you want. You feel me? I mean, so many individual highlight moments here, but Shazam, there, there definitely was one individual in particular <laughs> that popped off. 47 kills. They put MVP there. I feel like that's insulting. <laughs> Just, I mean, that was nuts, man. Yeah, it was insane. I mean, Osmos. I, I mean, I might think he's like the best player in the world go. right now. Yeah, I learned um, this one in yeah, middle school, never boys. Seen him not have an insane match and that performance, it's, it seemed like everything he tried to do. Dress for the. <laughs> I'll out, refresh it. <laughs> to <laughs> Wait, it's not. What happened? Of Osbos, which, this is now the church of Osbos. Th okay. Somebody broke the site. Really is. Shows, like, right after I fucking inspect you're, elemented. You're in a match. Oh no, there we go. Right Live, and he's doing I force reset. <laughs> What do you do? What do you what is the response? Who's broke it? You can't Honestly, inspect like, element and break a site, okay? A player that's, popping off, that's not how it works. I'm editing my local HTML, bro. Um, Relax. It's not when you look back to the match and think like, 
dang, like this yeah. guy actually farmed us. Yeah. Uh, it's after the match that, that, that the realization comes in, but during the match, you're like kind of just tuned in on like what you guys are doing. Um, and yeah, afterwards they're they're gonna realize like wow, Hotspot's actually. We just stop hacking VLR. Oh, I'll show you hacking, you hacking VLR. No, right imagine. <laughs> I just start picking red teaming VLR on stream. Map. That is a record. <laughs> I can't so even do it for the bit. Like, I can't even show you like how I would do it America. because we're I'm pretty sure I could get like deplatformed. And then it was like, oh. I had to stop myself record, before uh, I even got to step oh, one. No, he just broke the whole damn record. There are no <laughs> records left to break. There's nothing I mean, left, man. And again, praise be that they won that map. They still could have lost. Because otherwise, we, we <laughs> yeah, almost no. like witnessed Aspas becoming a streamer. This is time. what it took. Because that would have been tragic. <laughs> I mean, the mental, like, you just crumble. Right? Yeah. And I, you know, we were talking about Levitan in their uh, celebration afterwards. I'm sure more of that was like a sigh of relief that like, holy King smoke. was literally bowing to him. We didn't. Lev have played game. 70 rounds in their him. last we two tried. maps. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. That's All right, well, let's go ahead and hear from Coach Kaplan. Can you do it, though? Has to say as we get ready for map number two. That's a question that you Good can't right answer now, when it comes to Amazing performance like bug bounty. Um, do I know how to look for vulnerabilities? Yes. Can I for sure find one in specifically VLR.gg? Of course not. Can I find one in general and get paid for it? Yes. On VLR in particular? No. Maybe not. There's no certainties because you're essentially just like hunting. Basically just, hey, the reasons we lost that aren't going to be reasons we lose this game. They're just not in the picture for Icebox and run it back. Absolutely. Well, I can't wait to see. Thank Good you luck. Much, man. Yep. You always know that Sentinels are going to be drilled and prepared no matter the map here. And we're going to be going over to Icebox. And, well, I, you know, Shazam, I've commentated a few of your games that went on a super long time before. Now now you got, you know, a situation where... Uh, Rain Man, also, keep in mind, though, Zekin likes buying shotguns a bit more than Aspas. And, bro, this is actually really annoying. Riot, 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 Riot. The Rioters watch my stream. I don't know if any of you are here. Please change your API. Don't don't like break your contract. Add a new field. It's like it's already here. Make this like expose a data point that shows rifling headshot rate. Because whenever I play a game where I buy more shotguns or ops, it just throws the number off and it becomes a useless stat. Because all of a sudden you don't know. Did I play better on Icebox or Breeze? Beats me. Breeze is an outlaw fucking op map. So like, but Icebox is also a fucking Bucky map. So I don't know. Give me a way to pull that stat out so I can actually use it. Because this is worthless. It's a useless stat. But if you can show me rifle headshot percentage... That might actually be a useful stat to look at. Maybe. Uh, I can't say for sure. No guarantees. But it's definitely better than overall headshot percentage. Because, like, of course my outlaw headshot percentage is crazy low. Of course my sheriff headshot percentage and guardian headshot percentage is really high. Because I don't aim for the body with my guardian. Re. Re. Confident as hell he really in that did. interview like that struck you can see rifle headshot on vlr where i'm on vlr right now where do i see ass passes rifle headshot this game wait never mind you guys i fucking thought <laughs> Thank you, Golden Boy. oh my Deep god vlr is struggling going into this they took my two. feedback and, and they just closed the site it seems as you meant tracker can you see it on a game by game basis it's like i know i can see it on the left here but like if i click on icebox where do i see it show me where's the stat What's my rifle headshot percentage in this Icebox game? So I can compare it to this Breeze game. Oh, individual games. That's what I was saying. That's what I was talking about. I know I have a 36% headshot rate with right Vandal overall. 
But that, I can't compare that. Close the prediction. The board. Guys. Out here. Just gonna be a quick These are goofy. A lot of mid control by Sentinels as they want map control right away. Oh my god, double two block, 132, alert. Awesome dude, mortal, thank you for the prime. First contact was second towards that green side, dashed away, and then is winning for his teammates to move in together with him to retake the site. So let's use that can just peek that shit, bro. Oh god. Wow, getting one is crazy. But it's up to King and Calm. Made that only calm. Long range with Lev Classic. Turret, wingman, shock dart. Looking for the right clicks. Hopping a shock dart there is kind of crazy. I guess it's. I guess it's a world you win it. And Sentinels win the pistol. Oh. Yeah, just looking at the way these retakes are happening, kind of go over the comps Fast here. Fast fell off for real zero play. kills whole map. Look Can you guys explain this joke to me? To I get that it's a joke and I see it like all over the platform. But like, I'm going to put you guys in my head real quick as a creator. Comments like that fucking hurt until you realize it's a joke. They, 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 they feel really bad. <laughs> what, like, what's funny about it? Can somebody explain to me the humor? Like, let's pretend Aspass does have a bad game. And then people so type as a joke on the break. forums, Aspass fell off. It feels down. bad. One is they just do a As <laughs> like, Aspass don't want to hear that. But I see it on every hecking YouTube video nowadays in the comments. Info. Like, all of them. They took down some heavy firepower like, whoa one million views in only a day throw off this whole time on this a side texas waiting with this turret it's like you're trying to identify the biggest insecurity of a content creator and then you immediately target it with your comments and you call it humor i don't get it on that side just gambling it for leviathan and thankfully nobody was watching that cross so they have a chance to walk together now towards the a site like imagine every time you lost a ranked game chat all of your friends dm'd you wow Lost 20 RR, you fucking fell off. And then you're supposed to laugh at it about it. Like, bro. And now we'll see. Sentinels goes for a protocol retake. They usually leave tens towards screen, and three will walk up towards the ramp so they can get a high entry back into the site here. You're not supposed to highlight my thing failures, you know? Damn you, D rank. Thanks, bro. I didn't see. Exactly! It's like, oh, thanks, bro. I wasn't staring at the performance graph of my fucking YouTube channel. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Damn. Damn. The gecko is one of the biggest factors for the retake on I digress. Team. I feel like that the format Disney is like a terrible format. I want to normalize the format of hyping homies up for successes and telling them to keep their fucking chin up info. king that for their failures. Actually really affected the retake protocol on the side of Sentinels. Like instead of bro fell off, what if you were like 40 views in a minute? Don't sweat it, King. It's fucking Saturday. Everyone's out with their families. Viewership will be up tomorrow. Appreciate the video. <laughs> that would be a fire comment. They did try to go for some aggression, some information down towards the middle to start things off. No opposition, so they gamble for a stack towards the Damn, inside. Sarah, you lost 15 RR? Chin up, queen. Don't let the fucking crown fall off. I lost 30 RRs yesterday. Due diligence out from Leviathan, though. Shit happens. Owl drone clearing out the way. High tide also pushes Sentinels back. Just know that your value as a person is not based off of your rank. Appreciate you. The shots at least not too bad. A wall banger dropped the spike. And there's that real delay. Ospos pushing forward. And they're looking for a 3 2 1 swing. To me, it depends if it can be interpreted as genuine criticism slash shit talk. I mean, it's impossible oh. to tell. What? Calm was there for the support of like, yeah, Aspass being having defense. zero kills on Absolutely round zero, obviously a joke. Point. Agreed. This audio shot but really let's pretend he drops fucking 20 this game and goes third frag and Lev barely lose. I would guarantee you we'll see that comment on like the VLR page or something. 
keep Lev in range. But That's a crazy wall bag, by the way. On this one. Yeah. So another one by Lev, expected round. They keep and like at that point, with an A play as they force the back of the site, and we get a little bit of an idea on how powerful you can't tell if it's a joke or criticism. Are when Sen can combine them together. <laughs> it's like I will shoot you before you come in. And all backside too. Back left, we're all. I'm on a downfall. On Cheer me up, Luge. So let's see how Lev sets up coming into this round. Reckoning for Masino Life is short, Nero. Yeah, nice. It's a good identification that Lev have Take to push enough. forward. I think if Sentinels even get onto that rafter, boop, as long as you enjoy uh, playing the game, it becomes so you'll gain the earlobe back. As they start pouring into the site, so Lev saying no, stay outside the site. Just getting through the first door. Focus on having fun. Let the earlobe follow. And you can see how brutal it is right now for Sentinels to lose that thrifty yeah. against Leviathan. Right? They have to go with hash shield buys. If they lose this round here, they have to go back into an eco or a half buy. Meanwhile, Ooh. here on the other end for Leviathan, they could start adding a little bit more ults here behind this reckoning, forming plants, forming orbs, yeah. and this protocol that they currently have on how they hit towards the site. I saw VLR for him so say, Aspass has traffic cones to set a map, never take these people seriously. Yeah, but see, like, that's also incorrect. Like, one guy said something ridiculous. That doesn't mean everyone on the platform is speaking satirically. I guarantee you that there are plenty of people on that platform who are genuinely criticizing players in an unjustified way, but they are. They're not being satirical. Sentinels are going to set up like one guy yeah. saying something completely off cuff does not represent the entire to website, you know. He's got something to prove after that raise game. And Sentinels, we talked about how it would have been a very difficult round should they lose this one here. Yep. They managed to come out with only one player losing their lives. And why, the Sentinels will do that retake every time that's at A. And the setup, if it may not change, it might change this time. They're usually keeping 10s. Nobody drops together, 47 so on us twice. <laughs> utility, you know what? That's probably being true. And they, they made it look so remaining. easy here. <laughs> That would be such a funny thing for Zekin to say right here. Like, after they clutch that out, he just says, nobody drops 47 on me twice. That'd be a fire cub. Lev denying this orb control every time, but they haven't had to deal with pipes just yet. Good info from Ten's knife. And great deniability, too, from hitting that knife, because Calm cannot get a ping mm -hmm. with the Hunter's Fury combination. And that's also going to slow down the pacing from Leviathan. Will he choose to fall back or re-hit the sign and Seems right to be the ladder here is already the spikes moving forward. That's Mazzino. I need to pay attention to how Aspass is peaking these initial angles. Skin nest, bro. Of Sentinels seeing any cross over. Those initial angles, Nestor the McCrip tonight. That's why Calm's staying all the way back now yeah. on the pole flat. <laughs> Last resort. Who's my MMR's been increasing, but my rank's been decreasing. Any words of encouragement? No, fuck you, Kaiser. You challenged me to a race. You to Diamond first or me to Radiant first. I'm praying on your downfall. You suck. You'll never hit Diamond, Kaiser. Just give up. That's going to be difficult now because there's that double flash and everybody's getting picked off. There's some delays happening. Updraft, Ospa's trying to fall back. They're getting denied more than the fuse at halfway. Now second has to stick it. Somebody's gonna clip that shit out of context. Gets the pick with that second one. John Cudi himself some snake. Make that only the IGL, but there's no time left. That's what they needed to do there for Sentinels to move a little bit more quickly. If not, they were greeted by all of that util to delay. Yeah, and you see how far back the kills were. Yes, two went down in sight from Leviathan because you need a little <laughs> bit of that insight delay. But then everybody backed up. No, I'm so racing Kaiser, far. chat, okay? It if Kaiser gets the diamond to before get I get to Radiant, Kaiser wins. I don't know what he fucking distance. wins. Did we gamble anything, Kaiser? Do I win anything if I get Radiant first? Might be even frozen. Are we just do it for fun. Uh, three, it's just a race. It is. It is indeed. Second with the ultimate up on the yellow. Isn't Kaiser already and diamond? Sure hope not. That'd mean I lost. I'm pretty sure he's gold too. Default defense where everything on A is meant to delay. A lot of safety from the defense at B. Second can get out. No stakes. Reset. It's Bet. up to Lev now. Just identify that this is the way that Sen wants to play. And it, it completely goes to a retake. So Real competitors don't need stakes to, to compete. 
was to dismantle a few members of Sen first and look how safe Coach tells 16 year old student he'll never achieve his goals and she'd give up. It's simple here for Sentinels. <laughs> default that they have on a one one three should we have stakes though we can't have stakes for your your 16. always taking this spot they have an alarm about watching kitchen and mint so they could focus on the stakes are if you win yeah. i'll donate like five hundred dollars to charity of your choosing the spike carry moving actually fuck you not of your choosing you're fucking 16. we'll vote to start things off on that mint lurk so king falls cascade now Engagement initiation out of Leviathan. A one for one as Atbas creates the space. Nice headshot there onto John Cutie. Back on the top of the A tower. Left. Tens. Zekin and Zelsis looking to retake, and Zekin was still a little bit too far away, waiting for the confirmation of the spike getting planted. Mazzino trying to. By the way, Hooch, during Madrid, we had a bet during Loud vs. Send. Tomorrow, I have to buy tier three. And players are falling down we did? Bet. And Zelsis is low HP. You know the best way for me to make and you feel fucking bad about that? Well, with the high tide yeah. up now. The round will come in for Leviathan as they have a nice anchor hold, a nice post plant. Mm -hmm. and once again, it's that forward position, and Hotspots is the one you mentioned it. Playground. I'm just gifting just you a month of tier three, really but you have to buy one for well, the, the bet. And the mistake so the now ball, you're bu you're buying nothing. Still get up by dashing <laughs> forward past 410 up onto Nest and then to 410 to play it. And this one as well, uh, another stall out. That was able get to sunk get costed, the buddy. They can't put they can't put anything up to play against Lev, who is back by pipes actually in that exact spot. But what do we I've just made you experience the pain of the sunk before. cost fallacy. Is just For no reason. You give a timeline? Couldn't he just wait this one out? Oh, but he said he has a sub tomorrow. Who's please let me choose the charity? No, but you can appeal to the tier threes who will vote and be like, please vote for this one. Drew and Kaplan can get a bit in their ear and figure out what's going on with the way they're retaking because that was one of the retakes where they had everyone ready, but this Lev push for the sunk cost fallacy. Why many PhDs are finished? Now at some point. <laughs> Sen's not expecting it, it's so true. And the way that they're pushing here and scaling towards. I mean, Lisa literally got her Cascade, computer away, science degree because of the sunk cost really fallacy. Not working out. Winter Butte yeah, gave the 11 month prime. Players in the process before they could actually even. I said I'd sub with my gifted ran out and that is an active Kaplan right now <laughs> which is potentially why we had such a late yeah. timeout quality for sure probably has figured something out here on the read of how Leviathan scaling up towards this ace <laughs> maybe the play say less you saw just before we got into the timeout the blade storm you mentioned here Riv but yeah. only a stinger for John Cutie has shields once again economy continue to be very very low for Sentinels as it might be a play for them to maybe even disrespect the walls are coming out from Leviathan too. And the B round was only tempted on pistol here by Lev. They continue to go towards the right side. The Thrifty within this second map really putting a wrench in what Sentinel's momentum could have been. Agreed. And Leviathan are working off that very happily. Push up, double flank watch here actually. And they have thrown the wall up on B just as a bit of distraction, keeping Zek and looking there from yellow. And you still have pretty decent utility for Sentinels right now to delay towards the A side because the pit was available for King here. There was a way he could have moved up and to do that type of pit for jail. But instead, King is moving back with Tex and trying to re the map. <laughs> you. Moving up towards the one now. <laughs> all right, all right. And now, because I did technically just rob you of one day of gifted tier three, cancel the cancel your paid tier three and enjoy a whole month on me. <laughs> <laughs> Slow warp. Sentinels in the same mirrored <laughs> positions as before. This is the same position, brother. And they are ready with you, Till. I just wasn't about to let Six you think hit me on a technicality a second, like but that. Looks like he's and a knife actually did delay, so no snake bites to be thrown for its screens. Tens gets oh, the Oh, that's so tough for Ken. He's the one pushing. disrespecting his old walls, pushing towards his spot, dashes away after he lands the headshot in the third. There Can I push like that and then just satchel away? He could go wherever probably he not. To go here. I can push like that, that's but the satchel away part, probably not. I probably just have to go for two. Takes down tens because 
that's 10 saying okay because like i can't 10. 90 degree flick that play. i know that play and but double is it's so hard to do that quickly still on that push it was john cutie last time tens this time and it's just not being you can't it's about the hitting a so fast Second so one when up. you peek hand, and then so dash to the right you can dash to the right the instantly like the next frame it's a very simple input to satchel to the right i need to flick my mouse 90 degrees left Throw my satchel, then oh, press man. satchel again. All right. That takes like 200 ms. Maybe more. I'm gonna send him to the graveyard if you can. <laughs> oh. Damn. <laughs> Maybe I can shorten that window even more with like a double bind on my satchel. Might be worth exploring. But... Wait. So I have two buttons on my mouse, right? I'm testing this chat uh, after this game. If both of these are bound to satchel and I take my fat ass thumb and I whack both of them, do I instantly satchel backwards? Sorry, with Zekin, yeah. so maybe they do want to try to start fighting back with counter util. But he's leaning out, jiggling out towards the screens, just got spotted by Ospos, forced to fall back. And that pivot and that change in terms of the positioning here might give Leviathan an idea that they might not have the Viper over there to help out with them on the defense for Sentinels. Al Jolin to try to clear out some space, but... Please use one for your gun. Tens yes. Still able to hold the top of the a tower Don't know if you can have different satchel binds. You can. You can double bind. There's, you can have up to two binds per ability. Even a spike. They're going into a 2-1-2 default mm -hmm. with a minute left, so... Expect a last-second late plant. Need some hero plays you collabing with Worthy on his yeah. bottom series? Nope, not at all. With Util, trying to get Sentinels dislodged from their current positions. And with that spike down, it's going to be another full W. Dope eyes, my coach. Lev have done such and I'm not trying to get multiple cooks the in the sites. kitchen. Remember, still decently comfortable for Sentinels to leave them open. I think there's multiple the valid ways to rank up. Anyways, here as Lev hit. So and it can sort of be normal. detrimental here, to like subscribe to two different. Took a minute. Um, approaches to improve at the same time. Right now for Leviathan to finish. Don't buy as a style, worthy as a style. Neither is wrong, neither is right. Both are probably easily capable of getting me to radiant. I've just happened to go with the dope by approach here. Reckoning was at the ready. Aspas on the top of the screen drops tens. As that gets a timing for Saucy to push out, though, to get two of his own. Zen, Zekin now pushing forward. I did, though, give Worthy a zip of all my banana PNGs, and I made one of his thumbnails. If you want to guess which one I made, go ahead. But it's the one that performed best. <laughs> Sentinels a much needed third round finally on, scores one. Look how much farther forward everyone's playing now. Aspas only getting a few of those kill results in. And then you don't need to guess. I mean, you can hide the view counts, but yeah. I was teaching him a couple things about making thumbnails. Everybody to look a different way, like you said, those windows just open. And, I, and I would be lying if I didn't say I got a little cocky and I told him to use mine. Because I knew it would perform really well. <laughs> to actually have Mazzino try to watch towards heaven, but right. that last split second where he was in there quick enough, they both pay with their lives and also lose the round in that process. All right. We have been conditioned, even as watchers, to think it's going A again. But it's not. It's going to be B. And Sentinels look like they're actually reading this very quick. This is the first bit of wall and aggression they've really seen towards B since round one. The spike still going towards A though. Turret holds what would have been a push, and they have not seen. Man, I miss content creation so office hours. Don't worry, that's just coming this. back in a big way after raising it. Rotation comes back. That's gonna get his own dedicated segment. Because at the beginning of the round, Tex got hit by a knife, so Leviathan they have to re-clear, right but they're actually re-clearing with contact. Com does not have the Aldrin to work with, so they're just walking up. Half his Sentinel new thumbnails have you? I mean, can you blame him? Shit you gets like 10x the views. The Zelsis. Yes, the alarm bar gets picked, but the idea is for him to stay back. So that he's getting his bag. Do the lockdown play that they're good for. She uses it right away. Oh, oh. somehow dashed up, but it gets I put up. tens in every goddamn sure thumbnail I can for my channel. We'll be able to do so and also kill John Cutie. Make the sunset video thumbnail. It's the only thumbnail that doesn't have the radio knock on it. Yup, that's the one. Sentinels on this round. All three members are back. He's just on a mission right now. 18 HP. He's going to stay in the fight. Give it all he can as the team goes for the post plant again. Right How crazy is that? 
that they're able to run through yeah, and it had the best uh, 24 hour performance i believe out of all of them Leviathan, yet still getting these picks. the positioning that they're gaining in the early part of the map i i, I think is one obviously helping lev but sen is suffering from how far they're playing outside sight if you're gonna have Great two people at your screens every time you are approaching again you're not gonna be able to do much and that is exactly what Lev did. I mean, it was only Ospos last time, but he said, Mizzino, come on through. <laughs> and finally gets that heaven. The only one that has a shadow on a sticker. <laughs> yeah. Situation and the protocol Sen used to take the site back one round. I like to add that a uh, 3D effect. Before they get the flashes out yeah. from defensive side. And going into this game too, Sentinels pretty much was one of the best teams tied oh up my here God. with Damn. right now in the Americas in terms of Retake successful percentage wins here. This goes 9 3. We're getting a new kill record. So far. Back to back kill records. And already a second time is out. so unfathomable. Yeah. There's, there's no way. And they had to figure out something quickly here as they play the defense and calling bull timeouts right away. It seems that they might trust their attack at this point. So they have to salvage at least as much as they can in the last three. All right. So where's the, it's map control at this point? Where does that map control come from if? Your retake isn't feeling comfortable. We think extremities. You think a little bit of mid control, knowing that they can't mess with alarm bot. But it seems Lev is playing like they did on Lotus, far back. You peek mid, you're probably gonna get two Lev members. You peek B, they're probably waiting. Send time out, and now Kaplan is saying, it's "Listen, guys, also let's give them so three rounds." Many questions as Kaplan gets in their ear again to try and orchestrate. Sentinels are going to set unprecedented history here they are going to just stand in spawn three rounds in a row maybe they just got to start adding some players on flanks too right sometimes it's just Zelsa's watching that cross to force lev into an undesirable 9-3 yeah so try to at least isolate those players playing they're actually going to self-nade in spawn to die faster and close in from both extremities after it's been a very slow alt game Yes. We have not you guys remember the tier 3 in-house where I challenged you guys to lose? The most the and you were all just screen, nading yourselves in spawn? <laughs> really sway in the gameplay. I think there's like what, two walls that came out from Sentinel so far. And I realized that the there's the no way, way to lose in Valorant. Like, fury, it's a technically just an unwinnable tie. But in the end, it's just some really nice fundamental protocol plays from Leviathan on... On certain maps, if all five players coordinate on defense appropriately, they can take fall damage and die before the round begins. Backstab? No. Turret for turret up here. It's a level Lily's account, remember? Yeah, but until we realized we needed, like, wins. get spotted by the turret if it continues to walk forward. This is okay here. John is just running around and it's exactly. okay. He's What's the difference between desirable 9-3 and an undesirable one? Well, a desirable 9-3 is when you have three of the rounds. An undesirable 9-3 is when you have nine of the rounds. <laughs> Any more questions? They don't check it. He gets that first pick. And there's that fight against Celsius very soon. Who wins it? Mazina now inside the site. Three versus three, and the other two players of Leviathan are playing long range. Inside the site has fallen. Yeah, so Sentinels are going to get all the kills here, and then they're just not going to defuse. Simple. Maybe they let Com clutch. Hmm, interesting. Zelsa's keyboard malfunction? Oh, what a blunder! Are you kidding me? You defuse that? On how they're playing their executions on the site, yet Sentinels are still well, able to get these four rounds. Yeah, sneak anybody's game now, man. I don't know. When you're least expecting it, it's the defuses. That's why. Because yeah. they've gone on so long. Cloven Rays can insta kill the whole the team. That doesn't matter. Um, it, on Icebox, for example, you can defenders can die pre round by jumping onto screens and jumping off. You can just die to fall damage to before the round even begins. So even if the attackers have clove like and raise, the moment that timer hits zero much, zero, you've already won the round, dummies, because all the defenders are dead. And for Gecko, it doesn't even, even matter. And the attackers don't have a method of taking fall damage pre-round on this map. So it's a defender-sided losing map. But the problem is you switch halves. So once it's zero twelve. Because Sentinel start a defense, they lose every round. It goes to 12-12 because now the defenders just lose every round. And then it's unwinnable. It's a draw. It's a draw. This should be a pretty clean round to set up. They're going to go ahead and actually block off towards spawn. 
So once they get these smokes down the viper wall, so it's a completely solved game. It's just boring. It'll be like solved games. So that's caught with the spike. That's going to delay even more. So it's more fun is when you take one player on either team. You tell them that they want to lose, but everyone else wants to win. So that's what we do in the challenge in houses. Because that's a more interesting dynamic. And then it's just like my ranked games. What a return on that thrash use too. Like you mentioned, getting the spike, that threw everything in Leviathan's strategy for a loop here. Then they're happy enough to see a few members trying to get that upper hand peak. Right there, goes down, Tex falls, and they are just pinched. Sentinels. Kaplan confidence coming through here. Took two of the timeouts, but it looks like they could. Do you think a Sen win this huge slash serious? Half. Yes. After suffering quite a bit in the middle of this first one. You're right. Economy's low this time around for yeah. Leviton. Yeah, they still have rifles, but. Huge, what's your favorite type of puzzle? Shoots. I think the answer to that depends on what Slide scenario I'm in. To tie it up to a six six in Leviton. Going back to the tried and like if true, I'm in a waiting room at the dentist, in that area. give me a fucking three by three Rubik's cube. But if a, I'm like two rounds, in bed, after the getting out, ready to go to no, sleep, go back to a, give me like a, Baba a, is you. If I'm on a five hour car ride. So the pit is still up. Yet and I'm going to be talking with like the people in the car. Give me like a seven by seven like Rubik's now. cube. Two mollies, two shock darts, Hunter's Fury. This is all but secure. If I'm in a car ride five hours long, That's and everyone's gonna be doing their own thing, Hunter's like headphones Fury. and shit, you have to expect. There is that tap. Wall comes up. He's then honestly, I'm just playing Bellatro. And then it contacts. Calm gets the kill. Text fights onto Zelda's John Cutie. You feel like there's no like favorite puzzle. There's ideal puzzles for the scenario you're in. Now spotty here running inside Mazinum closes the gap, closes the round, and allows Leviathan to end the half seven to five. Lev are playing You at halftime, Sen versus Lev? Today. And while no Sentinels are able to well then give me some hashi on puzzlehub.wuhujin.dev. This is definitely a Sentinels that is not Let's see. up to their level at this point. And Leviathan is taking advantage of that 100% as they should. Finding all the holes, the cracks, and being able to put send down seven five on that first half, but now. Well, now Bam! Nineteen seconds. Damn. Thank you so much, fellas. I'm joined by you have a puzzle hub. Yeah, maybe I made a whole website for myself with puzzle games. So what if I did that? So what if I did that? Friends, we'll go ahead and sing a little happy birthday for you, my friend. So here we go. His name is Sebastian. Make sure you get it right. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sebastian. Oh, man. My fucking 10 and 14 are inverted, bro. Who's drop website? It's literally right here, bro. Play some Takuzu. Mm. Oh, what am I missing here, chat? Am I missing here? Ooh. Zero, zero, one, one. Boom! we're in for a treat. We had a great time. We have a great time so far here in the Riot Games Arena. And Fun fact, this, this website used to have, yeah, yeah. I'm dead ass. It used to have achievements, uh, profile icons, and leaderboards. And I removed all of those because they required a back end. But the code is all there. So if you want to, if you want to like 
make that work. Here's the leaderboards component. Like this was all here. Yo, maybe I should spend a day turning all that back on. Just like the shit would be revived. It also had daily challenges. The reason why I removed that chat was because I had three active users. Three. And I was paying hosting fees. We have a ton of subscribers use your puzzle. They take pictures. Show it. You know what, chat? I'll fucking redeploy it. Send me that. I'll just... It'll be the same website. You're going to have to make an account. You have to make an yeah. account, but Not I'll I'll redeploy it, and then you'll you'll sign up for an account. There's levels, chat. You get XP when you complete a puzzle, and this little satisfying fucking circular level bar gains experience every puzzle you complete. And your level is like a publicly visible thing on your profile. I like optimize this thing for dopamine. Back when I was designing it, I'll turn all of it back on. Yet they don't really want to accelerate yet. Thirty seconds left. Ooh. You can hear Harbor running out. Oh, with that drop, though, Osboss is gonna get ready. Dash available, picks it up, down to ten HP. Fuck man, there's a database down. I have to spin up. Open, unless there's some deniability here. Shark darts available for calm. Gets the first one out, Sassy, with the wingman plant, and we'll get it. I'll spin it up, man. I've got a fucking. Five versus. Five. I've got a box now. So. low on HP, so is tens. I'm not sure how complicated it's going to be for me to get it back up and running. We'll find out. Ooh. I don't even have Puzzle Hub on this box. And it's about to be Jets online. Okay. I got your back through the smoke. Don't worry. Just <laughs> blind fire in the I classic. built this five years ago. Holy shit. Hitting all the shots. All right. Guardians out. What? Vandal is well for oh, clone. Bulldog. Duh. They're just looking to make these shots count and expecting a bit of that early push from the side of Lev. Not wrong. <laughs> the Knight's going to slow Lev down, though, as they try to move up for that orb area. Yeah. Definitely seems on that end for Leviathan. I really hope I, for my to sake, I just commented shit out. Oh, wait, it's version controlled. All now. Man's float. Man's float. It's just version controlled. I can just revert the commit. Oh, thank God. It's a huge commit, if I recall correctly. Who's your covering part of the branding in the top right corner? Good comms, good comms. I can't do that. Let's... As I've mentioned, that orb that was picked up, everybody good comms, then good comms. Leviathan leaning towards his B side, stacking on that side. Sen have a perfect read in the mid round to pivot back towards A. Be able to go four forward, five forward maybe? Yeah, I don't know if they leave anybody behind here. Quick take into sight, push by Lev, and they'll have a little bit of timing, but nope. Zelsus is already getting ready to uh, look for the flank. Yeah, that's a lot now, chat, I'm going to preface this with, because I know that there's some nerds of you in the audience. My API trusts user input when it comes to high score submission. Because I didn't want to write server side puzzle solution validation because it's resource intensive. Death, I guess, from at this yeah. point when the spikes if you off. submit fake scores spike, utilizing Sassi, that right? trust... So, and I find you. To be able to get the thrash I'll ban you on Discord, okay? Already, so Sentinels. Because the leaderboards will be a fun thing for everyone, the assuming they're not manipulated, because they can be, okay? The leaderboards, the by the way, chat. Just about every time. I thought of everything. There's daily, weekly, monthly, and all-time leaderboards for each game and difficulty. So every day there'll be a fresh set of names on like the hashy easy leaderboard or whatever. It, it's fucking extensive. A bit of utility towards A. Still trying to leave Ospos towards B so you can get somewhat of an early pick. But yeah, away. there's no validation of the Ospos solutions. Gone. If someone wants to PR that in, it's exactly. very complicated to do because each puzzle has its own like solution round. validation logic. But like go nuts and I, I'll fucking merge bonus. it. 
but that's never really stopped them before. Good damage on to come to start. And they pretty much put all their eggs in one basket. The solution I had to that, that I was thinking of, was um, I was essentially going to blockchain solution validation, where to create a Puzzle Hub account, you had to first agree that I would utilize your browser to validate other users' scores. So essentially, as long as 51% of Puzzle Hub users are not using an, like a hacked version of Puzzle Hub, then solutions will be validated with um, correct trust. But you could take over the website if you had 51% of the users on the website. That was like my idea of a solution, but I was like, why would I waste my time implementing this when three people use my website? <laughs> Dunkle asked me for stuff to do. Do not ask Dunkle of this, Zendikar. Puzzle Hub is a disastrous, disgusting mess of code. Because there is an even older website called Wuhujin Bridges, which is essentially hashy, but with a bunch of stupid gimmicks added to it. And when I first decided to build Puzzle Hub, I just took Wuhujin Bridges and I slapped it in there. It didn't belong in there. I should have rewritten it, but I didn't. Very hard to play against that, and Sentinels again have to feel so, so good. Just imagine going the into code the site, is disgustingly bad. Every angle and the only thing it's atrociously the bad code person. across the board. And how confident they are too that even exactly. if they're blinded, the other ones will move forward and it's they'll no be worries. the second layer really to hold that pulse plan. And again, if they're losing players in the process, they still have util to delay yeah. spike the views. Fuck, how am I gonna so, spin up the database, dude? Good what Sentinels has for this composition so far. I'm trying to remember how I hosted it originally. I think I had a dedicated SQL instance on AWS, I want to say. And look at that. Go out, protect the thrash. Thrash will be picked up, used again here in a little bit. This is going to put a quite a bit of focus for them on the yellow. If they can't disperse before the retake comes in, this could be a problem. Singer kill though from the top. Inside the tubes does get the pick onto Zekin. Owl drone from Calm does spot tens. Snake fight to try to keep them at bay. Self financial, thanks for the tier one. Shock dart combo. But does not you guys have me hyper fixated on this. I'm gonna get this shit deployed after this map. Because I, when I was first developing this chat, I'll be dead ass. I thought I was making the future of puzzle websites. Because there exists. There exists this website. And they make a bunch of other sites for other puzzles. And their king website, uh, lots of people play these things all the time, but their website sucks. Like, I'll say it. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. There's no hotkeys. You gotta, like, it's terrible. And so I was like, I can make a better puddle, puzzle website. And I did. It had all the bells and whistles. But I couldn't SEO it. I had no idea how to SEO. And so I couldn't get people's eyes on my website. But now I'm fucking famous. I don't need SEO. So interesting that Sentinels called that I just tell people through. about my website. All on Zelsa's shoulders. Now they go for the B plant. And then so many people will be going to it that it'll here, can be go up in the through. Google traffic. Oh, King and then new users will find it. Uber delay here. Yeah, they're taking their time though, waiting for gas. And that's when I'll exactly. roll out ads. Alarmbot's still there too. Slash J. Right I'm not gonna put ads on my fucking puzzle Kingers website. I don't care. Once the alarm Relax. goes off. Unfortunately, though, because of a knife, can't really sound the alarm, so it allows here. Wow, Tex getting that kill is crazy. It doesn't matter, but that's a crazy kill. Also, like, there's so much work to be done in Puzzle Hub if I wanted it to actually be like a good website. That shit does not work on mobile. <gasps> Timeout. Okay. So. They will have their own I migrated the code offline. Oh, we used to have PuzzleUp.com. Nice Forgot about that. There. Wow, I nuked a lot of code. And yeah. 
they used the confidence in those takes, right? Oh, there's relays. Like said, oh my god, chat, you guys are going to lose your mind. I forgot. There's so many cool features that you don't even know about, chat. There's puzzle relays, which basically you can there's challenge relays each day. This feature is so sick. I can't even explain it to you. I will just fucking revert this commit. And I will fucking show you what it looks like. Da, da, da. A little bit from your teammates. What's in the tank? Yeah. <laughs> is there any more? Scraping the bottom. Still at 15 here on that second map and on top of the scoreboard yeah. here for uh, almost server. How do you fetch yeah, a commit ID? Up with Zekin currently now, who uh, is act actually Zekin at 16 rather, where he's actually popping off as this jet roll on ice blocks. And now, as we come back from the timeout, it was called here by Leviathan. An AWP comes out for us. Did he just get check out? Jeez. I didn't know we were that happy about it. Yes, yeah, it is. So. <laughs> that's that is a heavy win condition, right? And it is only a win condition. Yes, I'm in like the commit. Can keep Sentinels out of the sight. You're so trying to now, against Sentinels with an operator where you're only getting simple angles, not simple angles, but quick angles, and then you got to get out. Sentinels I have to npm install, so and then I think I can ng build that shit. They figure out where you are. So it has to be a stop before they get the site. Where Lev is going to have problems. And that's one thing that they're currently doing too, right? Because they don't, they're not really using that dizzy to throw forward position. So this gives a great opportunity for Aspas to play on the top of Jenny and watch. Chat, yeah, you're gonna lose your minds at the fucking relay feature. I spent a month on Fig, this, Fig on just the Fig relay Fig feature. Second, answers back. The round will we had lots of time during the pandemic. This is before that. This is before that. This is back when I was so in love with software development that I would go to work as my job as a full stack web developer and I'd come home and I would do full stack web development. Because I'd be like, I'm not enough. More, please. What was that? Trying to get through the wall. They get absolutely shut down, and that just seems like what benefits Sentinels being able to pop flash through oh a wall. Oh my God! It's letting me build. And Leviathan just mow them down with a family photo on the other side of the wall. Maybe the right script knew something. So everything's gonna be broken. Yeah. Gets the, the kill right here, round one. Yeah, exactly. We had to deploy this, up, so I should make a sorry, separate sorry, record. Yeah, we talked about. Yeah. Ooh, I'm in MPM fucking hell. What a great hold here. I but built this on turn. Angular a 7. And they're starting to get the We're in Node.js building hell. On the map, pushed up mid. We were expecting this before. Zelsis is ready. For two again. Oh, rinse and repeat for Big. Zelsis. Give him two more. Big impact kills for Zelsis. Larbot's close, but King will stay at the outside of that radius to call that rotate over. But it's all a ruse. How do I run all that noise to pull back in? All face the local version kill. of Angular That's to build the, the thing. Goes down in this? Good damage. Good damage. Oh, old build required a fucking dash dash prod flag. They want to make sure here for Sentinels. This flag is like super deprecated. This round, you get the win, you get the lead. Long grenade out. <laughs> <laughs> this dumped out a different <laughs> error. Uh, the oracles out here. <laughs> Crazy stuff. See, Chad, you thought we had the script. <laughs> well, that's not you pressing the button? That's not me pressing the button. Pressing the button. <laughs> All right, round 20. Operator gone now as we watch Zelsis go to work again. I want to run because my angular version oh, I just imagine that peak and mid and of my local is like, thing is way too that? high <laughs> oh my, gosh. my global you local I angular story <laughs> version is used how do i now, 10 to 9. we talked about the results now available for both teams Osbos trying to really this is gonna be impossible the the on the other side of pipes and here's these drops Dash now activated. Pop flash. I built this thing away. on a... Fuck, dude. And that's 
I'm five years behind on patches. There's no world I can migrate. Yeah, he's getting ready, but I don't think they have it now with everybody in position. They're just going for the retake. Deep dart. Aspas okay to get tagged by this. Protection from the team. Oh. Lots of ults here. But I can't build. He never misses! Yes, friendly fire in the process under that mean you have to recode everything Zeno. no i should but be able to build it i just don't know how second alone now at the generator against a full man squad of leviathan man second you lose this like round a, i want to alt tab already what we thought they were gonna do. or win it so i'm down for that too this is unwinnable though all on 410 and pipes and pushed up to maze to start this round with ultimates yep. from Sen in their face. Just a quick Okay, let's get battle. node modules out of here. Come. Wait, I have a build script. Foolish me for thinking it was going to be a Hunter's Fury for the lockdown. No, 3k off of that alt. <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> shuts Sentinels <laughs> down big time. It was definitely the one at the front here, Ospos. It on the SSH'd of the into my old fucking down, instance sure and hey, pulled it. Use your lockdown yet. Nobody's Gross. Right. Gross. I think Brad wrote this. I blame Brad. Because of that reckoning also. That was thrown out by Mazzino. Oh, second alone. Now at the generator. Yeah. Feeling it now. Go All right. If we switched, Three knowing eight. Brad, Open we might have switched to Yarn. And one and mid and B here. Sentinels, they're on the W train this time. Pushing straight Which forward. Means... Handles in hand. They don't really have to deal with too much. I need yarn and stuff. Here, King with his ultimate, and choose to put that down anywhere. But Lev is not in position. They're playing this, this might one fix my build dependency. And, mid, and just giving Ospos the chance to play the info game again. It's gonna be a slow round now for Sentinels. Winning condition to work around the map. That pick is huge because that's gonna pull rotates away. That hurts for Ospos, dude. Potentially find a timing. Already towards yellow. Common's leaning across to find info himself. And he's covering yellow. Now gets caught, but still matches the flick back to get the kill. I wonder how many viewers left the Hooch watch party because I'm just fucking thinking about a website right now. And I'm fucking alt tabbing, monitoring, deploying a website. start moving forward. Okay. They have wingman All of these are warnings. Warnings are fine. I don't care about warnings. Little bro lives. Free plant. Now errors, that's real shit. Now that pit that was actually gambled towards that A site from Tenzis knife. They don't have that to use for the retake for Leviathan. A warnings are success. We'll Save lock trades. file. Okay. Spawn. It's a one for one. Still gets one. Now, Calm trying to move back forward with now why did this specify an output path? Will... Was that a thing you used to have to do? Inside the orb. Yeah, double pain to get the kill. Lockdown now available for the retake. Tens has to find a timing. Oh, easy kill. Okay. And he can. And also fragment onto the. Ah. It's not even halfway. One enemy remaining. Tens gets picked off. One enemy and remaining. now King is alone, but now sticking onto it. Close. Oh. Nice, Tens. Let's go. Good clutch. But Sentinels will still get the round. How scrappy. These rounds are being put together with glue and gum right now as they are just going one way or the other at the last second it's taken everything from these teams and lev are gonna call the timeout incredible that aspas was able to start with over 200 damage across sentinels at the back they're not dropping one player though as the damage got distributed still have the strength to get through get the site Bro. Yeah, wow. Imagine if the Molly was activated earlier too. So many things in that round that are they can be played, but Sentinels winning the timing game. Or if the cape from Calm wasn't wasn't being spotted there by Tens right. as he was trying to defuse. <laughs> no capes. <laughs> we know this. Because if not, the lockdown would have been destroyed. That would have been the cold there. That there's actually a flank if they could fight in those moments. But that's in an alternate. Can I serve this it? Time around, it's a timeout from Leviathan and Sentinels did. Count I know I can't build it, but can I previously. serve it? In the lead now 11 to 10. Back and forth, we continue to go here in the second map. We never let go of the pedal for both of these teams since no. the first map. 
Zakin and Aspa still close and one away. 19 to 18 in frags. The operator comes back out, but a factor of tens. And Zelsis coming online in these recent rounds to frag it out have meant everything to Sentinels. 11 to 10 now. <laughs> Do Sentinels take Leviathan's icebox here? What's with going Leviathan on? Leviathan taking Sentinels Lotus. Incredible stuff so far from both teams as we start round 22. So I can't even serve the page. To try to break the turret. So there's some dependency error. Can anybody in chat who's familiar with like Node.js pull my puzzle up repo? So yeah, the turret and just try to fucking run a local copy? For Leviathan to read any type of lurks towards middle. But it might be a late... I just want to get a sanity check. Actually, let me grab my laptop. He'll see the turret. He'll see Zelsis. Really, no changes coming out really from Sentinels because they've met that before. Have to keep guessing now for Leviathan. Gambling two players now towards middle as Sentinels decide to walk out towards this B site. And look, they're trying to just strengthen this mid party right now for the side of Leviathan, thinking there will absolutely be a fight or a trade. I'm back. They back off. Getting enough time off the clock on that. And this just right back to default positions as they're starting to heal di here dizzy and you tilt towards long B. Sentinels is And I've got my laptop that I originally built the project on. As they're making more noise, Zelsis is trying to walk up towards the two. The off is back in the hands of Aspas. Zelsis made it through. Now realizing that it wasn't on boiler in the beginning. Yet Aspa still lands that Spike shot onto Saucy. 20 seconds left, so Sentinels have to start engaging now towards this A site. Zelsa's falling back at the same time, too. Instead of going for alert play, his second is trying to create some space. Gets picked off by King. 10, 10 seconds, seconds left. Nanosaur out delays. A shot won by tens. Wait. He, has no choice but to he doesn't have time. Stick, but they're closing in on him. He falls. Are, there's no way we're going OT again, right? We legitimately could be right now. Absolutely. Sentinels can't dislodge Lev. I mean, you had Aspas and King at a crossfire on A the whole time. They had three mid. They weren't really worried about B. You still have Aspas with the operator coming in for the play here. And Sentinels can't find a way to make Lev worry about what's going on. They're still holding their spots. I think a really neat way sentinels could start this off is if you have tens towards b long sometimes with the turret in kitchen which it's not anymore you can molly that through the ceiling get that first bit of utility out of there and they'd be able to move the map here it's not even a choice is the off still ready but they play close oh, misses the shot hit by the dizzy an off draft in the air it's a two for one as Tens is still looking to get res and he'll get it. So back to a four on four. They've lost to Aspas, Calm pushing four, two kills into his name. With the third there. Oh, watch the back of the site. I mean, there's four players of Leviathan. Introduced by Val Content State right for the generator. software dev. Dude, I'm losing my mind. I, I don't actually have my um defense and it's free pickings there against Sentinel's attempt to move in. It was an old laptop I developed this thing on. I don't have it. I mean he's won a 4K before. I grabbed my laptop, I was looking, I'm like, no, the files aren't here. Yeah, nice shots coming Which out means we're gonna have to figure out a build error. That's that's twelve in an old version of Angular. And I'm pretty sure the migration criteria from seven to fifteen is like otherworldly. Not the buy you want on match point. You have an old omen by HP laptop? No, that's one I have now, and it's fabulous. And it's way better than my old one. My old one was some shitter laptop by some worthless company. But it has the files that I need. Here in stage one. Pressure towards A just has not been working. And for Leviathan to make the choice to put that many members at A after it has been a back and forth from Sen from site to site, a bit of mid control as well to boot. But they find none of that. The correct call there for round 23. Round 24, possibly Lev's game. Rotating Somebody in Valorant discussion the added me, asking me to link the there, repo. There it's just um it's just on my github slash puzzle hub there's no refresh on the thrash and on top of that a ping mazino playing on the top of the b tower yet sentinels can't move in yet for a plant throws out a cascade tens is trying to go for a plant mazino trying to deny it running and gunning gets the pick denies the plant once again king is trying to move forward three players left alive on both sides they've disrupted it 
Everything has to get me reset now. Fuck, why would he get bills, dude? He won't even serve. Still watching on that rotate, Can so everyone start adding site. Brad in chat? Because Brad worked on this Place project with me King. quite a bit. Just waiting here on the and I wouldn't be surprised if there's up, just some will. step that we're... I'm forgetting. Oh, 2-0! 2-0! Pay him out, Zendikar. Pay him out. Okay. Okay. So first, let's go back to the main branch. Wow. We're, this was way back in the day. We're on the master branch. Okay. And now let's re-MP install. Restart this whole process. Wow. But Osboss with six first bloods to seconds five. And the team just outright playing now that so well today. It's interesting. A lot of those were actually on defensive side too. Watch there against Sentinels. When Osboss had that off out on the A side. The Hunter's Fury that continue to be perfect here from Kong. Not resolve dependency. The animations. Map one to map two for Leviathan is you can definitely yeah. have those questions answered. Try legacy peer dependencies. Let's try that. Is this officially legacy software? Oh my god, it's working. It's five years old. You cannot call that legacy. Okay. Let's ignore the plethora of cross-site scripting vulnerabilities that exist in all the packages we just installed. And let's serve this project. Pressured Sentinel started to come back into form, but it seemed like once Lev got the op, they were able to slow everything down, and that's exactly what Sentinels okay. did. Okay, yeah. same error. On their end too. I mean, you heard what Capital was saying between both maps. They were Why? They off a little bit slow, but also that you know they're starting to get figured out here on Lotus, and yeah. maybe even figured out now on Pine Spots. Oh where my they take place. We're really god, for them in no. the end, right? trying to fight back against those walls coming up. They definitely, I mean, it's hard. The question was, are how oh my up? god, chat. Okay, if you're a web dev, then you've probably heard of server side rendering, and I remember now we implemented server side rendering with lazy loading because we we're trying to figure out SEO. And one of the problems with single page applications is you don't, you need to. You can't request certain pages, so they can't show up on Google. So we implemented server-side rendering. But this, like, fucks everything up. A major way. Look, the team behind him. King with the calls. They're mid-rounding. Just bash scripting on Windows? No, I'm on a remote yeah. machine. And, uh, the amount of times I'm on a Linux dev box. Out of position. Well, Sentinel still wanting to play retake. It put their retake out of position, and we have not really seen that yet. Well, a big victory there for Leviathan against Sentinel. So let's now send it to the floor where Geek Heavy is down at the stage for the Verizon Pulse Match interview. Let's give it up for Leviathan one more time. Joining right now, we have Mazzino. Uh, this was a phenomenal win. Uh, it's, been, it's been a while since Leviathan like has won, and what a win against no. Masters Madrid champions. How do you feel? Uh, really good, obviously. Uh, it was a really hard fight, and uh, we give it our best, and we win. And we know now that from, the, from now on, we're going to just win. I like that attitude. That is, that is quite the attitude to have now. So it's... I, I mean, like, you know, coming into to things, you know, we saw you all go up against uh, C9, um, not the best performance, uh, but I'm kind of curious, what caused this shift oh my in performance God. for you and the team? Uh, it was just like a mentality thing. I forgot Someone, we made a site uh, map. We like, were like lacking confidence a little on our game, yeah. and now we just play our game and it shows the difference. Yes, that's right. Now, my last question, next match is up against nrg what's in front uh, of mock-ups was last year uh, nothing you and king were there 
What are the confidence levels? Why does this folder exist? Uh, of course, after this win, um, our, the whole confidence levels are, la are high. Yeah, the Electron um, app was just we're gonna keep non functional. Doing our best we're going to win against them. So it is right, right well, here. You, you want to hear it? That's what you want to hear, everybody. Give it up for Leviathan one more time. We're going to take things over to the post show right after this. Welcome back, everyone. And yes, Leviathan walked away with a 2 0. You see, guys, we told you that's yes, exactly what yes, was going to happen. Yes! There was a fucking command for it. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. It's coming back to me. It's coming back to me. It's not the. It's the package. Oh my god, chat. We did have a custom fucking build script. And it's here. Now, what does this do? No, it just runs ng build. No. So this shouldn't change anything. Brad, 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 I'm trying to build Puzzle Hub. The, you know the things there if we're supposed to have a graphic or not doesn't matter in any case so there it is oh, Brad. Boy, production nailed it timing immaculate all right so as i said before i'm gonna read a statement and everyone is gonna need to weigh in with that thumbs up thumbs down and what's gonna be fun is he's about the matches tomorrow oh, okay. so we get to have some fun you Sweet. get to chill and speculate be a little speculate stanley Feels great. <laughs> all right first question mibr will beat crew tomorrow agree or disagree what have you been seeing in the streets? Brad. Either way I go, this is, this is, this is just <laughs> screw for me. Uh, I'll go with agree, because I think MIBR plays. All right, we're about to lose every uh, single viewer. Version of Valorant. Okay. Yeah. All right, I like that. Fixing what did you say? my oh, puzzle game go website. I think that they've had a lot of time to prepare. Yeah. You know, they've been able to watch all Goodbye, the viewers. Yeah. I huge salute. Prepared. Okay. Right, huge you're salute. As well? I mean, I, I Let's get some fucking. Rotator cuff snapping this thing up as soon as the question was asked. That's Yo, we true. want stream beats lo fi. I believe in what MIBR are doing. Yeah. I think they're criminally underrated. I think we need to hop in a VC. They're together and the pieces they put together are going to be way, way, way better than people realize. No, and I know but Kesman's that would gonna, be you know, ideal. Thing, but I'm a big believer of MIBR. Oh, okay. All right. I'm. Agree. Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, okay. Where's the lo-fi playlist? See another one. We have NRG is the scariest team in state. That's the work. Agree or disagree? That's actually a, that's a thonker. Get out of here. Okay. 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 Where's Brad? Where's fucking Brad? So the first thing we should do is simply Google this. Stick upgrade react script downgrade to Node.js version 6. Oh my God. So there's a breaking change. This is almost certainly going to break my build. I think updating might be unfortunately non-negotiable, but this is what I'm worried about. Uh, this is going to be 
gross. Brad's on route. Brad, this isn't good. Yo. There was a security vuln in SSL in Node.js 16, which they fixed in Node.js 17, which is causing my build error. And my two options are to build with a known security vulnerability. No, thanks. I was just about to say, as someone that's got a lot of eyes on the project, probably not a great idea. <laughs> or run npm audit fix dash dash force. And then like it's going to break the build because Puzzle Hub is complicated as shit. And then we just have to like hope. It probably won't break the build that much. We're about to can, find can out. Can you share uh, share your screen? Because I think your stream has delay, but I'm not positive. Okay. Fuck. Um, sharing over Discord is actually like really weird for me. Give me a sec, though. I can. But I have to do it in the funniest way imaginable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, All right, there's your there's screen, screen share. share. You, can you can probably, probably see, see chat, chat and, and me and you. And you. <laughs> I can't. That's, That's so, so funny. funny. So, I so I ran audit, audit fix, fix and, and good, good news, news that, that worked. But now um, we, have we have a new, new error, error and, I and I don't even don't know what thing. How much did it update us? Yeah, it just tried to drop us onto Angular 17. Well, and what were we on? Seven. No shot, homie. No shot. Mm -hmm. It tried to drop us on 17. Yeah, Angular so Animation. Let 17. me real quick just reset everything, okay? Yeah. To show you where we were at. We're on Angular 7. And this isn't actually the version I want to build. So let me just grab that real quick. There was a PR I made which took away all of our backend integration with like leaderboards, yeah. SSR, because I just wanted to put the website up for people to use. Um, yes. But now I want to bring all that back. So I actually need to go to here. This is where we want to be. Um, and maybe I have to pull. No, we're good. Okay. So you might. Yeah, whatever. I mean, we can validate that we're on the right thing. Um, yeah, I would just double check you're on the right thing and maybe like make a branch because I'm so worried you're going to make a million changes and then Git is going to do some fucky stuff. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, actually, how do I just look at commits here? Or HTML implementation of the Kuzu. Revert UI updates. What were the UI updates? Oh, wait, this has some really sick shit. Why did we revert them? <laughs> Was it stuff that integrated with the back end and you did it in preparation? That's what I'm checking right now. Why the fuck are we doing this, bro? <laughs> you just fucking set a cookie to expire in like 2099. <laughs> right? You see that? No, oh, sorry. 99.99, bro. That's a, that's a cookie right there. Yeah, that's good. What was this for? Oh, this was for the Electron King app to function. I kind of want the UI changes. Fuck it. They look cool. Yeah, I would say check this out. Make a branch Let's and then we right go from here. there. HTML implementation of Takuzu. Let's grab that. Yeah. Why not? So that is... Here? No, this is UI updates. HTML commit here. You want, yeah. Okay, good. How do we make this a branch now? Uh, um, git checkout dash B and then a branch name. Bring uh, should you want that? Puzzle hub. And then I would just double check that you're on the right commit. Yeah, so I guess we just look for. I mean, you could just get log it. It should show you the the correct commit. Yep. Okay. Boom. So we're chilling. 
dude so this is a problem because you might have to do all of the and i'm not even sure that they did this back in angular 7 but you might have to do a shit ton of angular migrations yeah that's what i was worried about because if you google um angular migration guide like this was a thing you know this and yeah i want to go from seven to 17 with an advanced application oh it's not an advanced application Dude, it's at close. most a medium we're pretty we use a lot of fancy shit if you remember we use angular cdk we use drag drop for fucking the the medleys oh, you remember the medleys i was telling chat drag about the medleys they're so hype look they at are, this <laughs> yeah, i do can't that, do this but okay, where's the security vulnerability stop? Maybe right, you, know you just gotta just go from like basic. seven to eight. Oh, fuck off. But what if you just need to go from like seven to eight? <laughs> like my point being, we where does the security vulnerability stop? Because you said it was in <laughs> so Node. So it says, make sure you're using Node 10 or later. What Node are we on? It's version 16, that's fine. Version 17 is not fine. Huh? Wait, what? We're on version 17. Yeah, look. Um, so let me just king. NPM install this bad boy. I mean, fuck it. Building with node six. Let's actually look into the vuln. Because like it might be faster yeah it could not like, affect what are the, the app. odds that it affects our app we can just so look. the thing is they say it's an ssh right um the ssl ssl yeah yeah that's what i meant um so i know but it's important that you don't miss it is important. The top. <laughs> um so okay 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 my thing is like what what's the negative case scenario here someone password reuses and gets their password yoinked because there's an SSL vuln and someone man in the middle their puzzle hub traffic. I mean, that would be unacceptable. Yes, I would agree. I'm just curious if we think that is likely to occur. What if we just. <sighs> no, that's probably worse. I was going to say you could just like. Screen. OK, so the error was. I remember I just guessed at what I should copy paste last time and it worked. Uh, dead ass. This looks like a different fucking error. No, here it is. It's this. Okay. Ah. I mean, you could downgrade to V16, bro. Yeah, so I want to see what the fucking thing is. Because people are like, oh, not recommended. There's a vuln. I get that. I get that. But what's the vuln? So I just feel like my take would be in a practical sense, downgrade, get the thing built and then start like a slow upgrade process that modernizes error. closest security holding ssl provider breaking change correspondent yeah, 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 yeah. but what was the fucking thing downgrading node b14 fixing a small tie square error got it running for me okay bet i'm with you so far how do i downgrade my node <laughs> node dash v maybe that's so fucking dumb. Okay, um, boom. how to downgrade node version. I mean, you can probably just download NVM now. Oh. Don't use N for knowns version management. I'm down for that. It's just called N. What a stupid fucking package. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's just call this thing N. You just use 14, like 14.0.0 .0 legend? Fucking 14? Or or what? Honestly, just try N14. Just assume things work conveniently. Holy fuck, yeah. dude, look at that. I love V14.21. <laughs> 
So like in my head, I feel like this is solid. And then if you actually get traction and care, fuck. No, 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 no. He said he had to fix a mild TypeScript error. Well, we're trying to install SAS and apparently that ain't working. Oh no, you oh, probably you, just did an NPM install. install. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And NPM runs on um the oh. current version of Node. Pretty sure, yeah. Makes sense. I love seeing log four JS loaded. Oh no. <laughs> it's fine. It's fucking <laughs> that's not running on our back end. But that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I think if this gets traction, you should probably update, but I think it'll probably be like a few hundred people will like use this and really enjoy it. And node 14 is fine. Yeah, I agree. We get MVP up first. Okay. Then you run the build. I love that's how we got subs. Oh, people subscribing to fucking. <laughs> Let's just go into full sub chat mode so you guys don't have to pay me for a tier three. I worked with Angular at work. Going for seven to 17 requires one version. I know. I know. I worked with Angular professionally as well, and I had to upgrade an application. Okay. Now, here is where he had to fix the TypeScript error. Property length does not exist on type undefined object. Let's just like say it totally does. You probably have to exclamation point the dot, the data no? or like Here? cast it. Cause oh, it's saying yeah, it's yeah. an object. So you probably have to cast it to whatever the fuck we think it is. As any will definitely work. Yeah, that's pretty based. <laughs> Honestly, dude, fucking just let's let's go JavaScript while we're at it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's essentially what I'm fucking doing. Like. <laughs> Yeah. You're going, look, TypeScript, fucking trust me on this yeah, one. TypeScript, okay, dead ass. <laughs> you don't know what you're huffing right now. Let me tell you, this worked. I'm pretty confident. Now, the annoying part is this is like just building the front end is easy part. I need to remember how the fuck we had our SQL database configured. I need to spin oh, one up. Oh, no. And then, well, and then you got to get database duplication going, you know? I'm not doing that, buddy. Nice try. <laughs> and then I need the back end running, talking to that database. Yeah, is there a backend folder in this repo? Is he using Vim keybinds? Of course. Vim is the way, bro. Yeah, there's a backend folder. Yeah, everything's okay. here. I'm well, not that's sure. not terrible. I'm not sure if there's a spin up database script. Oh. Certainly not. No chance. But it's probably just Postgres. Yeah, but I wouldn't be surprised if we just fucking made a database. Yeah, we probably did. And we just like but, added columns as needed. And then we just referenced them. Mm, yeah, you're right. There's probably no schema. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I haven't looked. At oh, oh, Ooh. wait. But like a working front end with whatever the hell UI changes existed. Apparently, I don't remember making UI changes. Ah! God damn it. Cannot find module sound effect service you can't what that seems like something we wrote so i don't know why you can't find that it's right here homie <laughs> this code <laughs> what is this <laughs> oh, oh my god. god no it's it's each musical note yeah <laughs> that's so big why did we have musical notes were we playing fucking I think we played chords when people like succeeded. That is oh unreal. God. Look at this error. What's yeah, up with you, It's important to get your object, 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 object. That's, that's the error message. Yeah, this is not great because I can't imagine why it can't find this. Source app services audio sound effect service it's there yeah so it's oh it built wait what 
No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. Here, here's the fucking build. Dude, it errored. It can't be fully built. No, That's, but why is there a disc halfway folder? step? Why is there? It's got to be a halfway folder? step. Doesn't it write to disc as it builds? No. <laughs> what? We did not have a disc folder earlier. No, I'm saying as it builds, it writes stuff, and it's probably not a fully complete. But generally, on error, it builds that shit. I mean, yeah. let's just see what happens if we serve it. Yeah, and that's then... fair. Oh, they, it has to create a server folder because... Oh, fucking... Yeah, we server side rendered. Oh, God. Yeah, but wasn't that for, like, um, SSR? Or not SSR, for uh, SSO? Can't you... Like, just NPM start and see what happens? Probably. Fuck it. I mean, it's probably going to fail on saying it can't find this you know thing. What? I'm going on team. It'll work. That would be spooky. No, it actually makes sense in my head. I'll exp it fucking worked. I knew it. I'll, I'll Is it a prod config thing, you think? Because my thought was Are that the live? angular JSON has got to be wrong oh, in some capacity. Oh, look, look, look. It, it's got the clicking. Can you hear yeah, the clicking? Yeah, you just can't. We got no, leaderboards! We got the loading animation! I forgot about this! It's called it's Wait, creating that's the sick. API. I forgot about that. I forgot we had a loading animation while it queries the API. We had medals. Every time you place first chat, you get a medal on your fucking profile. Okay. So yeah, this was course, like surprisingly legit. So so let me see my Takuzu changes. Why is it playing fucking music? I remember why I reverted this shit. <laughs> and everything else is normal. I remember why I reverted the Takuzu changes. I was in the process of cleaning up our code and turning everything into HTML because I'd done everything canvas wise. And then I was like, you know what? Fuck that. That's a lot of work. And like the Takuzu canvas implementation was actually more enjoyable. So we do want to go to this commit. Unfortunately, we have to rebuild. But now we know the process. Yeah, that's not bad. Yes. Better. Puzzle hub. <laughs> I, I don't know, bro. Why doesn't this like automatically? I need to install fuck. You remember fuck seal line? Yes. That shit is gas. Okay. Um. Boop, 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 boop. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. So this seems reasonable. And then we've basically got to figure out Back the in. database. Back. Can you look at the fucking code? Yeah, one sec. Do I'll we, see have, if a we have a schema? There's like no way we do, right? We totally could, bro. We could. We could. A like, I feel like we were kind of the pie is promising. <laughs> oh, fuck. That's not promising. I'm not looking at your screen. What are you looking at? Oh, that's not promising. Get personal best. Wait, that's really bad. What? To do? That does not seem right. API. No, it's right. It's right. Leaderboards is fully implemented. Fuck what no. is it? We we wrote SQL manually, so there's no goddamn schema. But, but this is like, this, I mean, it's secure SQL. It looks fine to me. We're per correctly inputting parameters, so that's good. It'd be embarrassing. Oh we yeah, fuck SQL it. Just is from but users. Exactly. It's just, well, yeah, you had Joel look at this, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's secure, but we you, we have test queries dot pi. What's up with that? It's just basically. Oh, it's empty. never mind. Yes. Um, okay. Get config path. God, well, where's our config? This is the config.json that you have to make, and we didn't create a sample. Fuck, we're such dicks. I know. <laughs> yeah, running instructions. Export flask app equals API Python 3 M flask run. Yeah, thanks, bro. That was the part that I was confused about. 
you know, I might still have this database in my AWS though. That would be insane. I will check. Okay. How do I pull up? I think I gotta pull this up on Chrome. One sec, chat. You're not gonna get to see my screen for very obvious reasons if you know anything about software development. Uh, let me log into AWS. Because I think we did this on LightSail, right? I don't remember. You really? LightSail? We wouldn't have just used RDS? Yeah. Actually, I do have a light sail. I don't have instances right now. Great storage. Is it called Puzzle Hub? Snapshots, no snapshots. Let me go to my billing on AWS. See what I've paid for. Yeah, this is going to be such a massive problem to recreate this schema. I think I might have it. Um, what's the, is it S? No. What hosts a fucking database on AWS? What's the service name you worked? Well, at? there's RDS. I think, yep. Let me look at RDS. Why did they have to give everything a custom fucking name, bro? You worked there. What's up with that? Uh, oh, bro. You don't love relational database service? Okay, databases, no instances found, fuck. Were we doing this on DigitalOcean? No, I'm pretty confident this was AWS, which So means... we were running on a Bitnami install. So like you just rented an EC2? Can I restore that? Whoa, I'm looking at convert to puzzle update, which is pretty funny. <laughs> Don't have any instances. Yeah, so it was called puzzle database. I like the actual database name. I've got the security right. group for my old S3 bucket, but that still exists. You're confident that this is the same AWS account that you used? <laughs> like, do you see billing back this far? Um, it's my only AWS account. How do I go to... That's a good question. Billing... The farthest back I think billing can go is... The chart? November 2023. EC2 other is on here. But 2023 is not even remotely old enough. This should be uh, 2019 is what I want to be looking at. How do I gotta I... DM you some unfortunate thing I found in the code that I don't know if it matters, but it might matter. <laughs> <laughs> Probably doesn't. No, that's fine. It's a it's a fucking dumb name for the thing. Where is, how do I view billing this old? They might not let you. Why uh, not? That would seem, that would seem insane. Yeah, yeah. They have enterprise customers. Billing period. Ooh, 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 2019. December, 2019. About 32 bucks. Now that, that's payment. Charges by service. Fuck, there's light sale on here. 
Yep, and I'm paying for... Paying for a database. 744 hours of usage this month. It's a lot. And then, uh... That's, like, full uptime. And then I'm paying for... Eight-ish gigabytes of stored snapshot data. That's not good. Because that means I did have a Lysail instance on this account. And I don't have any, like, um... When I pull up Lysail now, there's nothing. Fuck. Nothing. Yeah, okay. Unfortunately, there's no way <laughs> that I can stay on long enough to help you recreate this database yeah, we'd schema. Have to recreate the schema. Yeah, there's a lot. Like, there's like a, a monthly leaderboards table. I think a weekly leaderboards table. All right, all right. I'm on it. I'm about to fucking figure this shit out. Peace out, Brad. Godspeed. Uh, we're, we're on the right track. Yeah, I mean, it's close to MVP. You just need a schema. Wait, I got the SAS error on build. How do we resolve the SAS error? Also, you still are hiding your screen. <laughs> yeah. How did we resolve the fucking SAS error? I... I mean, I'll just run serve. Yeah, I'm guessing that you didn't install, right? I did. That's Ooh. a problem. Ooh. Yeah, I'd hit the fat reinstall. Because I... I'm pretty positive it just went away after we installed the first time. I didn't change anything. I'm probably going to have to refix the TypeScript errors. Probably. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. It was like three things. All right. I will Sound catch you later. Service is gone. Oh, maybe that's why. <laughs> no, that, that, I mean, that was part of the HTML change. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Catch you later. Yeah, get out of here, Brad. Get out of here. Oh, goodness, Chad. What's this? Skipping optional dependency, node SAS. No, but I need that. That's not optional. That's not optional. I need that. I mean, what if I just tell it to install that? Do not commit it. No, all the code is committed. Error. Ew, this is such a long error. This file is 404 not found. This This version of SAS don't exist. How about like V.12? No. I mean, let's just go to the releases page here. Oh my. Okay, so we're on version 4.14.1. Four. Fuck it. Send it. Now that's installed. Fancy rabbit hole incoming. Mm, maybe I think we got it. Please just be a working puzzle up because we have so many more headaches to resolve. Hey, 
not about blank. Is this shit making like network? Oh my, what's going on here? Okay. Oh yeah, look at this chat. That's right. I locked difficulties behind logging in back in the day. I was a real asshole developer. Okay, we have puzzle up. We have old Takuzu. No noises. Good. Good. And so if I go to leaderboards, it doesn't work because now puzzle hub API don't exist. This is what we need to fix. And my God, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh God. We were doing forgot your password. Okay. We literally can't support this shit. Because I'm pretty sure I was using Amazon email service for this. Right? <laughs> now you're using fucking argon too. Validations. Holy fuck. We did email validation. <laughs> oh, bro. Like this is great for a website that's like feature rich. Essentially what what's annoying here chat is I had implemented a feature where like you register for an account Yada, yada and then we send you an email like thank you for registering for an account please click this url to validate yourself as a user because we didn't want people to like use an email they don't own which is totally normal but like you don't need that's so over the top for what we want here we just want cool leaderboards and i did reset your password And yeah, happy puzzling. Holy, it's like this bit is not going to work at all. So I'm going to have to update the back end as well. So we're just going to instantly validate you. We're not going to care about an email at all from you on the front end. But we're going into the deep end chat. Fuck it. I want this shit to work. So we have. Oh, oh, oh. Register. No need for email. No need it. <laughs> Got caps lock is enabled warnings. Holy shit. Get that out of here. 
Okay. Register, username, password, confirm password. Good. Let's just being take captcha completely off. No, we should keep captcha on. People are gonna DDoS the fuck out of me. I don't. Forgot your password. Don't exist anymore. <laughs> Yay. Sign in, register, good component here. Yep, connect to CAPTCHA. Good. Can forget password, don't care about that. Can register. Yep, username, username. Remove email checks entirely. Yeah, password check good. Good. Okay. We capture your ass. Good. Log in. We grab your token. Okay, this is good enough. <laughs> now back here, we're just gonna completely adjust this. There's no email check. No email. Certain to users. There's no email. Let's refer. Username your hashed password. Good. Then we don't do any validation. Boom. And user metals. Fuck, what is type? This is an int. No validation email. <laughs> Stop that. Good. Change password. Not a thing. <laughs> password reset. Also not a thing. Okay, what does validate user do? Validated equals one. So this is a column in the user table. Which we probably just need to put a value of one and two right here. Who the hell would let me write this shit, chat? Damn. <laughs> we have fucking puzzler icons. I forgot about this. I 
how did these work did we have defaults did i put them in the table Again, yeah. Da, 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 da. this shit is a nightmare who wrote this why did i tell you guys i would make this work okay oh dude i'm already thinking of an issue how is daily challenges working? Bro. No. Do you guys know what a scheduled query is? We, I had set up a scheduled query on the database that auto generated a new daily challenge each day, but that was set up on the database level. <laughs> so it's essentially like non-existent. I'm not going to lie to you. I think the back end of this website might just be dead. It might be lost to time. Because there's so many tables that we had configured and we just kept building shit. Never made a backup of that database before you took it down? I think we did. But I stopped paying for it like three years ago. And so it's gone. Unless I like make an AWS ticket and they're just sitting on it somewhere. Let me double check. You never downloaded it? Good question. I don't even know. Maybe on my five-year-old PC. This is like in my closet. But like... <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, it should be in light sale. Let me check my... Boom, 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 boom. Backgrounds on Python were using TypeScript before? Uh, front end. It's just gone, man. Like it's gone. Wait, wait. Um, I'm going to send a screenshot in chat. I found something. I exported my light sale instance to EC2 in 2019 oh my god visibility private status available 
Oh my god. An instant snapshot exported from Amazon Light Sale. Holy shit, chat. I think the database might be there. Launch instance from AMI. Name Puzzle Hub Revival. Launch. Okay, I got a fucking private key to connect to my instance. Let's just put that on my fucking desktop right where I keep all my private keys <laughs> successfully initiated launch of instance oh my god Oh my God. Wait, chat, I think my instance is booting up. Instant state running. Okay. Connect. Oh my goodness. Give me a moment. I know you can't see anything, chat. And for that, I apologize. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm in. I'm SSH'd into a recreated EC2 instance. Oh my God. What are these, huh? Are these potentially? These are fucking scripts. Holy shit. That's not a good sign. Because that is a... I mean, it doesn't matter. This RDS instance doesn't exist. But that's a password. To this RDS instance, which doesn't exist anymore. But look, this is the script that would update the daily medals. Great. But that means I need my RDS instance. Shit. This isn't the database. That's not good, chat. Oh my God, I have the original fucking, I have the original puzzle hub build in here though.
So if I can spin up this RDS instance, I might just be able to touch nothing. And it just works, which would be huge. Exports. You fucker, where, where's my RDS export? Sign in. RDS. Did it spin up an RDS instance? Databases. No. It did not. insights no who seems happy i was happy but i haven't store from s3 maybe i backed up in s3 let me see i don't think i did yeah i just have fucking Buckets. I think we might be dead, chat. I was able to restore the EC2 instance, which hosted Puzzle Hub, but I don't think I have any. backups of the RDS instance it's just crazy really it's all i think the database is gone <laughs> boom boom release resources view details Stack name. Did this create? An RDS instance. Backup of the EC2 instance, but not the DB. I'd be shocked, right? Well, no, it's not a backup of the EC2 instance that I have. It's a dump of the export from LightSail, which I made to EC2. But when I made that export, I also migrated the database out of LightSail and into RDS. And so 
I thought that that might be contained within the export, but it doesn't seem like it is. Which is kind of cringe. So I think I just have the old server instance and not, yeah. Oh man. And it's cool to have my old king server of shit. but I don't have what I need. Well, that shit's dead in the water chat. We took it as deep as we could take it. And we hit. Unfortunately, I believe uh, a rock, which I cannot move. And so we're just going to go right into some fucking ranked Valorant. Because I can't spin up that DB. It's too hard. Or to look for a downloaded back up the db um i mean i can look for it later but right now definitely not no sorry gamers somebody's gonna have to pr uh leaderboards back to puzzle hub i mean all of the front end design is there <laughs> but uh unfortunately the back end is complete garbage. It needs to be rewritten from scratch, basically. Oh, I'm going to set some delay. I'll be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom. And I'll play some deathmatch. I'll be right back. up chat i'm back i'm um, just setting the delay now pretty straightforward give me a moment i just have to bam go for dm 
All this audio you're getting right now, you're going to hear a second time when the delay kicks in. Still testing double mouse keybind for satchels. I might run that in a custom real quick after this DM. Match found. All right, I'm gonna hit you guys with a delay. It'll be short, like a minute. All this audio you're getting right now, you're going to hear a second time when the delay kicks in. Still testing double mouse keybind for satchels. I might run that in a custom real quick after this DM. Match found. All right, I'm gonna hit you guys with a delay. It'll be short, like a minute. Death match. There we go. Not that bad, right? Nighttime gaming, bro. I'm not a night owl. Although I do know this music, no good. Alright, you guys can't hear music and I'm gonna play some upbeat shit. Every choice matters. Whoa, man. Target down. Uh. Uh. Damn. Uh. 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 enough. Got three. Ten kills remaining.
stand aside. Five kills remaining. Hmm. Neutralized. Dominating. Got three. One kill remaining. Let's go again. Flavor still has some tracks left. <coughs> oh, let's try this shit out. Let's queue up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, so it is actions. Yeah, here. Satchel out. Okay. Satchel out. Satchel out. Satchel out. There's a Satchel timer out. on it. Satchel out. Satchel out. Like you can't pop them instantly. Satchel out. Satchel out. If you if you press Satchel it too out. fast, it won't Satchel pop. Out. Satchel out. Yeah. Oh well. So you cannot, it's literally impossible to insta pop it. Can't be done. I got pizza chat. Some leftovers from Pizza Friday. Although I am lacking. Match found. In chunky peanut butter. Let's get this shit. Yes, I popped. Play with a nighttime wash player. Think nighttime players are better or worse? Probably on average, they're more awake. Although I'm actually more awake in the mornings. So I'm guessing we have like a higher distribution of younger players, which isn't necessarily bad, but they're likely less mature. Not that they were mature to begin with. Well, we'll see. Yo, what's up, team? What is up? Okay, okay. Phoenix is talking. Wow. Two completely different comps, minus the rage. Hmm. So cold. Pizza. Nobody escapes me. But they'll it's hitting me. Fuck. Don't worry, chat. Yo, I mean, can you one more aim? There. Here's play Gecko Clash. 
Fight for orb. What's up, team? Oh, like right here? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and one? then we just play the gecko yeah. flash here. And we take orb control and main control. Fuck yeah, All brother. Right. Thank you. I can solo B. Uh, they're probably gonna knife backside. It's almost playing market. Hmm. Yeah, can you just close the door, bro? Yeah, I'm gonna close the door. Up and away. I hear B main. Watch B main. Yeah, they're in. Wait, are they? Yeah, they're in. One enemy remaining. Main, main. Spike oh, down B. It's on the left side. Spike spotted. Ran. Oh, she's down the tank. One help. Oh, Holy fuck. Sorry, for this round. Ice trip? Bro, man. Like trip? Why did they yeah, not? Yeah. Uh, Omen, no, the no, one no, way. No, put no, it a no, bit no, more no, on the no, left of the box. No, 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 no. All right, listen, all right, all right. Listen, listen. If you put the default <laughs> one, they break it every round. If you play back sight, That's so right true, bro. That's so true. Just play hey, around Gecko, throw round. the flash a little bit later. And we're chilling. All right, bet, bet, bet. Otherwise, it's perfect. But yeah, a bit yeah. more left. A uh, bit delayed for the flash. Thank you. Just, uh... Let me know when you want it. I got right, you. I'm putting it more left. It's like you stop me. Flash, dude. Flash, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're coming up top mid. They just oh, naded me, eh? The fight. Up top mid, up top mid. Coming. One close A main. Oh, my fault. Nah, you good. I'm flashing mid. Are you There's guys two sitting tiles. One tile south. That's my flash. That's my flash. That's my flash. I needed tiles. One tile. Yeah, I'm you fucking bottom mid. Satchel out. Satchel out. Both, both, both. Oh, both Fuck there, them up. Both Fuck them up. Both there. Both there. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. On the left. On the left. Big foot. Big foot. Fuck that guy. Four bullet cipher. Fuck that guy. I almost lost my gun. I would have been pissed. Reloading. That, the timing was fucking perfect. From the omen smoke and the gecko flash there. We're defaulting that shit. They, they were, they literally started a main that round, and they just couldn't do shit. Tail forced. Tail forced. Oh, bad. Good comp. Can I get your um, bulldog for the fight gecko? Then I'll I'll give you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll give it back. Where you at? Thank you. I'm buying because I know where you're winning. You're you're one winning, yeah, Omen. Oh, no. Thank you. Wait, wait, can you close the door? Oh, fuck, fuck. I did, I did, I did. Oh, lots of aim, lots of aim, lots of Got mine. I'm Fight sorry, I gave him your bulldog. Eight. You good? You good? Oh no. One's on top of the oh, box. Hey, like. Brandon's coming out, elbow. Wait, wait, 120 KO, 120 KO. Oh, you Brandon's dead on site, KO planting. Back default. Flash default. Oh, Dude, two, two dice, two dice, two dice. Both, they're both back. One enemy remaining. This guy's stuck. Default, he's default. Fuck oh, yeah, oh, boys, nice. let's go! I dropped you. Weapon here. We good. We good. Weapon here. I told you we're running that round. That's why I bought. Yeah. 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 Alright, I'm gonna keep on eating my video. I can buy you this. If you come, Wait, if you come a Link Phoenix, they're like they broke the Gecko Flash there and they just ran up disrespecting there. the one way. Like dead ass. If you flash them, they're all dead there. But. I'm gonna break the fade eye. They fade eye right here. Mid, mid, mid. Oh, that guy just ran up. My bad. Oh, I fucking whipped, yeah. bro. Oh. Hey. I was waiting for that one way. Okay, I unwhipped. Yeah, I unwhipped. They blinded me, Elbo. There's one short. There's one short. Oh, wait, oh, wait. He's already up link. Beyond you, Gecko. Beyond you, Gecko. Nice, right, good trade. One was mid, one was mid. He broke my trip mid. Why wow, whiff? I mid it. Race is uh, short. Race at 40. Fuck, we didn't one way. 
Spike planted. Oh fuck. Shadows traveling. Stealing sight. Pee -pee? Oh, oh, I saw the vision. Dude, I thought you were gonna be fucking default. Oh, you're good, you're good. They have Razal. Vibe check, we feeling good? Hope so, hope so. Yeah, they just they just fucking yeah. contacted up there. Yeah, I would have threw my flash, but I was waiting for the um, Yo, uh, I was I was gonna That's I forgot one. Oh, yeah, that like, oh, clove is yeah, you get, you get, you get. Jump. Wait. Nah, I should have killed that clove for free earlier in the round. That's my bad. Should I flash it a little earlier or not? Sure. Yeah, I think yeah, you yeah, flash earlier and then Phoenix it. fucking flashes and they all die. Yeah, if you, right, you flash. Can... Okay, okay, okay. Give it like two Wait. seconds, flash. No, no, no. I did, I did. Flash. Flash. Uh, that clove is sprinting up somehow. <laughs> I hit KO 105. Oh, I didn't break it. Oh, don't raise. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm actually. Oh, fuck. KO 105. He just. Oh, my God. Default. He's default. Spike planted. Right? Front gen, Reyna. What? KO is default. Tyson default. Shadows traveling. KO is hit 30. Can you make noise? One enemy remaining. Still default, still default. Oh, I thought he was still behind the box. He was when he killed our guy. Yeah. Nice try. Phoenix. Alright, wait, wait, wait. I'm I, not I want you guys to do me a favor. We're gonna hit B with KO. Trust. Just come B. Just come B. I'm gonna play off. Okay. Yeah, play off site. You set up your trips. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They're still probably gonna need though. Bro, I think their race was worry, playing like anti flash while their fucking initiators walked up and died. Don't worry, I got the god set up. Don't worry. Alright. Alright, I'm getting off site. Good luck, Ephra. What's up? I'm bad. Yeah, I hear Beeman. They tagged me. Oh, I can't even smoke. trip. Bro, one trip. It's okay. There's one more. Not in, not in, not in. All they're in, they're in. 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 Oh no! Clove we'll dies here if they don't get a kill. I'm Loki gonna. Push. gonna... He's gonna push. <sighs> push market. Push market. One enemy remaining. Fade was he was stairs. He was stairs last scene. Yeah. Oh, we don't have time. Oh, he went back main. Last player right standing. Oh. Wingman's defusing. Oh, no, I had no bullets. It had no bullets, no. Fuck. I I didn't realize your cage was a one way. I went to peek it with my Bucky to get close. Ah, and I was yeah, and I was like, oh fuck. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna set a B, but I'll put one trip for you. That was actually a god setup. I think, but the next time, don't do this one way trip. You just need to you do like something. Oh yeah, else. no no no. I I, yeah. I know. I didn't do the one way. I put a deeper yeah. in because he needed like the left yeah. side. So I did like a normal one. Yeah, I'm gonna rocket tiles. Way, I'm going. Yeah, I try to I try to outsmart him, but you got. I'm just sending a tiles the rocket here. This is our turn. Natural out. I got your bottom. Nice. One more tile. Fuck, I didn't get two. Okay, um, KO. Yeah, I saw Clove tiles. Okay, walking A, walking A. Yeah, I have a trip for you. I know, I know. Alright, let's see this kid. Face your fear! They're scaling on our gecko. On a. Two all low, two all low. Last. Five oh, down. Oh, no. 40 raise, 40 raise. Player standing. Fuck. Raise planted, raise planted. Fake could be lurking on you right now, CT. Alright, he's tucked elbow. He's scared as fuck. Remaining. Oh, 
Oh, oh, Bro, my rocket hit cloak 121 there instead of a 2k. Buy stuff, ching, <laughs> my dog. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna put a trip for you, A, and I'll set up the. I'm gonna back up a little bit. I don't wanna get hit by the KO. Oh, well, okay. Uh, Phoenix, can you I gotta send the tiles again with Bucky around Eco. Can you? Since you're a hero man, can you flash yeah. right there? Start around. Satchel out. Satchel out. Mid, I hear mid. Me too. I hear B. Watch right there. Watch B. I'm holding tiles. I can't smoke. I cannot smoke. I hear two mid. Going towards B main, I think. They're in ish. Fire in in in. Ah. Ah. Planted. With a flake coming. Yeah, I'm in the game. They shot my gecko. One serious. Wow. Last player standing. The phantom man. No, no, no I'm ping. <laughs> Do you want to play for A retake with Phoenix Hole? Can we just play strong side B? I'm gonna watch mid actually. Okay. Have they ever split B through market? No, no, no. Not yeah. yet. No, I haven't yet. I'm just Close gonna play door. nade for two man. I'm mid and not one way. They're A. Let's knife A, knife A. Oh, oh they're knife they're a lot A. Cover going out. I heard KO flash. They're A link. Oh, there's three elbow, three elbow, three elbow. Wait. Three elbow, three elbow. Four, four elbow. Oh my yeah, god. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, Wait, it is. It actually is. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry good. bro, but you, you, go, you got me out of fucking Ascendant. I'm not even gonna lie. Hell Wait, yeah, bro. Now get me out I of Immortal, please. Bro, I, like, I recognize his voice. I'm know cashing where, out. You owe me. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. Two rounds ago, I was like, Wait a minute. This race sounds way too familiar. I watched this guy way too much. Hell yeah, bro. One mid. They're beat, 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 two beat main, two beat main. Okay, they could be. Not in, not in. Okay, I'll hold your market. Did they Aid break market? Close, right, boom, the hunt right begins. Shit, you got mine. Three out. Spike down. 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 Wait, I've, I've cam, I've cam. Yeah, Omen, you hold market. Oh, flash out. They're out, they're out, they're out. Oh, fuck. Fuck you. Omen, oh, yes. Good round. All right, homie, chill. We'll go again. Damn, you love being here. Can we go back to one-way one flash shit? I think they're gonna come in this round. I'll play on this side, Phoenix. You play on that side. And then I'll need and you flash. We're gonna fucking giga fight them. These fuckers just walk uh, up, yeah? So I'm just gonna throw need. And you're just gonna throw flash. We're just gonna throw that flash. Fuck them. Okay. And their families. I love the passion. Oh my god. I'm on wing. I'm on wing. 
Yeah, yeah, they're here. Throw that shit. I hear one mid. I hear one mid. One of them stepping mid. Yeah. Aiming yeah. fucking hours. Right, there's Thanks two the mid. Mid club. They're pushing up top mid. Top mid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Family member down. Oh, I got one tap. Wait, I'm overheating. I'm overheating. I'm looking right. I'm looking right. I'm looking left. He's left. I whiffed. I whiffed. Oh. I whiffed. I hate this game. Good. Our Phoenix is fine. This is good. Just keep making this just safe. Going market, I think. Yeah, breaking market door. Going market. I did 40 on raise. Satchel out. Spike planted. Yeah, the boom bunny CT. I just fucked you wide. Two. They're peeking you. Uh, uh, All three. Damn, they just ran down mid, huh? Last round in the half. I can buy. I like the game man fight. Wait, it might be another B hit with KO. I might have to do the same shit. I don't know if they'll fall for it twice, but who knows. Okay, I mean, I, I'm down to fight for A-Man and get me Rocket, and we just play fucking retake with Gecko yeah. ult, Raze ult. What are they gonna do? So just get your one and get the fuck out of there, Cypher. No, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Grenade! Okay. Okay. One's close, one's close, one's close. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm smoking, I'm smoking. I'm one way in A-Man. Oh, they're not back. I love them. I killed Kayo Elbow. There's one more, one more short. I fell back CT. I've got Rocket here. Reno, Reno was. Backside, backside, backside. One enemy remains. Nice. nice. Yeah, Let's okay. go, boys. Who's got the snaps? Bomb buddy. Nice half. Guys, I've been distracted the last few rounds. <laughs> By what? Let's reset. Wait, they don't have a cipher. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm already walking B, bro. Double. If you go and Kaisen out stream, you'll see, bro. <laughs> How old are you? Why are you watching on, that bro. shit? That's just brain rot. No, it's Coachella. Coachella. What in the fuck? Is that <laughs> Ice Spice? Yeah, it's Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> they got Ice Spice performing that Coachella. God damn. I'll let you know if anyone crosses that again. Alright, I'm running this shit out. We're running? Okay, no. Okay. Okay, just letting you know I'm over here if you guys want to never back up. There's like too much shit there. I'm fucking... I'm just I'm gone in the head, bro. Kale's mid. Shit, I don't miss. Raise his backside. I'm blinding right, blinding right. Yeah, raise his backside. Oh, we're in. Oh, shit. Raise dead. Oh. Thanks, little man. Oh my off, off. I'm in a sticky situation. I'm I'm with one's backside. One backside. Wait, I'm falling. I'm falling. I'm falling. One HP market. One HP market. Gecko, I'm baiting the fuck out of you. Hey, mark it. Oh, you're good. Market. There's one CT, one market. I blinded him. Thing I think. Right, fifty. No, 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 no. One enemy remaining. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No time, yes. dumbass! No time! That is the woohoo gym. Yeah, that's the fucking coach jump oh, spot right there, oh. baby. I'm not fighting you. You're a coach? Yeah, that's why I'm fucking... Did you not see my fucking conversion there? I got, I got <laughs> no aim. I just fucking don't fight. It's kind of oh. working. I'm on top right now. Holy shit. Contact up. We don't have to run up. I like that. I I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll let you know if they cross. So they I like that. I like that. Yeah, I'm shifting up. They could hold this yeah. angle though. Just be careful there. Smoking when you guys make contact. Yeah. One mid. 
I'm gonna nade back left. Let's fucking send it. Of course. This guy just stinging me across the map. Mark it, mark it, mark it. There's one, one, uh, Bubba. Yep. KO Bubba. I'm going towards main here. Someone is in. Wow. Why do they have a guardian? Oh, two markets. Why does that fucker have a guardian? What the hell? They force, they force. Guardian? They force. They have 2100. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Fuck. Wait, did they not force? Like, oh, they, they didn't force. Did they raised the classic. KO had a classic. Okay, only one guy. Reyna, Reyna and KO. I think one of us uh, died with the Guardian and I missed it. Yeah. Fuck. I'm gonna send a flash through elbow. Yeah. I just got fucking laid out, Wait. bro. I don't even know how. Uh, yeah, I just Throw it out there. Just... Uh, yeah. Wingman? Where? Oh. I know. We got bomb. I can only smoke a uh, main. Nothing elbow. Wait, wait, chill, 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 chill. Can we... I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Just wait for this close one to go. I'm I one HP, and so are you. <laughs> Ted, yeah, we're both one. I'll bait oh, for you, okay? I'm, I'm gonna take a shot. There's nobody, there's nobody in spawn. Just stay tucked, Oban. I got you. The one's close link. Close link. Oh, right. oh my god, he's on site. No, what? he turned around. What the fuck? One enemy remaining. Nice. Rain has default. Not on, not on, not on. Satchel out. Oh my god. Close default here. Yo, oh, oh, nice. you're so Yo. good. Good job. So good. good bait. Great bait. He's That's all you, bro. That's all you. He'll be with Gecko while we're going. I bought the recon phantom and he didn't get the right fucking attachment on it. What the hell is this guy doing? Hey, walk up, walk up, walk up. Yeah, I'm with you. Nothing close. Wait, big KO flash mid. They're pushing mid. On Yo, I'll, I'll hold flank, I'll hold flank. Don't worry. Yo, I'm gonna I'm flash, flash right raid. My ultimate is right side. Back go. Raise back side, raise back side. One market close. Market out, market Swing out. Swing out. Backside Wait, what? Uh, Spike down B. One market, can't mark it. Nice. Reyna was backside, backside B. We don't need to fight her. We have Owen ult. Get the fuck out. Just grab on with ult. Yup. Yo, if she did not call that, I wouldn't realize. Yep. Plant this shit right in this corner and play elbow post plant. Watch them. I have the spike. Cover going out. Oh, I should have smoked CT. It's all good. She's super slow. She's not there. Fall back. Double elbow or do you want me to wrap me? I think you wrap. Do you wrap and Cypher plays elbow? Dead ass Cypher, you play on this fucking box. Just wait for her ass to tap. Sure. Shadows traveling. Roman takes first on top. I pinged. Not on, not on. Not on. Easy. Nice. That's how you can post plant boys. Let's go. Good call. Good call. your coach, man. Mm -hmm. Dude, nah. mm -hmm. It's not call them, bro. There's no fucking counter to that post play right there, bro. Like, what do they do? Wait, wait we saw Gek Ball. We could still fuck him. I didn't even realize I had Omen on. Fucking <laughs> coach. Again, bro. I can Gekko Ball in the site. I'm bad.
will reveal their secrets. They're on weak five. Careful shotguns. Yeah. Uh, Ray's just trying here. to cross. Never mind. Show up back in. Send that shit, baby. Ray's is here. Ray's is here. It's probably close market. Wait, what's puppy? Close market. Face your fear! Ray's is close market. Not dead? He wasn't even there. I didn't even see him. He's he playing in the back, back corner right there. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I cleared it. She wasn't there. I'm, I don't I'm know where the fuck she went. Oh no. Someone is being. Smoke. One's one here. Do you have a molly? Do you have a molly? He's stuck on the left. Yeah, I do, I do. Yeah, he's yeah. stuck on the um, left right here. Must be. Oh. Unlucky. Oh my. Oh my. Come on the stair. Come on the stair. I whiffed. Go say 102. Mm. Left dead, left dead. Raise back side. One dead, raise dead. Unknown. 120, 120. I'm sneaking, I'm sneaking. I'm sneaking. She was market, was market. They're he's breaking he's door right now. I have two trips, you can't, you can't. Dude. Yep. Gecko tuck, gecko tuck, cypher tuck, omen next. Cover going out. Nice. Oh, fuck. No, that raise, like, somehow fucking. I lost her in the smoke. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. That was fucking weird. I think she like, timing you somehow. Cause like, I saw her yeah, no, that. definitely, bro. Like, I cleared that corner and trust me, she was not there. Right, I walked through the let's smoke, go. not there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Right, let's go, let's go. I can buy you, Phoenix. Uh, so you can get full I'm gonna make noise, right, B man. Well. You guys be fucking quiet ninjas on that there. A walk, all right? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Quiet Thank ninjas. Right, I'm not even gonna can it. Well, I'm even oh. gonna smoke. Maybe not. Guide uh, mid. Bomb buddy out. Satchel out. Uh, leaving a nice, nice. Stop. Oh, quiet ninjas, baby. One HP, one HP, one HP. Grace is B. The one middle. We should come back. We should come back. We should come back. No, let's go B. 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 Come, come. Kale is mid. Okay. Raze was made. Dude, let me lurk. Let me lurk. We can run. We can run. Raze can be up. Raze can be up. Raze can be up. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, let me lurk mid. They, they, they rotate through market. Is that clear cross? Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't, I, not there though. I don't know there. Well, one flank from A. From A. That's from A flank. I got the spike wings. Smoking Bobo. Market, 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 market. Dead. Nice dad. My son was trying to flank us. But... Oh, he's CT now. He's CT now. Crash is ready. He's gonna go up top on this yeah. thing. CT for sure. Right, we can I'm just holding time. Like, holding time. We don't have to fight them, CT. Yeah, I'm just holding contact. You just peek off me. Okay, okay I just left side. Yeah, yeah. I'm peeking peek off you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, nice, good nice. shit. Nice, good shit. Look for my shadows, they will hide you. I'm all again. Oh yeah, you do. Go B. Going B again? Yep. Go B. Oh, I'm gonna satchel Here. up on this box and fight the race. Yeah. See you on the other side. I, I honestly doubt she'll push up again. When I say coach, you say diff. Alright, let's do it. I wanted to one tap him and then do it. Let's just go. Get cold. Back side raise. Oh my god, the shit. That's not good. I'm blinded. Back side, back side, back side. There's one market. I have flank, I have flank. They're leaving. Oh, there's three back side. Oh fuck. I'm getting spammed in that smoke. I don't know when to peek out. Oh, that was one rough. tapped. One tapped. Last player standing. Wait. I did not see that guy. Wait, one was on site. One was on site. I think it was Clove. Yes, Clove was there. I hit Clove for two. <laughs> Enemy remaining. Close right, close right. You had Run. your fun. Run, just wait. You got My time. turn. 30 seconds left. Oh, 
I don't know if I have enough time to wrap Mark. You got this shit. You just got the 1v1 page here. One enemy remaining. Cover going out. I have the spike. Ten seconds left. Yes, oh, you are sir! him. You're so you are him. You are him. You're dirty. Match point. Wait a minute. It's actually crazy. Yo, let's go Damn, B -up. B -up. bro. You just you you got the fucking. You're cold with it. Oh, I gotta. We can grab I had to lock it. I had to lock it. I got to get away. I game. like that. Hey, uh, let's go B. Go B. Go B. Go B. Go B. Okay. Go B. Go B. Go B. Phoenix. Phoenix. Go B. Go B. Did you happen to kill Clove with 148, by the way? Because I, I did hit them for two. I, I hit Clove for 248. Fuck! out. <laughs> uh, nothing close. I he walked up. Nice. nice. We have Phoenix ult if you grab the orb, Phoenix. Wait, don't try to get You are Yep, yep. Clove was ult, ult that shit, ult that shit. Mark it, mark it, mark it. I live. Down. Hey, CT. Dead. Backside, backside. Last CT, last CT. Someone's beat. Last player standing. I think he can see you, the, the KO. Yeah, One enemy oh remaining. <laughs> oh, nice try. Nice try, nice try. Nice try, nice try. <laughs> I saw a spotting with him. Oh, like, yeah, he's gonna get off. Screen goes to like the gun. I'm not gonna lie, these BS feel fucking hard, man. Let's go, away, Fuck it. We can Phoenix all day. It's true. We have Phoenix all. <laughs> Bro, dead ass. Press Phoenix ult and then shift there. walk, shift PK. Don't make any noise. You want me to? You want me to flash? Uh, uh, just run it, just run it, just run it, just run it, just run it. We're good. Wait, nothing link, nothing link, nothing link. It's gonna be Come elbow, on, just, just alt elbow, alt elbow. One elbow. Wait, one push, 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 push tiles, push tiles behind you. One flank, one flank, 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 flank. Another elbow. Kale, Kale short. Wait, flank, CT, flank, flank, flank. CT, behind CT, you. Right now. Wait, Fade was play. Fade Face your back. fear! That's both, that's both. Let's go, let's go B, let's go B, let's go B. I'm going How to the fuck's Gecko gonna get B, I'm bro? Oh, oh, no, oh my god, I'm big nuts. Wait, 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 drop the bomb, drop the bomb, Gecko. They have to fight. Oh, no, no. I wasn't ready, I didn't know he was gonna be mid. Wait, wait, we should go, we should re-hit, we should re-hit. Yeah, re-hit, re-hit, re-hit. Last player standing. Okay, 35 right now. I got this, boys. Thirty seconds left. Fight planted. One enemy remaining. Oh, oh, nice try. Nice try. Nice try. There's a I, was gonna, I was gonna say we should go B and I was gonna take top mid, but the fade was already there. Oh no. Bro, I got no, fucked. No, no, I had no clue no, what happened start. to me. The only I way we go B him. is if, if Omen goes through our spawn and then he ults the bomb after Gekko drops. So, I'm telling you, man, it was gas if we Phoenix ulted and shift peaked, though, bro. Because that fucker was true, just true. fucking peaked. Yeah, you got, honestly, you guys just think. Wait. I'm going to make Wait, a yeah, let me Yeah, kill the. The Reyna's gonna yeah. walk it. You need to kill yeah. them when they do that. I'm gonna make B main noise. Okay, let's close. fucking gone. Where are we ending? Hey, Phoenix is gonna kill him right here. Random mid, random mid, left side. It's an A player. I'm gonna satchel up here, Gekko. Wait. Two top mid. 
I'm Actually, I've got fucking rocket. What am yeah, I doing? I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go towards A now. Mid CT. I'm gonna need you just jump. You just go peek there. Go peek there. I'm just baiting everyone. I've got rocket. Good, you're good. CT. Holy shit. Dude, Phoenix, we. Oh my. Wait, they they one way me? One flank. One flank. One flank. One flank. I'll fight flank. I've got rocket for them. Bait. Bait CT. Oh, it's like one. <laughs> oh my god, I'm on HP. Link, link. CT and Link. One enemy CT's remaining. Dead, link, last link. Link. They ran CT. CT, CT, CT. In this Easy. Ah, I see. Attackers win. Easy. Hold on. I just want to make Ooh, We're getting three out of the center eh? all the ranks. I mean, perfect timing, chat. I really just wanted to play like a game to get a rep in. I've got to go to sleep. We found a fucking Viber chat. Thanks for tuning into my singular ranked game stream chat. I'll be back tomorrow morning for a proper grind. We played a good game though. Played a good game. Attackers win.